We are, we are dreaming in the dark. We are nothing more than dust. Search, but you stay lost. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this too hard. And I wonder where you are. Dreaming in the dark, we are nothing more than dust. Search for you, stay lost. Search for you, stay lost. We are reaching for the stars, we are making this to work. And I wonder where you are. Take it slow.
Lately I got something, something to say I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain I know it's tough and I know there's pain But hitting bottom is the only way to change So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing You've got nothing, I'll keep hustling I've seen a lot of people who don't know what thirst is I've had a taste of evil and tried to cure the sickness But I just keep my head down and focus on the facts I'm setting down gravel while you just follow the path I'll lead them into battle while you're just too scared to act I'll leave the knife right in my back So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing You've got nothing, I'll keep hustling <laughs> Yo, what's happening, guys? What's happening? Merry Christmas Eve. Can y'all hear me okay, or is my sound being funky? Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve. Y'all having a good Christmas? A good Christmas Eve? Is it funky? Okay. All right, how's that? Does that sound any better? You guys, I have been running around like a damn chicken with my head cut off trying to get my shit done. And it has been stressful as fuck. And that's why I do not dig Christmas because I hate adulting. <laughs> I cannot stand adulting sometimes. But I had to do a pop-up live real quick. I'm like, damn, I've been off here for like a week. Feels like a whole damn month, but I'm like, I got to get on here and talk shit to my peeps. I miss y'all. Been missing y'all.
So what's been going on? What's been going on in these YouTube streets? Nothing really. Huh. I ain't really been on here too, too much. I stop in when I can, pop in, you know, say hey and chit chat. But I ain't really been on here too much. So fill me in. The link's there if anybody wants to pop up. Aw, B Tim, you little sweetheart, you. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you so much. Aw, Jones in, you sweetheart. Oh, you guys are you guys are so sweet. You spoil me, I tell you. I thought I dropped the link there. I thought it was there. Oh, you guys, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Oh, you got your name, Georgia Peach. You got your name back. <laughs> You're not Queen B1 anymore. Jones and you little sweetheart. Thank you. Hey, B Tim. What's up? How are you doing? Good. How are you, baby? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. The usual. The usual. The usual. But How are you feeling? I'm in good. I've been talking about that TikTok lady that's getting sued, which is hilarious. Oh, my God. Isn't she something else? That psychic lady? Oh, my gosh. She's like doubling, tripling down. She made six other videos after being served yesterday. And it's like, oh my them. God, why? Why does she do that? What's up, babe? What up? What's up, Johnson? What's up, you girl? Yeah. It's almost Christmas. I know. I'm excited. I'm hoping I'm just I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Seriously. B Tim, what was you saying? What no, we're talking about the whole lady be the TikTok lady being sued and she like doubled down when we were talking about that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. That woman she's like, I'm only getting sued for seventy five thousand dollars. I'm like, lady, that's the minimum. That's where it starts at. They could go higher. That's really yeah, all that's that went on on YouTube. Those are some pretty fucking serious allegations. Thank you, Miss Stone. That was really nice of you. Thank you. Yeah, she, I mean, she accused uh, the teach. She just randomly, she just looked up the history, like departments. She just said, "Eeny, meeny, miny, mo." Who am I going to accuse of being a murderer of? Yes, and, you know, she's a she's a um, a professor uh, there, right? Yeah, yeah she yeah. is history. She just yeah, she was saying that Jack Decor that she hired Jack Decor to go do to go murder these kids. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? What? No, you got, you, you're almost right. She also stated that, uh, that the teacher had a lesbian affair with Kylie. Kylie. Oh, and that, was the whole found that too. Kylie. Oh my God. Oh, uh, hold on. The Wilson. Hold on. Wilson. The Yo, Wilson. So sweet. Yo, and Georgia peach. Thank you so much. Love. Merry Christmas. I missed y'all too. Little sweethearts. Look at y'all giving me some Christmas loves. I'm excited. Well, you went live. That's Christmas love for us, too. <laughs> I, was, I was like, We're I missed bored, my girl. I've been off here for a while. Like, shit. I mean, I just, I needed a break anyhow, but I had to get so much stuff done. And I'm like, there's no way I'll be, if I, if I sit on here and shoot the shit, I'll, I won't fucking do it. <laughs> I will not do it. So I had to go. And it was so cold, you guys. I'm not even going to tell you what the fuck happened, but, but. Yes, Just, you will. What uh, happened? Girls over here hanging on by a motherfucking thread. <laughs> <laughs> Just to cut some people out, man. I'm telling you what. <laughs> it got so stinking cold. My water heater couldn't keep up. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it was a mess, but it's all good. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But it's... Water heaters are a pain in the ass. Yeah, they fucking are, and I hate, I hate adulting. I'm like, really? On Christmas? Really? You fucking yeah, of course. Why not on Christmas? A lot of like it's negative shit, shit happens on your shit. It's too cold for this. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely. But I haven't stepped out. I, I stepped outside one moment to, to pick up packages, and it was like freezing. So, oh my god! Yeah. What kind of packages were you getting, B ten? <laughs> well, Tylenol, if you want to know, Tylenol for my headache sometimes, and um, the other one was new charger for my cell phone. That's not fun. Yeah, I, you know, it's adulting. You know, that's that's adulting. 
Gwen's got a broken hot water heater and you're ordering Tylenol on cell phone charger. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, you know, nothing exciting was ordered. Uh, Never mind then. Oh, uh, thank you, you um, Thug. Look at you showing some love. Y'all showing some love tonight. I'm happy. Oh, I missed my babes. Hold on. Brandy said, Queen, we had Michael's Christmas miracle last night. We handed out almost 500 presents, Santa treats, and cocoa. Oh, that Aww. is so awesome. Yeah, that is, that is amazing. Oh, that is. Nathan, you're just spreading lies and misinformation. We got to have a What man. did Nathan say? <laughs> He ordered a new blow-up doll. His last one farted and flew out the window. Oh my God, Nathan! Nathan, Nathan you! I will never let you down. That's that you why you thought my dad was Nathan. Yeah, because they say uh, some off-the-wall shit. Like he said that he would he would sleep with Betty. He wouldn't mind sleeping with Betty. <laughs> he said and he'd take one for the team. That's that's too many. That's too many. One is too many for the team. Oh, that's way too many. Darn, Elon was supposed to send you a special present. Yeah, well, um, you know. Hold on one second. Uh, the Wilson, or what does it say? The Wilson Dallas. She said, Brandy Neal, I need your cash app, hun. Oh, yeah. Like, For your cash app, Brandy, if you're still in here. Also, I think Bam G sent you something. I sent you a super chat as well. Oh, uh, thank you. Did I miss it? Yeah, you did. Everybody's in a Christmas spirit. Yes, I was gonna say, look at you guys. You guys are making me not be Show a great <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here like God, I gotta wrap all these fucking presents all fucking goddamn paper, getting fucking paper cut, stupid ass scissors. But <laughs> 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 fell asleep, damn it. I'm over here cussing everything out. Oh, Will had a uh, tough thank time. You, thank you, love. Merry Christmas. Will had a hard time, I heard. Oh, did he? What, what I what missed? What? You know. I think he said like something was like his like it was cold in his house or something like that. Who? Will. He said it was something like cold in his house. Will, like baby gap? No, like Will. Like Willow. Willow? Willow. Um, oh yeah, he's the going pig. through. Yeah, he's got yeah, Willow. The pig. He's got um yeah, you can she you can post it here, Brandy, if you if you have it or whatever, and you she said you can email it or you can post it here, whatever works. If you need to if you have it, um or if you have it posted in the chat. Um she said, Hold on, drink every time you lose the tape or the scissors. Oh shit. Oh no. Well I'll be drunk as hell over here. I mean you'll be like the glare. You'll will be right. <laughs> like, oh, 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 what the hell? <laughs> well, I'll leave you guys hanging. I wouldn't even hang up. You'd have to have a Merry Christmas all night long. <laughs> no, I just I'd, I'd be like, okay, uh bye guys. I'm going to bed. I guess you're gonna we're gonna have a five hour stream of just hearing star. <laughs> but yeah, that woman's getting sued. It's the funniest thing ever. That uh, that TikTok lady. It's the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. Um, yeah, she was on there and she's like, "I'm not getting sued. I don't know who you guys are talking about. I'm not getting sued. It ain't me." And then the very next stream, she's like, "Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I'm getting sued." She's like, "I'm getting sued. I spoke way too soon." <laughs> And she's like celebrating she's being sued because she's like, I'm going to get discovery. I'm going to, she's good. the killer. She calls her the killer, the, the, the Idaho four killer. She keeps on calling her. I'm like, oh my God. And she was like really going hard on this woman, like literally like making up like all these accusations. And then when she's like showing proof, she's just showing her cards. She's like, here's this, this is the proof. And she's showing up her cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that woman is just gone and like, yeah her uh, ain't gonna work that ain't gonna work <laughs> you don't think it's gonna be work as exhibit a for like uh the judge the, the like exhibit a this turret card of the the four of cups is uh why i think there she's the killer <laughs> oh man maybe she'll have a woke judge I don't even think the wokest of judges will be like, yo, uh, <laughs> be like, ma'am, uh, no, you're, you're, you're guilty. Uh, you can, you can now pay this woman a hundred thousand dollars. Is this that girl? 
No, bitch. What you doing? I was like, hey. man. Man, I put the love when I have. <laughs> it's what are been you doing? just girl trying to get everything finished. Are y'all all ready for tomorrow? Jesus, no. Look, I'm Me trying. Either. I was like, you know what? I got a, most of it done. I got to pop on here and say, hey, I got to take a fucking break because, Lord. God, it's been so long since I've been on panel. I feel nervous and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, you guys. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, love. I see you've been doing some things there, Jonesen. Uh, just because I'm bored as shit. <laughs> It's like, boring when Queen doesn't go live. Anymore. It is. It is. You catch yourself looking. Even though you know she said she's not going to be there for a couple of days. You're like, yes. you're eyeballing the fuck out of that shit. <laughs> but you know, it's a kind of good thing because it lets you like percolate the news. Like you just yeah. get like. Yeah, like, it does. Yeah. Like there's a lot more, like you have a lot more material to look through when you have like a little bit of a break. Just chill. What else has happened um, on YouTube? I said JLR made over 600 videos. Oh, yeah, are you fucking serious? Six hundred videos of what? There's um, something fucking wrong with that man. I am not even. I'm I think that I think that man's an alien. I, I told Jones in on a live how he ate that pizza was not human. <laughs> I don't see <laughs> Tim. How many alien. was it? It was one ninety seven, right? On just the Idaho four. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, he did 197 on just the Idaho students. Yeah, I mean, this guy, he's literally like so creepy. He's like going through the streets of Idaho with like the camera, randomly filming people at night. Like he's outside a bar, like an 80s horror movie, filming There's people. There's something wrong with him. Have y'all seen the interview, or it isn't even an interview, where he messaged the frat kid and was like talking? Let me find it. <laughs> oh my God. I just I want to look for the pizza one because that was just an amazing like how he was just eating that pizza. Okay, yeah, the pizza one. And I don't know if this was like some sort of signal, but here I could just put it on the screen just to show you from heels in the air, like the pizza, the pizza video. If that's okay with you, Queen. Merry Christmas. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, I know that uh I know, oh my God, I know they're supposed to be going on a fucking uh, meet and greet or something. I don't know. They couldn't even spell their fucking names right on their own goddamn meet and greet page. <laughs> <laughs> I still like that clip of Molly busting herself on the ecstasy or no, it was Xanax. That's what it was. <laughs> oh no. That was great. Yeah. I oh mean, yeah, she did because she's like, "What are they giving me?" And then she's like, "Oh, they're giving me Xanax." But then she really fucked herself up on another one too because she's like, "Oh my god, she's got a needle. She's gonna stick it up my nose." She was like, <laughs> what the never hell? good to overdo it on the Xanax. I mean nitrous. <laughs> hey, right. She's just like, spill it all the damn beans. I'm like, girl, girl. Yeah. <laughs> like, who eats pizza? Just this freeze frame alone tells you this man is not human. Look at how he eats his pizza, like how he pulls the first thing of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> that is not human. I don't trust your food commentary since I find out you Listen, eat I grew, plain white rice. I don't I, I used don't to I used to eat pizza. Uh -huh. I, 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 I lived in New York. We eat we eat a lot of pizza, I can tell you. And this is not how you eat pizza. But like, watch this. It's like I'm gonna make it loud. You've seen all the images, and in case someone didn't see the images, it was around Third and Main Street. These images. Oh my God, eat it. I mean, if you haven't, welcome aboard. So, the grub truck. Who owns the grub truck? Who eats pizza like Who this? owns the grub truck? Well, I was doing a little digging and reading some articles and. Now, who Joey, gives the fuck who owns the Joey, grub truck? Who gives a fuck about that? We've already established the grub truck anyhow. Uh, they were still working. You know what, what he did? Fuck? He really fucked with his subs. He said that uh, he did that. And, and, you know, I'm so glad the heels called it out to you because, um, you know, yeah. I have something to be paying attention to. But anyhow, he did that where he was like, oh, there's like seven cars. Oh, there's nine um, squad cars. I bet there's something going on. Yep. Like seven days ago. <laughs> Ellie says Beth prevents blinking. 
I don't know why the hell he doesn't do. He just rips fucking pieces off of his pizza. And he just like, he he bites one piece and puts it back down and then grabs another piece and starts biting it. It's like, oh my God, what the fuck? And like, Beat him is hung up on the pizza. The pizza tells you a lot about a It really does though. Yeah, his soulless like, eyes kill me. <laughs> the shark awful. eyes, the shark yes, eyes. Yes, he's got like soulless eyes, man. Freak me out. Like, okay, like you could tell if someone's like really uptight when they use like a knife and fork. Okay, that person's a little uptight. If a person just like cuts the thing and eats like a regular pie, it's a normal person. But when a person just eats a little piece, it's like he's pretending. Like he's not really needs to eat. He's just pretending to eat for people like he's an alien. Maybe he's like, man, MGL yeah, right. gets a lot of views and shit when she's um, eating on video. Let me do it. Hold on, wing. Hold on, wing zero. Showing some love. She just gifted five memberships. Thank you, love. I appreciate what? that. Over here, being all sweet. Let's see. Oh, it's like I'm so busy that I can't take time to eat this pizza. It's a big case. It's it's a national interest case, and you know they they throw it back. Oh, the grub truck people are suspicious, or someone around that. Jonathan. Your crazy Facebook groups, and you probably got five of them for this case. People just, you say these people are speculating, but you're talking about nut cases. I don't think that's politically correct. You're talking about um, <laughs> touch <laughs> people, people. in your Facebook groups. Like, mm -hmm. look at your eyebrows. Like those people um, that you were with when. There was a shooting right next to you while you were going after Antifa. It's in the page. It's online in news articles. Yeah, those kind of people speculate. Uh, protesters was almost shot in St. Pete last weekend and a violent pro Pro police Facebook group is involved. Protesters told CL back in July they worried the group's activity would lead to Black Lives Matter marchers getting hurt during the demonstrations. Uh, a Facebook live video posted by Tampa resident prolific online troll Jonathan Lee Richards Riches show him marching alongside the counter protesters as well as the individuals who pulled the gun as they trail the BLM uh, active activists in the video. Riches calls out to one BLM marcher by name and says he was recently at his mother's house, quote, sna snapped a selfie, end quote. He also tells others, quote, we're peaceful people. We just want to keep the community safe, end quote. My God. Jonathan Richards was the group of St. Pete counter protesters that pulled a gun on a BLM marchers. He also a moderator of a local Facebook group people have feared would lead to real life violence. Uh, Ray Rowe did a deep dive into this group last July. Okay. But I'm just asking you guys, I want to know your thoughts and I want to share. Wait a minute. He puts that to the side too. He's taking a bite and putting each one on the side. What do you mean? Like, look, look at these pieces on the bottom. He took a he took one bite and just leaves them on the side like that. You notice on the bottom, right here where my mouse Maybe is. Maybe he's got like OCD where he's got to take one bite out of each slice. Oh my god! You know, like he's gotta Maybe he out. only likes the middle part. Right? Like, Maybe he's I, like you know, like a little kid where he can't eat the crust or something. You know what I'm that's saying? That's exactly what I was thinking. Like, <laughs> oh, my. I think he's an alien and he's just pretending to eat and he can't eat at all because it like, will <laughs> overload him. So he's just taking small bites to pretend that he's human. <laughs> he's a lizard, people. He is definitely a lizard person, like 100%. You know, this was a point post about yeah. sharing about the grub truck. Let me know what you think. Tore two pieces off and held on to them. <laughs> then you tore another piece off. Okay. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna grub on mm -hmm. this, and, you know, nice pizza. Okay. Oh, who cares? Oh, geez. Why? Why? Delicious. Yeah. Why? Covering this case at all angles. No scum. I'm talking with your mouthful. You want? What you is know? wrong with people? 
What is wrong with people? And look at your dainty little hands. Analysis, boots on the ground, analysis. Somebody dropped his my link. My mouth open. Oh my God. Look at this. She did good. That's the Ooh. face. That's like, that's the perfect face for everyone's clip. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. It's like he's eating the food and he doesn't, he doesn't like really. He doesn't like eating the food. He's just like pretending, and it's just like. Hey, Tim, he's not an alien. He's not. Look, that um, link I posted in private chat. It's a video of him messaging one of the frat brothers of Ethan, and the way he talks to this dude in these messages is kind of creepy. Yeah, are we gonna be hit with? First of all, why, hey Ellie, what's up, girl? I don't hey, know. Guys. That's why I was saying you might want to look at it. Why is he reaching it. out to him, anyways? What the hell's he? I doing? don't know. It was creepy as fuck, man. <laughs> it's like Pee Wee Herman creepy. Like, yeah, he really looks like him. <laughs> Does. Yeah, I don't know. The video he tossed, Johnson, is his video. I don't know with this guy. He might. He might be like a striker. You know what I mean? Yeah, he could be. Yeah, I, I don't know if he is. I can't fuck with it, so I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll definitely try to strike for it. You already know. Yeah. You're a bitch. Yeah. I mean, Maybe he I, I was supposed to do it. Her around I, his ass. I mean, they went around. He took. He tried to take her channel down and all kinds of shit. It was a big ass fucking ordeal. So yeah, I'll go clip it and we can. <laughs> that way, yeah. everybody can see. <laughs> Okay, you I was gonna say you clip Don't it. go give them the view, guys. Don't, Don't go give them the view. I'll clip it tonight. Yeah, did you see the one with like Betty now is like mad at Dolly? Oh man, yeah. she's so butthurt. I didn't get to watch it, but somebody told me she was pissed and she's like, the yeah. first day I Oh my god, show live, queen fucking live. And I'm like, what what the fuck happened? I didn't even know she was gone, but fuck, I ain't really been able to pay attention. So she's so been mad. on vacation too. Oh fuck! She God. did her roots, but it quiet. Huh? <laughs> These streets have been super quiet. Yeah, I'm ready. I'll play it for you. All right, go ahead, honey. That's fine. I'm in mute. Interesting. Is Dolly live my first day back? Wow. This is her first. <laughs> you know what? This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do before we go any further. Um, we'll come back a little later. Let's let Dolly wrap up this live. Why don't you guys all go all over there and let him know that my first day back and close my uh, live down. Um, and I'll see you guys later this afternoon. All right. Um, I'm kind of over this, um, so I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> she threw a big old hissy. Yes, yeah. she did. <laughs> I'm just going to just close this oh, down. She, and she, him she know. shut that shit straight down, didn't she? Yeah. yeah. Go tell them. She hasn't went live since either. Oh, really? Aww. Not that I've seen. Damn, oh, man, there's trouble like, in paradise. That's this what he hard. said. Hill said that he said that at the end of his live, you know, so all her people go over to his chat and they're like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? So I go to look and at the very end, Hills said you can hear him say trouble in paradise. But the chat oh. where they all flooded him, he deleted it. Oh, so I guess there's like some real shit going on between them. Too. Don't worry, we got Nathan. <laughs> Nathan. You're on. That's you gotta funny. you gotta take something for the okay. team to calm Betty down. That's freaking <laughs> hilarious. Oh my Poor god. Nathan. I thought it was over between them after Georgia. No, not at all. I feel well, like they just kind of it was like a fantasy and then they saw each other and well, I was Mrs. like, no. said, Mrs. said that uh he had a girlfriend with him at court. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so are they like, you know what I'm saying? Seeing other people. 
You mean yeah, swingers? But still fucking Maybe going that's to why she's no, not pissed. swingers. Maybe she's pissed because she thought they had a little something, something going oh. on, and he still has other girls. We all know Dolly be big pimping now. Come on. Yeah, he does. I don't know how, but yeah, I he don't does. either because it's gross. Dolly yeah. is the thirstiest man alive. He, that British woman was hilarious with Johnson. <laughs> that was so man. funny. That the eye when you made his eyes like hearts. That's what. That's the how, Johnson like, video. Oh yeah. We did paper cut. That? Where's oh my paper God. cut? Tina? <laughs> Paper cut Tina, join the site. We'll call you Paper Tuna. Paper Tuna, Tina. Paper Tuna, I like that. Yeah. Paper Tina. <laughs> or Paper Mache. Paper, paper Mache, that's a good one. That's a good that's one. That's Jones and I can't take credit. That's Jones and. Let me see. Her paper clip. I, I like Paper Cut Tina. Listen. I think she she's not bad. Maybe I she's think, watching. I think most of them are not bad. It's just that a lot yeah. of, I think a lot of them are just like lost and they need to be yeah. redeemed. They need to be brought to the side. Maybe maybe watch a couple of uh, Johnson's videos with, with her balls for cheeks videos. <laughs> we'll see that. Maybe that will save them. Yeah. Do you want to play the joke? Like, Johnson, do you want to play your video with like the, the dolly yeah. looking at the person's ball? Like, uh, yeah. But. No, I'm asking Johnson. Oh, I'm like, yeah, play it. You have to. It's all through quiet through the house. Not even a mouse. Not, but anyway, anyway, just waiting. Merch Christmas. I missed you. Just shoot my sorry guys. Sorry, I was doing loud stuff, so I muted. All right. Um, I'll just show. I mean, like, I'm just waiting for Joneson to come back. If Joneson's back, maybe she's editing it right now. She's quiet. Maybe that's why. Merry Christmas, Ashley. Is everybody ready for Christmas? What are you waiting for me for? Oh, wait. Well, I, want, I, I wanted to ask permission to play your video with the. Are you fucking just... kidding me? Are oh, you fucking kidding so me? Tim, you know, we have permission. Come on now. Fuck yeah. yeah. Okay, Queen, can you just let me? I, I clicked uh, out of that thing when I did the share. So I just need to, when I do the share again, I'll stop that. I would probably fall off panel laughing if she said no. Like, yeah. I would just die. Yeah. Anything to spread awareness. What video are you trying to show? Uh, the one where Dolly looks at that woman's ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, uh, my God. That's the one. That was hilarious. Dolly's in love and paper cuts like eyeballing just, the fuck out of them. <laughs> yeah. Queen, just like, uh, let me see if Queen, uh, Queen, if you could just uh, let me share it. <laughs> she probably stepped away for a second. Yeah, probably. We'll have to, we'll have to entertain the chat somehow. Let me see. Oh, well, see. you're entertaining, so yeah, we're good. Oh my God, Captain Kirk! What are you doing? Merry Christmas, Captain Kirk! Merry Christmas! What are you doing, Captain Kirk? He's I don't. Uh, he's like justice for Kylie now. Oh, jeez. Oh God! In the chat? Yeah, he died, but it was hidden by someone. I take that back. Have a fucked Christmas, <laughs> Captain Kirk. Since when? Did Mm -mm. When do you do shit like that? Yeah, oh my God, Captain Kirk, you gotta like what? Like I don't know why he never jumps off. Like when he was doing that, like unbelievable. And we were here just making fun of Dolly, and he has to bring that up. Sad day. Sad God, day. can we go back to talking about peanut butter on his balls, please? Oh yeah, me. You heard that conversation, right? We were joking. <laughs> Voices <laughs> made. Joey voices had the idea of the peanut butter, but we elaborated. Someone said like Dolly, she's worried. Someone said in Jones's chat, they're worried that a, do a Dolly will actually give the dog Mountain Dew instead of water. <laughs> I love Lola. And I wanted to make a shirt. I was thinking about making it like having someone make a shirt where it's like, we have Lolo in the corner and over its head, over his head is like basically like free Lolo. And then you can see the shadow of Dolly. And in the shadow, he's holding a bottle of Mountain Dew and a jar of peanut butter. 
<laughs> and it's the shadow. <laughs> and like Lolo's terrified seeing this seeing this figure. Oh and my god. I think that would be a great shirt. I would not wear that. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be a bad shirt. Just being wear. honest, I would not wear that. Me shirt. neither. That's lame as hell. Way overcomplicated. Strangers would be like, what the fuck is that? B Tim's got an imagination. That's what I'm that telling is. you. It's like talking to like my 10 year old cousin. <laughs> He's always got that imagination going, man. I think it's very good. I think that's a great idea. I just think you it's it'd probably be an issue if you uh if you had a, a shirt like that. They probably think you're a weirdo if you had that shirt wearing in the middle of the streets, probably. So maybe yes. it's a little too graphic. Maybe just having Dolly hold, maybe just having Dolly hold like uh, a jar of peanut butter and a Mountain Dew while I um, would while put Dolly anywhere on my body. <laughs> Definitely not my chest. Like maybe, maybe if it was like a print for the bottom of a shoe, maybe. He would be bottom of the shoe worthy. Or a doggy diaper. Doggy diaper. That's an interesting one. Actually, uh, that would really gross a doggy diaper with Dolly holding peanut butter. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh. And Ryan still supports that fucking. Never mind. Ryan doesn't know his head from his ass. No, oh my not. God. Captain Kurt's like, Tim is just someone who only sees what's shown to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay i guess i keep coming from the creek squad man i guess i took the blue pill i guess i'm still in the matrix let's go <laughs> you know i i guess the, uh i don't know man i seen the unedited video i seen the coroner report i seen the, the police nevada incident report i think like that's enough. That's enough for me. I don't know what you're seeing. Maybe you'll make a video about it. Maybe you'll discuss it. I don't know. But unless you actually have some sort of evidence, and if you do have some sort of concrete evidence, then I would suggest you go to the cops. Yeah, um, not YouTube. Yeah, I mean, but you have no concrete evidence. I'm sorry. No. I think it's funny that people think that, like, Kylie's mom and them would just let it ride if she had been killed. Yeah, I don't think like the mother... Like, they're just going to let it ride. Just fuck it. You know, who cares? It, it was an accident. I'm good with that. Nobody's mother is going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just... just asinine. And it's like, it's such a waste of time, man. It's like, I dis we disproved everything that Ryan said. It's like, come on. Like, it's just fucking brain dead at this point. But how can the case still be open when she never existed, you dumbass? Yeah. The case being open is what is getting everybody in like yeah. tizzy about everything. And Jared dropping the rest of that video. Yeah. He knew what but he it, was doing. Jared's but it didn't say anything that video. It just made it seem like he didn't know what he was talking about pretty much more. You know, like he seemed less credible. <laughs> the more the story that we heard, it seemed less credible. Well, Ryan's I out agree. of grand, so maybe he needs to use this kid as a cash cow one more time to recoup what he lost. I don't know, man. And I think people are saying there's no water in the lungs. Then why did they rule it a drowning? Well, it's very hard to like any kind of drowning. If you're in the water that long, it's like almost impossible to tell. That's like the big problem that is with any drowning. It's just you, she was found in her car in the water. Like you deduce drowning from like, yeah. some, you know what I mean? A logical fucking thinking and, deductive reasoning it's pretty it's like that whole backseat thing and that got me to it with everything and that's why yeah. i found your channel like and with and with nick and his face and all the dramatic parts of it but yeah but when you really think about it and like people like came on panels were like i was in a i got out of a car that was you know for fun and you just naturally are pushed from that water rushing in those windows like they think she could have swam out one of those windows and you couldn't, you know, that's what gets people, I think, you know. Like, why didn't she just swim out a window? No, like, she would have to wait for the whole thing Kurt, to sink. That's silly. Like, to say that what's crazy is like we're allowed to have opinions and everybody else is crazy. No, yeah. this is stupid. It's very obvious 
how that child, and it is a child that y'all are dragging on and on and on, died. It's very obvious. And that doesn't make you crazy. It makes y'all stupid. But I try to keep my mouth shut because I don't want to be rude. But it doesn't make y'all crazy. It makes I, love, I love that you said, I don't want to be rude, but I'm going to call y'all stupid. No, I'm just, I just, I well, because I'm me. sick of it. I'm sick of it. Like, get a life. That's just stupid. Yeah, I mean, like, at the end of the day, I go by facts. And if you provide actual facts, like actual evidence, it will be something I would look at. But the evidence I, I've looked at, has ruled in an accident and unfortunately i don't you know i mean like uh, we don't live in like you know reality is reality facts are even facts. one even one plausible piece of legit evidence and i will look in all directions but yeah. there isn't yeah. any. there isn't any it's just all. all like speculation and like it's oh stupid. somebody could have pushed she could have been in the back seat she could have been pushed in they could have like jumped out but that's like some like, you know, it's like kind of fantasy, you know, like it's could have, could have, like such a small percentage. I Man, mean, of course, she's a cash cow when they want to milk her. That's all there is to it. Anybody still holding on to that case like that is just milking it. You know, some people are just obsessed. That's and I think it's a opinion. conspiracy, though. Some people don't even care. Like, there's like these certain like channels that are, are still discussing because they really think that it's a conspiracy, that there's a cover up, that the trucky way, that it's like, all like a conspiracy in the town is covering up to like protect the town. That's what yeah. they're saying. I don't see how anybody could be that dumb. I'm sorry. No, I know. I mean, I'm just saying that's what they're, that's what they think. And that's like their logic. That's just what they're saying to milk it. In my opinion, my unprofessional professional opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't change what people believe. Do you know what I mean? I think they just believe that there was something more there. They just can't, un they couldn't like, it took me a while to fake to move from like to accident yeah. in the whole thing. And they, you know, and then people said, Oh, even if they say it's an accident, I'll never say, it. you know, they even said it. I'll never say that it's an accident. I'll always think it was a cover up. So those yeah. people are always gonna think so that it was an accidental like, cover up. Yeah. So stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, there's a reason okay. I've been on break. This is why I've been on break. Yeah, yeah. it's like you're banging <laughs> yeah. your head. You go through the same points over and over again, like insanity. Like, okay, guys. It is like a, insanity. Yeah. It's a, uh -huh. There's their coroner report. There's the video, the unedited video of her going in the water. There's the unedited edited video of her going in the water. There's oh, the what's coroner. Up, Merry Christmas. Merry yeah, I Christmas. bet it does sound familiar to you, girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And like opinions are like, okay, I like vanilla. This person likes chocolate. Yeah, it's, yes. that's a, the opinion. Yes. Not facts, like reality. There's like a yeah. difference. You know what I mean? There's like, either evidence or there isn't. Yo, it's pretty simple. Like, like I don't, yeah. I don't know. I got a science brain though. So what do I know? Yeah. Well, it's like what JLR does. He just like kind of like just makes shit up. Like, or he'll just be like, ooh, it could be in the sewer. He yeah. could have thrown I'm the not night. Really looking at the yeah. chat. Um, but I will say, Brandy Neal, I think those people are stupid too people who do that shit to you they're also stupid and i hope they have a crap christmas and i mean it like people who harass these families these victim families i hope you have a shit new year too uh captain kirk basically is being i don't know let me see i don't think captain kirk talks about monkey vaughn yeah i mean who knows i mean we think i think she was driving but like, there's always a small chance that that who knows what happened and there is a big cover up, but I think it's such a small like chance, like the probability of it is so small, but people are going to think it just because there's that possibility. I've been considering a cover up in the John Bonet case recently. Yeah. I've no, always that's said that. Solved case. No. I mean, like th there's plenty of cases that have the possibility of cover up that has facts to them where you could say, yeah. wow, that that's odd. But yeah. like, it's like, you guys are just, you're just banging your heads against the wall and you're just going through the same stuff over and over again. And you're really just wasting your lives. Oh, oh like you're you, literally, you only have like what, 70 years of life <laughs> yeah. you know, and you're wasting your life away. And I it's agree. like really sad. I agree. At this point. Like, it's sad and it's gross. Like guys, there are other things to do. Like I'd rather probably stare at like a window to look at the scenery of like the changing weather then just to continuously discuss the same points over and over again. Like, okay, guys, like explain to me why the coroner would say a drowning. Explain to me why, why the video shows it so perfectly. Just like explain. It's like, and of course you're going to be like, it's a conspiracy. What's the conspiracy? The first was she wasn't real for GoFundMe money, which was $60,000 that a hundred people were going to split. I don't know how. 
after GoFundMe takes 20% or something like that. Yeah. I think it it's like an... 8% or something. 8%. Yeah. Let's say 10%. <laughs> just so I don't have to. So $54,000, they're all going to split. And they all were planning. And then like when that was bullshit, it went, uh, and then, then it's somehow a conspiracy to cover up the murder. Because... Wait, you you just said 54,000 was what was left over after 10% of 160? No, no, 60. 60,000, 60, 60,000, I think. So. Oh, okay. Six I thought you 6, said 160,000. Uh, I was like, I yo, was that math 60. is way off. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was like $60,000 because someone reported the GoFundMe to stop it. Uh, because during their conspiracy, yeah. they just wanted to report anything. Squirrel Girl. And she took her channel down because she got really wrapped up in everything and people doxed her. And uh, which she... I don't agree with that. I don't like no. that. Yeah, they got really like mean with her. And she like was like, fuck you, YouTube, I'm out. And she like took down her channel. That Jeff guy, Jeff, that the, uh, that guy that did like, he did something during the Kylie Ronnie with like- Was a, that the Squirrel Girl gaming? Yeah, I no. thought she was back because she did. She did a video about like the the video with Nick the tow truck driver. She was like, she was, and her. now she like did like a goodbye thing, and she changed her like name to like say like I left because of this guy, that guy Jeff, Jeff back to. I forget. You remember he did like some. Um, remember he did like I don't I don't really watch his channel, but he did like a thing where he actually did like an actual like toy car, and he reenacted the whole Kylie Rodney accident oh okay yeah okay you guys i feel like you guys played yeah. it on queen you, you want this uh, you want this screen up yeah yeah but kurt was in the chat bringing up this whole bullshit with the whole kylie roddy thing again and it's like well it's if he ain't awesome. coming up on panel don't even worry about it we ain't yeah going to chat, the so. stream's not pinned i don't i mean the link all right i'll drop it right now but like i said if he ain't gonna come up here and talk about it i'm not gonna go back and forth in the chat ain't nobody got time for that shit yeah, I mean, like, uh, I don't want to do it. I feel like I'm wasting my life away. I feel like my youth is disappearing every time I discuss the same fucking evidence over and over again. Like, holy shit. So, Jimmy, I have a question, Jimmy. Yeah. Since um, I'm making you famous with uh, t-shirts <laughs> are you gonna do a meet and greet oh is that paper cut so tina or paper yeah, that's, lip? yeah that's paper cut tina i can't i can see why johnson doesn't like likes her because she does have like that she's sweet yeah. she's she's not bad yeah uh, I, i'm not i'll take back the paper cut, <laughs> paper tuna tina whatever well we're cool cool someday hey, well, why would i do a meet and greet who the hell would want to meet me Lots of people want to meet you, but you'll never be in Washington. But maybe you'll be in Idaho again. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be in Idaho. Yeah, or Oregon. You like their marijuana? Yeah, I like what they <laughs> 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 Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> Who's talking? No one is, but I'm laughing. <laughs> but I had, I had you, Jimmy, on the big TV, waiting for your program to come on. Just <laughs> one shaking her head. I'm then, done. Um, Paper clad. She loves her some dolly. Oh my God! This one. She here. loves him. She yeah. totally loves her dolly. Yeah, and this one's like shaking her head side to side. It like, gets oh. better. And hitting her bowl. <laughs> this is like the funniest clip I've ever seen, I think. And Dolly's just pretending that he doesn't notice it. He's just like, I... <laughs> like, bro, you you know that she likes you, bro. You know she likes you. Yeah. She's there just being as cute as can be, Piper Clip. Oh, oh no. I know. She's sweet. She I like love her. <laughs> Dolly, though. I'm not even playing. <laughs> Come on over. Like, you had been on like 56 minutes. And I was like, what? I couldn't handle an edible. Gosh, I'd be so wasted. <laughs> Frightened enough or felt threatened. See, she's already on my, I already like her. She can't, she's against the marijuana and the edibles. This lady's growing on me too. <laughs> See? 
she could be my she, she could be my ally. <laughs> no, paperclip did not mean that. Paperclip did not mean to say that. She could be my ally on this panel to fight against the edibles and the Here, marijuana Kurt, usage. The chat. If you want to talk about Kylie Rodney, click that link and come on up. We'll discuss it. But we're not going to go back and forth with you in the chat. And I'm not doing no. that. <laughs> Nobody's deleting Kurt's messages. He's been over here. Don't you don't do that. Simply T now. Come on now. All I'm right. not deleting okay. nothing. Threatened enough, and especially if I had a few drinks in me, I think I could hold my own. I, I really do. Tina. How old am I? Yeah. 60. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that woman is such a bitch. Like, really? She's she really. Cute. Paper cut Tina's cute. I know. <laughs> She's that, I've well. never seen her before. That's oh my cute. God, yeah, that I'm... lady was like, How old are you? <laughs> Just so you can fucking <laughs> dash her dreams. How dare you, Ed? I would have never thought 60. 60. Uh -uh. She looks so much never younger than that. 60. She looks younger than Dolly, I well, think. Well, that's because she lives, mm -hmm. a clean, she lives a clean life where she doesn't eat edibles or smoke marijuana. So this is what happens. You she terrible. watches her programs. She's yeah, exactly. like a good... <laughs> exactly. This is the advertisement to, to, for a clean life. Just look at Dolly, smoke, pot smoker, 50 years old. Looks like he's 70. And look at her. <laughs> Yeah. She looks like she's 50. Yeah. So I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. And I just got everyone throwing tomatoes probably at me in the chat for that one. But anyway. More like about 48. 48. Well, that's Kimmy's age. <laughs> okay. I haven't figured out how to turn off the YouTube in the back yet. Have you, Mel? And you're muted. You're muted. That's the British one. Yeah, she doesn't know. Yeah. Microphone button. You're muted. You're, You're muted. muted. We can't hear you. Can't hear you. Here. The blind lady. I can't hear you. I said I love your accent. Thank, thank you very much. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. Um, um, what part of UK are you in? <laughs> Okay, I'm in Hertfordshire, which is about a 45 minute drive from central London. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I'm going to come over there and visit. Well, you can come here. I've got space. So you're more than welcome to come here. <laughs> no. Sorry? I said I want to visit London. Oh, wow. London's I that's one of the places, you know, on my list to go. I want to go to London. I want to visit Japan. I've got a, a cute little long head chihuahua. <laughs> Oh, oh, you got Chihuahua too. Everybody got Chihuahua. This is Chihuahua channel. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> is, it, is it? This is Abby. Abby. <laughs> is it he? That's Abby. Oh. Yeah. I, I, let me go and find mine. Wait there. Oh, no, there you go. Like, my phone was all skinny. Jamie! Oh, look at that. <laughs> he Whoa. was like he was watching her skedaddle wasn't she oh he was watching something <laughs> skedaddle <laughs> and look at that woman's face tina she's like, oh, oh she man. is upset she's like uh-uh what like, are you looking at dolly what are you looking at i mean it's like you could feel it through the screen right oh it's fucking hilarious Oh my god. Let's play it. Oh. Damn, Jimmy. What you looking at, homie? You watching the biggest screen over there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh in America. <laughs> Look, Dolly oh, Mitten. Like little doggy. <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty. <laughs> And your little dog, too. <laughs> that was mean. That was mean. That was Johnson. funny. That was funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Poor. Oh, man. Jeez, Louise. This poor. I feel yeah. bad for her. I feel bad for Tina. Yeah, right? I know. But She's Tina, a Tina, a Tina, yeah, listen, he's, look, you got a clean house? 
Look at Dolly's house. <laughs> you have to clean Dolly's house? That's not going to be good. I was just I know. Wrong. Look at how you noticed me, Tim. That's so funny. Me, I was wondering the same thing. What's an F? What is that? What's what a what? FGS? Jeanette's all disgruntled. Don't agree with doing FGS. That is all this channel does. I roll, I roll. What is that? I don't know what FTS means. I, I wish no people. Idea. I wish like the adults would just type words out. I don't know. But, <laughs> you know like, I'm in here and um, you know, announce your departure because we don't give a fuck. All right. Well, there's that. We don't give a fuck about you. Oh Lord. Yeah, she's um <laughs> look at that face. Like she's like sizing her up. She's probably thinking, man, I need a dog like that. Maybe maybe Dolly will love me if I get a dog like these. She's the only one that doesn't have a chihuahua. Yeah. She has like a guinea pig though, right? Or something. She know. has two oh. guinea pigs. Yeah. And I would love for her. To come show her oh, okay, PTM. Kurt came up here to talk about this Kylie Rodney shit. Uh -oh. No, nah, hell, let uh, me mute. I'll mute. Hey, well, here. first off, first off, I want to say I was not disrespectful to anybody, but Tim will sit over there and run his mouth and say what he has to say. Who did? That, that's Who said? You you could call people stupid and you can no, make, no, 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 no. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Don't put words hey, in my hey, mouth. Are you talking Look, about I've you're I've been nothing but respectful to you girl, and everybody on this panel. That girl called everyone. Every stupid. time I come in here, blah, bro, blah, you start blah, talking blah, trash blah, about blah, me. Blah, Every blah, time. Blah, blah, blah. There's nothing Hold on, B-Tim. Come on. Hold on now. Yeah. Yeah. B-Tim isn't right. the one who said that, though. Yeah. No, yeah, that was clearly me. It was very much me. And it's I was every time I come. Look, you're not on the panel. Ma'am, you're not on the panel every time. Every time I come into Queen's chat and I say anything, Tim's the first person to say, Oh, Kurt, oh, Kurt, oh, Kurt. So that's it. But yeah, I, I will say that. I'm allowed. Look, I'm allowed to have an opinion. And because I'm a father, I know if my daughter came up missing and somebody oh based, God. Their, based their reason to close it off of a fire cam. Do, 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 Do you have facts? I don't think they based it just off like I don't think it was based. No, listen, no national. Thing. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I just I don't think they um, I don't think they closed it just based off you the fire cam. Did. YouTube did. Nobody closed. The case is open. I've been in contact with the Nevada County Sheriff's Department and the case is open. As of right now, it's open, wide open, and they're not speaking on anything to keep the integrity of the case safe. So it's so still. They rule, so they rule. Well, so it's, still, it's, so still you think it's a murder? What, what, let's be real. What do you think? Do you oh. think it's a murder? Who do you think it is? It is, but I do know that. I okay, do know. No, you can't be like that. You can't say they're justice for Kylie and say it's not a murder. Not a murder. You got to believe someone murdered her. So who do you think murdered her? Have what? to be a murder. See, this is where your ignorance is crazy, bro. It doesn't have to be a murder. If okay, this Okay, what is it then? If it's an accident, it's an accident then. Then it's no. not a murder. You're incorrect. You're incorrect. A hundred percent. If this girl ingested something at a party that she thought was something and she passed away. The toxicology report doesn't show that. Due to her own knowledge, due to what she did. And then guess what? They try to cover it up. That's the crime. The cover-up is the crime. Okay, that I can agree with, but I will say this. There are things, Tim, that could be in that child system that could discombobulate her enough to not be able to drive. Such yes. as a well, team that would not show speaking. up in a talk screen. I, it it didn't come up. up talk it didn't come up. I'm looking at yeah. the talk screen right now. But she was underwater up. for a you guys, while. Too, I've so. never seen a talk screen that listed LSD. Is the LSD on the list? No, I'm they don't. Saying, talk, you know, drugs, drugs that they can't test for that could go no. into that scenario. That's all no. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. This is not a murder. It's a you know, final tap cadavers. That's not saying it's a murder, Tim. Not saying if somebody gave her drugs, she wasn't aware of what they were that led to her having the accident. Is what he was saying. Am I well, correct? That or somebody could have slipped some shit in her drink. I think, but Indeed. didn't they do a toxicology screen? I thought the Zab girl went over all that. Yeah, yeah they the, did. But there's the, drugs that won't show up in toxicology reports. Okay, you mean it, like even if they ran the tox screen, the drugs yes. ain't going to show up that they're... Yes, okay, because they don't good. do spinal taps on cadavers to check for LSD and stuff, Queen. I was just throwing out... <laughs> right, yeah, I didn't even scenarios. think about that. Yeah. You can 
somebody's niacin levels to the point that they pass out. Another thing is in the autopsy, you were the one pointing this out. Her lungs were considerably lighter than what they should have been, correct? Is that that's a fact, right? Yeah, oh, I heard um, that. Okay, I heard drug, that in the autopsy. Drug abuse or drug overdose can cause pulmonary respiratory disorders, which will decrease the size of the lungs, which causes harder issues to breathe. And that's why people start foaming out of the mouth and all of the nonsense that goes on with the respiratory issues when you What are you basing this on? What's your facts? What well, are you my, basing, uh, what, are, are, you're saying that there's LSD and all this stuff. What is the facts? The autopsy report shows you. No, I said that, Tim. And I was just throwing out something that could yeah. possibly exist without it being factually in black is and white. Is the absence paper. of something a fact? It no, wasn't tested I'm, for. Can't, you can't go off of these. Okay, there was a party. Everybody says this girl was drunk. Okay, when the toxicology report comes back, she wasn't drunk. She didn't even, she had about the amount of one shot, yes. one two ounce shot of our one, two ounce shot of alcohol in her bloodstream. So and I'm curious, what if somebody was doing like some whippets or something? Would that affect the capacity of the lung? Yeah, it could. And that's Very not something that would show up in a talk screen. So I'm just throwing out things that are actually plausible, Tim, rather than just bullshit. Exactly. Which would cause, which... And then there's no water in the lungs. I know people are going to say the water is this person, the lungs, a lot of yeah. If you drowned, drowning is water entering the lungs. That's what. Well, okay, so why would it say drowning then in this re in this report right here? No, just just look. Deductive at reasoning because she was underwater in so a car. So you believe? So you're with Kurt. So that well, drowning's are hard. So okay, it's so very you all hard. think that's a murder? Okay, then. You all think it's a okay. hold on now. No, okay. I didn't. No, you're I mean, being very manipulative and mature right now, Tim. That is no, not. No, I mean I'm going with the that's facts. That's very manipulative. That's very not manipulative. That's yes, not it is. Yes, it is. No, it's and not. I stepped in my pool and I fell in the water and I didn't realize I was underwater quick enough and I drowned. That would be labeled an accidental drowning. If I was standing in my backyard and somebody pushed me in the water and I drowned, the, the coroner would label it an accidental drowning pending a further investigation. That's exactly what it's labeled. They can't just say, well, we don't know how this girl died. They yeah. know how she well, a better that example, on. I want you to know. A better example for this, a better example for this is like in the Watts case. Bella had a torn frimulum and all kinds of evidence that she had been smothered manually by her father's hand, where Cece had none. But they could deductively reason in that that's also how Cece died by the rest of the scene. So if they find somebody in a car underwater that was presumably alive before they went underwater, of course, they're going to say they drowned, whether there's lungs, water in the lungs or not. Most of the time, especially if there's no evidence of foul play or anything else, that's how it's going to get ruled. You're smart enough to know that somebody saying that doesn't well, mean Plunder, no. she released the, all the report, didn't she? Did, doesn't Plunder yes. have the entire We're looking so at the Zab. report. It says so drowning. You're looking at a coroner's report. The coroner is, it's their job. The only job the coroner does is they look at a body and they go, how did this person die? Okay. No, the okay, medical so examiner report. I mean, they yeah. were Water? No, they died because they drowned from being in the water. Drowning deaths are really in, hard to listen, especially. I'm not hearing. I'm hearing like a theory from you. I'm not hearing facts. Where is your facts? My, this person? my question is, Kurt. Her family doesn't feel that way. Why How do you do know? You? Yo, they got Jagger and Kate living with the mother. So, so the mother must be so distraught that she's got her kid, her friend's kids living there. Her daughter's friends living with her, and their boyfriend and girlfriend. That's kind of weird. Okay, okay, so you think someone was murdered? Uh, no, no, it's that's not actually it. not weird. If I've seen families, is, big, big, big families, like not, big families, all stay together whenever somebody dies. That's not weird at all. It's not weird. The same kid that said he bought her CRV and is going to fix it up. He didn't buy her CRV. That's a completely different vehicle. So these kids are this distraught, but they're putting up posts on Facebook saying they bought her vehicle and they're going to fix it like he no. told them. This is this it's is scary. what I mean. You are claiming you it's are a murder. so much into something that's not there. But you why? are obsessing on something that's not even your problem. It that I agree with. Vehicle. It doesn't show who was put in the back of the vehicle. It doesn't show that's any. That's none of your business. Who none. Says 
That's not your know, business. I don't know who said Kate and them were together, but that's not what I've heard. I've, I've never heard Kate and Jagger who were together. Who cares who they hook up and, with? And Jagger lives, uh, he lives out of town. So when they had services and when things happened, he did go stay there while they were searching for her and whatnot, but they were not together from what I'm from what I was told, I don't know. Who cares and, uh, if they are though? These are kids. I did. Uh, I did post a picture of that she took. What's up, Willow? What up, man? Um, I did end up posting hey, the picture uh, of her last picture that she took on Snapchat. She, it's the picture that she took of herself at the party on Snapchat. I told Ryan I had it the day he came up here. I think to want to know who these kids are sleeping with is not only crossing boundaries, but it's fucking weird and gross. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, the picture that she took of herself at this party that they said she wasn't, you know, that they claimed Yeah, she no, I was talking I about the comment before. So, uh, yeah, the family is okay with what has been found. If you're a parent or if you're somebody that cares about anybody, that's part of things that when you're doing something wrong, that comes back and, and gets you. Like, who hang around? If they would have let Casey Anthony stay out of jail, she would have ended up telling on herself. So you guys in the true crime community want both things, but you don't want, you don't, it's none of your business. No, I want people to respect the mother. The mother asked people to stop. And I think everybody should respect the mom. Yes. When did the mother ask this? Cause the mother never asked. Yeah. Uh, literally no, 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 she was, yes. The mother asked multiple times. I don't know who it is, but you, just, well, you gotta take the feedback. You gotta get, it's gotta go. I can't do it. Somebody's got feedback. Not you. Somebody else that just came up, which would be Willow or Cap. Or Cappy. I'm Maybe. muted. All right. Look, a healthy disagreement is good, but that was oh, my. Yeah. I don't mind. I don't expect anybody to believe on what the fuck I'm talking about, but I do, and nobody's going to change my opinion on on it at all. I'm allowed to have an opinion. No, That's but your opinion is still bordering on the harassment of the people because you don't. You're too scared. Wait, you're too scared. Wait, even this was supposed to be a stream. Y'all are killing it. I'm trying to. I'm not me killing it. I didn't start the whole conversation. I'm just basically. No, you're just gonna keep going. I'm explaining things, okay, that girl. Kurt, don't listen though. You know that. What? You said. You <laughs> you said it like you're I his mama or something. something. Let's hear. We smoke him if you fucking got him or take you a drink. That was my fault, man. I, uh, understanding people in the, in, I I truly believe that I listen. Look. Queen, me and Queen had our differences, but I still fucking listen. I still tune in. I yeah, still, we still fuck with each other, man. Oh, I ain't seen you since Tim said it. This is how much I pay attention. Tim said, Oh, I ain't seen you since Carly Rodney ended. Bro, I've been, I'm in there a lot more than you think, but because I don't comment, doesn't mean I ain't in there. You I know, did not say that. You should did. You no, I did not. Yes, you did. When I came in here commenting, you said, oh, there's Captain Kurt. I haven't seen him. I had a conversation with you without the with Kylie Ronnie. What are you talking about? You jumped in the chat. We had a okay. conversation. Okay. What are you talking about? I think you're mixing me with, like, other people. I don't know. But the I thing is, I don't agree with you. Is because you're, like, saying, well, it could be an act. It could be uh, – we don't know. We don't know. And then you go into accusing someone else. And, say, I'm like, and I just want you to say on the record, do you believe it's a murder? And if you don't believe it's a murder, then what is it? I already told you, bro. She could have got fucked up at a party and they said, hey, we got to get rid of her because guess what? We all were getting fucked up with her and we're adults. And one of them could have been on the way to college and they had a big career ahead of them. And the parents said, you know what? The trucky way is going to tell you, let, let this kid go. Can't bring Kylie back. Waltz her into the water, and then everybody goes, "Oh, no big deal." The fire cam showed it. That's got to be what happened because so, we see lights go into water. I disagree that she was disposed of, but I think that any adult who fed a minor any drug, no matter what it was, should go to jail. And I, I can agree with that. I can appreciate. But do we have belief. proof of that? But her family is not in agreement with what you're saying. The family has accepted it and said. The family well, don't have to be, it's law enforcement. If if somebody if somebody got drunk at a party 
because they were given alcohol by adults and they drove their car into the water. It's the responsibility for the law enforcement to make sure that there was justice for the next person that doesn't want their kid drunk or high and driving their car into the water. So you can say it's for the parents and the parents don't want nothing to do with it. That's even more suspicious to me because if my 19 year old daughter wound up in the bottom of a fucking lake, you better believe I would make sure everybody did everything they could do until at the end of the day, I felt like justice was served. Here's so my like question in all this. You know, you know what, though? Like, that, 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 that is true. That is true, though. Like, it, it, I don't agree with her. But, however, you can't just say, like, oh, well, the parents don't think it's foul play, so the cops aren't going to pay attention. That's not how things are supposed to work. They are. The cops are paying attention, though. But, no, but I'm saying I'm, – I'm talking to voices who said, you know, the parents – the parents are in agreement that this is not foul play, so that's the way this is. No, that's not how it's supposed to work. Law enforcement is supposed to do their job no matter what. No, exactly. Yeah. That, that part's true. But but there's a fine line. There's a fine line between, and trust me, we all know where I stand on this. I am the constitutionalist, be damned at all costs, 100% absolutist, but speak with everything. But there's always, to have absolute freedom, there is always a balance between freedom and civic responsibility, which means sometimes morally right trumps factually correct, which means if this is your dead kid and you want me to back the fuck away, respect on that, man. At the end of the day, the cops say what they say. You say what you say. I'm out. And at the end of the day, if you don't trust the cops, then who the fuck are you gathering evidence for anyway? Because if you don't trust the system and the process, who the fuck are you going to turn over what you find to anyway? Because the whole I agree. Thing. I agree. So who, who, so who, who, you go, who are you going to tell it to? When you find out what you find out, who are you going to tell it to? I am. Who? The Fed? Who? Who are you going to tell it to? Biden? He might trade somebody for a warmonger. It's not going to fix anything. Fuck him. If you don't trust the system, he wouldn't remember what then you who told do you take the evidence to? There Dude, lies that, the problem. That was fucking deep, Willow. Like for very real. good, Willow. Well, very good. That's anyway, I'm gonna go problem. do my drugs and shit. Hope like hell I don't need to call anybody to come fish me out of anything because I'm gonna be evicted in about 72 hours. So this what? is my time to drink up and burn this motherfucking house to the ground. Word. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then, don't leave. Holy shit. I said that. Uh, <laughs> Said that to take some money, my earlier. I said I ain't saying what OJ did was right, but I understand how it happens. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I ain't saying you know you should ever like lay hands on women, but every now and then you might just have to grab a shake. What the fuck are you doing in my house? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <sighs> Merry Christmas. Thank you, Wing Zero. I appreciate that love. But anyhow, here's Merry my Christmas, mom. Willow. I don't know if you guys, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry mom. Christmas. Merry on, Christmas. Man. Um, so this is her mom. This, I don't know if you guys remember this or not. I've seen this, but let me ask you this. Yes. Tell me, is she saying this to the people that are local to her? She's saying, I won't, I don't want anybody on YouTube to ever talk about it again. I don't want nobody. To pay she it. said to leave the what? investigating up to the investigators. The investigators. And right. I will say this with TikTokers being sued right and left, with YouTubers being arrested right and left, I feel pretty confident she was talking to y'all. I mean, not necessarily y'all, y'all like you, but YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? Well, I, I feel like she's talking to Sammy, the person that was leading the investigation part. That's what I feel like she was talking to. Eh, I think she just, I, I think she was an opportunist, man. Everybody wanted to ridicule that girl. I don't think she had, I think she was a pretty girl that wanted to get on some camera time, pretended to be. Every time somebody dies ever in life, usually the best friend, very spoke that son of a bitch. There's always that best friend that wants to be the camera yeah. person. Mm, yeah, that's I what agree. she was. She wasn't lying. She just didn't know her. Yeah. <laughs> and exactly. you guys, um, for the most on. part. T said, what about her dad? Um, and what about her grandpa? Well, her dad, I know he had some questions at first, but last I knew um, from somebody that's a local there that's friends with the dad, um, he he was, you know, going with what the law enforcement said, you know. So, and as far as I know, her grandpa was as well. Grandpa took more issue with, he wanted to know where she got the alcohol. Remember that? Yep. And, and From, let me um, also say, while I, while I did completely believe this is an accident for a couple of reasons. I think there's a reason we don't let 16-year-olds drink. We just witnessed it. There's a reason 16-year-old girl insurance is high as hell. We just yep. watched it. Uh, you're talking about a girl who'd only been driving for about 20 minutes, and now we're going to throw her on a safari in a car she's had for six months that she don't know shit about. Agreed. Um, she probably has zero off-road driving experience, little to no drinking and driving experience, and now you put her on a fucking safari in the moonlight? Yeah, I can see where tons of shit can go wrong here. The fact yeah. of the matter is, almost every bit of evidence right now points to what they said it is, which is an accident. If there's some evidence somewhere that starts pointing in other directions that don't seem like farces and fairy tales, 
I'm all open for it because while I was one of the accident people, I also did a video that's still on my channel about the Placer County shit, and they're showing us some corruption there. But I'm going to be honest with you. When it comes to police corruption, there ain't nothing you, me, church, anybody's going to do nope. that fucking Project Veritas ain't done done. Where's the uh, Hey, and I hey, and I speak to somebody daily that has been involved with the, that project, and I understand that. But that's not the point because at the end of the day, that's a girl. That as much as everybody advocates for that's a little girl. That's a little girl. That's a, you're right. At the end of the day, that's a little girl. Well, I got a question though. Do you believe tow truck guy or do you think he's a liar? I think I think he is involved in all this shit, bro. I really drew. I liked AWP from the get go, but I. Can we play a, the heels? What do you think now? he's running distraction then, Kurt? What do you mean he's involved? Like he's running distraction or what I do you mean by that? He's about to get jammed up. So he figured that if he got, if he found this girl, he lived in Oregon. It's not too far. So I'm sure they associate with some of the same people or possibly do. So if he shows up and saves the day and finds this girl that they didn't want him to find, then guess what? Now look at what they're doing. Check this out. Dig deeper into these people. What well, didn't work? So now he's putting out interviews to try to get people to to believe him. I don't believe him. I, there, he I think there that actually... tow truck guy was completely a fake. I do believe that tow truck guy's a farce, but I think it's more simple now. I think tow truck guy was there to sell keychains and t-shirts and memberships. So yeah. I think he's there. Uh, heels, I think in he the was video. heels in the air made a video that said the case is closed. It says closed accident. I can play the video for you. It's three minutes and. Oh, well, from the from them that shows that it's not. No, it shows but, she shows the report actually in her video. He that really well, I've actually heard both ways too. I've seen some guys, things that say it's okay. like from I've personal experience. Both. Um my brother, it was very obvious that he unalived himself and that case was open for eight months after his death. So that doesn't yep. really mean anything. Oh, that's gonna be the autopsy report. Yeah, so you can go to uh what the autopsy and... says closed down. This yeah, is it, but it's got the report in it. I'm gonna play it real quick. Yeah, I'll thank you. You're just a person with a YouTube and an opinion. That's it. That's all. He thinks the case is over because of really shitty fucking piece of information. I'm going to show you that in a minute, but I want you to see him first say that it's over because of... It's really shitty information. <laughs> this is the, the, the observation skills of this young man, uh, which I find. Just, you know, with y'all's expertise and stuff, I figured y'all have this figured out already. So I just want to see how the Callie Rodney case thing was doing. And it's well, over. You know, it's it's done. It's kind of funny, this video of her car going in the water looks dead ass like it's fucking 11 o'clock during the day on a cloudy day. Still frame from an earlier in the day shot where it's light outside, okay? So there aren't going to be clouds moving around in a still frame, but I'm using it as an overlay because you can see the lights through it so that you can better visualize where the vehicle was. If you're just using the dark video, you can't see uh, anything. You can't see the landmarks very well. You see a little bit of the lake and a little bit of something jetting out. I listened to what he was trying to do with Ryan. He was saying, look, the case is closed, buddy. The case is closed. It's done. You're the only one talking about it. And I think to myself, how many people is the glarer telling that the Kylie Rodney case is closed when it's not? Yeah. In my community feed, I have clearly stated and shown the emails between myself and Nevada Sheriff Department. And um, we've, we've. It's coroner. That's all it's up to. Coroner. Is that what you were asking for, B Tim? Is that what you were saying? Yes, the case is closed. That's it's so Coroner, coroner cover, toxicology report, and autopsy report. That means the people that inspected her dead body deemed it an accident and closed right, it. Let me read the report. It says, if, if you allow me, this report was forwarded to the coroner division by the Department Mackey with the patrol division. On August 23rd, 2022, Glace, uh, Placer County forensic pathologist Dr. Gregory Re Relbar, MD, performed an autopsy on the remains of Kylie May Rodney. Positive yep. identification of the antecedent 
had been made by Detective Josephine Strachan during an, the autopsy. Detective Strachan, Strachan was present during the autopsy and the documents of her observation and the method of identification in the supplemental report to the original missing person report. NCSO case number, supplemental report 14. I have recently reviewed the pathologist's final report of the autopsy, which listed the cause of death in the case as drowning. There is right. no other significant tri contributing condition listed. I conferred with Detective Sonar, so Sonar, Sonar, and he told me there was no indication of foul play regarding the criminal investigation into the death of Kylie. The matter of death in this case, in this case, has been determined to be accidental. Case That's disposition awesome. closed. Accident attachment. Look on the top at the incident report. Do you see all the way on the top? That's a deputy coroner. So they have to, each individual, I explained this, I made a video about this when all this came out, is you have to explain the chain of command. You're going to get from the first, if you go through this entire report, you'll see the original deputy that took the call to come out there to, to assist at looking for the body or the vehicle for a recovery. He sat out there. Once the vehicle was located, he then dispatched to somebody else. Every initial report Throughout the whole process, you'll get the original deputy, the deputy that showed up, the deputy that watched those deputies, the coroner, the detective that showed up, the person that found it. And they all have to fill out the exact same thing. The coroner is releasing it saying that they deem it an accidental drowning and they gave it back to the sheriff's department. You continue that that same report. If you read through it, it'll say it's been transferred onto the Nevada Department of investigations and it's pending further investigation. The same thing they will tell you. I challenge you to email them tomorrow or Monday or whatever you want to email them and ask them, is the Kylie Rodney case open? Email their yeah. public questions. They will tell you it is a pending investigation and they cannot release any information to keep the integrity of the case intact. So what would be the final report to you? What would be the final report that would say, this is the end, this is a case oh. closed? The final report will come from the sheriff's department, from a detective's unit, from a, from a uh, whatever they call theirs, like where I'm from, it's an accidental investigation unit or it's- a Yeah, you're correct. Each department has to close he's the investigation. Total, yeah, he's exactly. totally correct. On the yeah. See, that's where I'd be more scared because to me, if there's any corruption and cover up, it's in the police department. I think mm -hmm. if they're still an open investigation right now, it is simply to look in to see if there was any negligence on the police department. How come y'all managed to swim around this lake for fucking two damn weeks and couldn't find shit? These assholes on YouTube showed up and found it 15 minutes later. I think that <laughs> may be being looked into a little bit. Yeah, I think that's a problem. Well, um, I, I think that's absolutely a problem. The coroner, uh, the Emmy, everybody ruled um, self unaliving in our case, and it was literally eight months or more until they closed the actual like criminal investigation part of it, because it is considered a criminal investigation. Well, is you show people are showing this and trying to say that it's it's a final deposition of a case when it's not. So all the traction that people, okay, maybe it cleaned out a lot of people that really didn't care, but everybody that was working on it, seeing, oh my gosh, heels on the air says it's closed. It's got to be closed. No, it's oh, not. Yeah, okay, let me, says, let me ask you oh this: my, when, when the sheriff's department calls it a wrap, are y'all done? Would, would you? Would, is that good enough at that point? The sheriff's department says the Kylie Rodney case is closed. We deem it a hundred percent. It, they're going to come out. That's what a press report is. That they they will come out with a press report. They don't just deem something like this nationwide an accident and just keep their mouth shut. No, not a, na a national news source. Anything never used the fire cam footage as anything. They don't even recognize it. It doesn't even exist anymore. Their her phone was never. What are you talking about? It doesn't exist. We we showed it. The, it's the you can go to that same website and you can try to find the original fire cam footage. It's not no. archived. Doesn't even yeah, exist because they it, took because everyone downloaded it when it came out. All the YouTubers downloaded it. It just That's, doesn't go back anymore. It used to go back and it doesn't go back anymore. Now it's only current. Well, yeah, I don't think it has loops. anything to do with YouTube. I think that it's a storage data issue before yeah, it, could yeah, be that it just loops. Let's but talk also, sense now. Uh, yeah, well, I, back prior to August 5th, August 6th, you could go all the way into yeah. July. Mm -hmm. That girl, uh, not that girl. Heels in the air says, actually, How far I have a text. How can you go now? What? You can't anymore. No. You, you only do like, right? Okay, now that's the weirdest part to me. If going back on that fire cam solved the murder case and now all of a sudden you're not allowed to do it anymore, that's the weirdest shit I've heard so far. Well, yeah, that is a people, little bit weird. That's a little strange. Why would you do away with that now? Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, well, well they it, thought that maybe the admin, uh, they gave people admin like um, rights, like uh, accidentally. Do you, that's what I heard. Panel was taken to jail because of that fire cam. Would you be satisfied with that shit? Would you be like, oh, yeah, that was definitely homeboy driving a car in the water? What no. Was the question again? It's not definite proof of anything, really. It's so, you know, I mean, it is, but it, it's I not have, used uh, for any. Yes, here says heels in the air says I actually have a text message from Joseph Scott Morgan, death investigator. He says it's closed, but at any point they m could reopen. There are other. Well, I was going to say Hoff is an open finish. case. Yeah, I mean Hoff is an open case for fuck's sake. If it's high profile enough and it's unsolved, well, then. you can email him. I'll email him. I'll email him, and I I will make sure. I've already posted one on YouTube. Wouldn't it be safe to say that if they were even looking into possible, like contributing to minors, that that would be enough to keep her case open? Though it doesn't have to be anything as sinister. If they ditched her body. Is thing, because that, you know, it could be as simple as they're trying to find out what? who was supplying minors with what, and that could apply to her, so the case what? will stay open. I think yeah, that would know. just go as like what you're kind of seeing right now with the whole Leilani thing. They consider that pretty much a done deal, but they decided that there's still going to be some other pending charges. Everybody thought the Billy Joe charges were going to be something to do with his death. It wasn't. They were just saying there were still going to be some other charges handed out. That's I think so if they're going to start looking for alcohol and drugs, that'll just be separate charges that they'll start delving out. But not if they not if they were served to Kylie, it would be part of her case. If oh yeah, if it was, but that's a hard dot to connect there. <laughs> that's a tough one. I'm just that's saying tough. something like that could keep it open. And if people don't push on it, they're just gonna act like it didn't happen. That that's what my feeling is because that county, that Truckee County, is one of the corruptest towns in California. And that if you if you do your research on that town, you'll see that those people they don't give a shit about. It. Those cops really don't care. So if nobody cares anymore, and it has something to do with trying to keep Billy Joe out of trouble because he's going off to college and he did get contributing to the delinquency of a minor, which caused the death. That's something that needs to be pushed. And if it yeah, takes there was a lot of parents that wouldn't even let their kids fucking speak, let alone uh, go give interviews or drop them off for any fucking thing, because, yeah. you know, there's a lot of them who do not want their the, children involved in a, you know, investigation. A murder investigation. If, if it's yeah, that, investigation. There's no murder. Stop saying well, that's what I'm, but that was that was the point I was seeking to make. But uh, <laughs> like murder. like what what I'm what I'm you know to to me the the biggest thing still comes back to if you don't trust the system. I mean, okay, look, if that system is that corrupt, and again, I did a video saying there's some fishy shit going down in Placer County. But I mean, the other really anomaly to this case that I thought was funny, but kind of showed me that okay, if there is some undercover corrupt shit going down, these mofo's got major pool. Because the only difference separating this from a small town police department is this is a small town police department with fuckhead money, and uh, it's a it seems to be a pretty yeah, nice part of the world. I got involved too. It wasn't just the police. One point seven million dollars because there was a guy, there was a gentleman that had nothing to do with anything. He was a complete bystander. Didn't realize that the cops were trying to stop somebody else. Wasn't paying attention that the cop was telling him to get on the ground. The cop shot him in his spine and paralyzed him from the waist down for the rest of his life. He's, he can't, he's in a wheelchair. They, he just sued them for $1.7 million like six weeks before Kylie Rodney went missing. That's why all those detectives looked shook. They were all about to lose their job. They couldn't even take showers out on the hot water. But that's also why I did the video. My video was more about the you know, everybody's asking why the FBI was there, you know, because there was a huge argument about who actually was quarterback in the case. You know, is it this county? Is it this city? And then everybody started wondering why the FBI was there. And my whole video is pretty much saying that the FBI is probably kind of just overseer babysitters due to all the crazy accusations that's been going down in this county. They want to no, make sure it's not. No, watched. it's how they put yeah, out yeah, a I report was... that got other agencies involved. If the FBI gets a hold of it, everybody gets out of there. So, well, and that was federal well, land, you guys. Not, are and it was on a federal park, exactly. That, that's why federal, the FBI was involved. Exactly. If the, the park. Land, if so the FBI takes a hold of the case, everybody in the. In, no, in the, that is not true. That is, is true. not true. We have the FBI involved in one of our cases ongoing currently. They are not the lead investigation. Right. They're not the lead. If they're the lead investigator, if the FBI moves into a town and says, here, I want this case, I'm looking at this case. That's what FBI would lead role of the case. Every cop in the in the involvement steps out and the FBI runs it. If they're looking over things like they are in Truckee, they just watch. They're, 
They look back and go, yep, yeah, uh-huh. They allow some of their resources to be used, but they don't use any of – they don't involve themselves in the case other than overseeing it. That's it. Well, I saw enough out of James Comey to know that I know cops a lot press conferences to shake shit up a little bit. You bet your ass FBI lies. If the FBI as much pissing contest goes on between agencies and police departments, if you think the FBI was there under any other pretense, if you think they would knowingly tell that to that police department with all the shit going down, now hell fuck no. I don't tell them what the FBI told that that police department they were really there for. Brought in to help coordinate efforts between the agencies due to the fact it being federal land that she were found on. That's why the FBI was there. They and to it occurred on federal land, man. Yes, and as a missing person, you know, at the beginning, yeah. They're but not the, the, the final thing in this case that I thought was strange, that the only thing that really smelled weird to me, this is where I was going just to say how much power that little fucking police department has. How in the fuck? Drugs, drug dealers, no drugs, all sober, keg stands, togo. Who, who knows what the fuck was going on? How the hell you convince 400 fucking kids with cell phones to not post snappies and fucking Snapchats and Instagrams and fucking upload you videos galore? <laughs> I don't got it. Whatever. Well, they I've did, had. they what? on that Be Real app. But yeah. it just wasn't much. I mean, like that to to be as high profile as this was. Hey, check this out. This- you got to think, though. Listen, these kids are not on Facebook and shit anymore. They do Snapchat where the pictures disappear. They do fucking be reels. Uh, all yeah. these pictures disappear. They don't fucking stay there. You know what I mean? After like twenty, that's the smartest thing gone. this generation's ever done. I'm gonna tell you yeah. that right now. Smartest shit this generation ever did because they used to want to commit crimes and record that shit. If Instagram had been a thing in my heyday, I'd have man, I'd have been like on some gaudy shit, bruh. I, I'd have been so, so, so much trouble. I know oh, how Lord. them from posting any pictures. So I'm sorry, Kurt. What's that? What'd you say? Listen, do you remember that Miro dude that popped up on Ryan's? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, check this out. So Miro, Miro said he made he made something very clear that a lot of people go there and do drugs. A lot of older people go there and party and do drugs, right? So. Check this out. Imagine if there is some sort of party prior to this party where something happened to this girl and they took her to 200, 300 people party. Now those people can post whatever they want. They're grown ass adults at a different party that has no affiliation with this girl. But that, that doesn't really... I, yeah, you could you repeat that? that? Because that doesn't make sense to me according to the evidence. He the said prior to, the party prior to this party and took her 200 or 300 per people party. Now people post whatever they want on different party, no affiliate, affiliated or something like that. Never find a picture that would affiliate you back to Kylie because it's not a party of her peers. That's why there was so much drug use. Well, can I ask what, I mean, like, but I get your specu- have- wait, wait, wait. I, I get your speculation. But like, what is the basis of this speculation? What is the proof? Yeah, that I don't understand the evidence the and facts that support this speculation, counselor. <laughs> yes, please. Cell phone was never the facts that support the speculation. We'll allow it, but where's your evidence in fact to support the speculation? Evidence in fact that she just drove into that water. You don't. You don't just take your cell phone out of your car and get rid of it before you drive into the water. You don't send perfectly coherent. She didn't though. She didn't. She didn't. The she last thing that happened right where she went in, yo. You don't. Yeah. But you would find the phone. Like they, they found. They did like, find the phone. The FBI <laughs> said they found the phone. Check it. TV found the phone. Fool. No, they no, we found the computer. No, we check the laptop. The computer. The computer. And a bunch of other they BS. It's immense. Don't forget the Bob Ross. I had the phone, which is mean they found it in the car. Remember, <laughs> SF Investigates said that the FBI had the, that that FBI had the phone the whole time that it was in the car with her. That her last ping was there anyway. So exactly. even if it disappeared into the water with the other half of the contents of her damn car. Well, they're saying maybe yeah, I just think there's maybe more point than accident, man. Free to disagree. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. A merry, well, you, can merry I, can Christmas, I, Kurt. Yeah, merry Christmas. Wait, Tim. No, like, I'm t- just like I don't know what the proof is. Like, <laughs> I, I, still, I don't know. You came up here and I'm you're telling like, you, your, your proof, keep it going. Yeah, your proof is is that they didn't close the case. That's just, it. I mean. I'm, 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 Listen, I'll listen when I get off here. If, but if you can honestly, you don't have to do it now. Make make a private video and tag me in it. But I want you to really honestly come to the table and bring evident like facts from your side of the point where it comes from this girl was drinking, 
went to a party, got so drunk that she drove her car into the water and show me that you, that, you know, that she drove that car into the water. What I have a video. I have a video of it. She didn't even have to be drunk. But, it could have just been but, an accident. You know I, what I mean? I have just making a wrong video. Time. I could show you the video. The He's time where she got someone the water. else could have drove her car. Jack had found the laptop, not the phone. He lied yeah. about that. He, I yeah. know. I know. I I misspoke on the electronic device. I apologize. No, that's all right. We just. So, okay, so what? You What do you want him to show you that so you know it's... What was facts, it? facts, that, facts that prove, that show that she was driving her car and drove it into the water. A video's and, not good enough? And was but That's unshowable, though. It's I mean, showable. It really I showed it. It I is showed it on the live stream. I pointed yeah, it. No, unless you're riding shotgun, you'll never yeah. know. That's how cases work. I mean, like I said this just yeah. the other day. Even if like the whole AWP thing, I was using Jared as okay. an excuse. I said there's no fix in his career, no matter what happens, because it's not like in a courtroom they ever stand up. I've been there a whole bunch of times. They never once stood up and said, Willow is completely innocent. They just that quit it. That's it. So, what's the what's the uh, my client? What's the I had a client that was being accused of murder of this girl, right? Would I would, use and, and, and what's say and I use that? Would I be able to use that as a defense and say, no. "Look, it's an accident"? Because no. that would be probably put reasonable doubt in that person's mind. Most likely, no. it would be used as no. A the best reasonable doubt is another possible suspect, man. Good attorney say that's lightning bugs, and he's going to prove that you cannot prove that that was her car driving into the water based off of some chopped up black and white photo. They will well, not. Greg did a great analysis where he actually did a map and he showed what it exactly the road. What if other evidence, Kurt? What if the glove box from the Honda says otherwise? 100%. What if 100%. That could be collaborating evidence to something else. Like if they had a picture of her driving away at the end of the night and that, then yes, you could you could use that to stack evidence. But, but there's been no pictures, though. That's the problem. I mean, there's just more evidence saying active than not. Hold on. I oh, guess where was me. the last Snapchat picture photo taken at there, that girl? So I have it. Yeah, I, I have a question. So I'm supposed to show you a picture. To Jagger, and Jagger sent it to me. Yeah. I'm supposed to show you a picture of the car leaving and the car going in the water, but you could just purely speculate on a conspiracy of trucking, like – based on like past incidences oh. and that there's some sort of cover up. I, mean, I think that's not fair. I think you need to show me evidence that this is some sort of conspiracy. Okay, that, you got to show me, you got to show me the same evidence that you want from me. Because... I, I have a report, a coroner report. I have a video that shows the acts. I have a geo map from. It really is the person who's bringing the opposing debates job to bring the evidence. Kurt. I did. Well. Yeah, I mean, I, I well, bought. even from a court of law, that's why it's called reasonable doubt. If Correct. you're trying to convince me that she drove into a lake based on what we know of drunk, 16, new car, didn't know anything about the terrain, never drove off road, that sounds a little more feasible than a gaggle of stealthy ninja assassin YouTubers that snuck off to a place that nobody's ever heard of that you couldn't point to on a map to annihilate a 16 year old girl for GoFundMe money that was 60 grand when they all drive cars that cost 80 and 90. Like, added I don't to see. that the whole entire police force in Truckee is corrupt and nobody gives a shit and everybody's bad and Kylie was the sacrificial lamb. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a stretch. Way. Like, come on, guys. Said all that, not me. I never said that one time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mouth. Like, that's what I'm saying. Where in the hell are you pulling all this from? Look, it's as simple as this. If, if I have a kid, and my and I'm successful at what the hell I'm doing. I could work for the law. I could do whatever I'm doing, right? And my kid could be out trying to get a piece of ass and and did something he shouldn't have done. And this girl, something happened to this girl. So my kid makes a dumbass decision and gets rid of her, right? It could be that simple. Now it's my responsibility to either make myself look bad or cover for my kid. I think that one of those kids did something, something happened to that girl, and their fucking parents helped cover it up. That's why everybody you know, will never, that. ever be able to prove that, though, dude. Uh, uh, you know, Kurt, that I'm was my tell point, you, too, wait. is who you going to prove it to, the people who yeah. have covered up? I mean, that's the problem. Kurt, I'm going to really advise you, be careful who you accuse, because there's a TikToker that's being sued currently for falsely yeah, accusing for someone sure. of being a murderer. And you're it's, saying that some kid is, is somehow true. responsible for this murder? You better be careful you don't say some kid's name. Well, that's what look. That's what true crime is, bro. No, like, it's not falsely accusing people. It's about spreading awareness and maybe educating people. It's not about falsely accusing. It's people. not. I agree, it's Tim. Not. Tim is right. It's for speculation. You just it's need for people to know it's speculation. We're not here to solve. We're not here to solve cases. Or to yeah, I have no cuff power.
This is no totally coconut. for entertainment purposes only. None what of the hell are you going to do? Say okay. stop in the name of YouTube arrest? But what, are you, what is your goal to like? What is your how you did not bring awareness? But, right, but, you, but your opinion is to bring awareness. So you stop because you think that this girl created an accident when well, it's very possible that there could be kids getting underage kids getting drunk. Like, what is your but awareness? There's nothing you can do though. Yeah, Even there's no new evidence. The thing I wait for new the evidence. The awareness to come is, up. hey, maybe another mom won't let her 16 year old kid go to a party unattended. I do. I, I do also worry want to about point that in your out. own backyard. I'm sure there's that kind of stuff going on in your own backyard. I love y'all. Merry Christmas. I got here. Merry I got Christmas. Good things to do. Have a Be good, good night. Girl. Later, buddy. Merry Christmas. Merry there. Christmas, man. Thanks, Queen. Appreciate you. No problem. Be careful, buddy. Good night, baby. You too. I really yeah. thought it was just for like discussion purposes. I didn't think we were really trying to do anything well, but just talk I about like, interesting cases. I love the conspiracy thing. My thing is just when you have something about this community, right? And what I was going to say before we left is don't, the only thing I can give advice to is, is for me not really being a true crime channel is that don't shoot all your conspiracy wads in one spot. And I'm going to tell you why, because since I've been Bro. here, every <laughs> fucking case, every case, every single one of them, has yep. some sort of weird conspiracy about it that half the crowd yep. believes it's a who done it, and the other yeah. half, you know, believes that it was an accident. And one side will err on the side of law and order and 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 optimistically cautious that the system got it right, while the other half doesn't give a shit who gets arrested if it ain't who they believe did it. Fuck them. It's an open investigation. And you know, you can do this about every case since I've been here, from Petito to Chris Watts to KJ to I mean, the well, list goes on. It, it was this way every case. Okay, I'm going to bring this girl up. She's been waiting for a while, so I want to get her up here. And we've got room on the panel now, so I want to bring her up. Charisma, oh, you way, up here? Yes, I'm here. Oh, okay. by the way, that girl, I'm sorry I raised my voice to you. My apologies. It's okay, Tim. You can raise your voice to me anytime, baby. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, new person. I, did, I don't Charisma? Yeah, welcome. I was going to say, she was back there for a while, but the panel was full, and I couldn't bring her up because we didn't have any room. So oh, honey, you could have booted me. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I didn't want to be rude. Now I haven't been on here a long time. You know what I mean? So I was like, I didn't, it's and I like, love Kurt. I do, but I like him. I like him. I like his shit out of my dude. I like him. I do now in. too, honestly. I, I do. And I understand. I, I don't agree with him. But I like him. Like we, we could all have different opinions. That's what this Absolutely. is all about, right? And there's yeah, definitely yeah, a side that is. Should be able to, you know, get along. Should be able to. I mean, I just, I just don't like the the pure speculation because it's like it goes down the rabbit hole, and I don't want some innocent kid to be accused of possibly being a murderer right. and then have their whole life being ruined. Names though, was he? Was he naming names? No, he no. wasn't. No, no, no. He's just no. Okay, randomly good, good, accused. Good. He's just like, first off, he's victim guilting the parent, and that like was getting me annoyed. Because he's like, well, if I have a kid, it's like, no, why are you victim blaming this poor woman who just lost her kid? And it just gets me a little aggravated that you're victim. She's she's got enough. She's got a dead kid. And it gets Absolutely, me you, Tim. But home, wait, you guys, homegirl's been waiting for a long time to join the yeah, panel. Watch to see what Charisma has to say. She yeah, has to say she's been wanting to get up here and and, and um, she had a couple of questions I could and I couldn't keep up. So oh, oh my apologies. <laughs> No, that's that. That's fine. Um, no, I was just curious what Kurt's thought was on the doxing of the kids and the families that have nothing to do with this. It's not fair. They shouldn't be doing it. Um, what do you mean like Jagger, like Sammy, all the other kids, like the friends and stuff? Is that what you mean? Yes. Okay. You know, okay. yeah, yeah. It, it, like I put in the back chat, you know, there's one particular creator that's been doing it and just going balls to the walls with it and i would be curious how he felt about that too that right about the squirrel? yes and yeah. you know i will say this much i do think that squirrel lady's a fraud i think she's related to them in some way shape or form way well, maybe it's an aunt a girlfriend or you know so in some way okay. she, I, I feel like she's definitely related to them um or, or knows them or friends of them or something you know what i'm saying i can't put my, well, down, my, my finger on there's, it, there's something yeah there's two squirrels there's Squirrel right. girl who is gone, and then there's squirrels on fire. There's one That's that grew channel. Her, she grew her channel quick as hell with this whole Kylie Roth, Kylie Rodney's back, and the whole triple A tow truck guy. And she mm -hmm. had an it wasn't an interview, it was what she said to her. She just repeated the conversation that they had, but the title makes it sound like it's um 
it's her doing an interview and it's not, that's who mm-hmm. that's what you're talking about. No, well, because no, because in the other channel, this girl's on fire. They're the ones that are going hardcore. You know, I've seen them. They're like, yeah, you know, channel. yeah, yes. Yeah. And they're, you know, running background checks and whatever the background checks are. And, and this but, is my, well, let's also yeah. be honest. It draws numbers right now. If you yeah. have the open it panel does. of conspiracy theories, you yeah, want 1500 in the chat all day long. I bet if I went straight conspiracy, so I could fire there. my. Absolutely. Yeah. I had two, two grand in there within a week. Just let me go straight balls conspiracy. Because I'm creative <laughs> as shit. Yeah. I can come up with some outlandish accusations. No, serious as hell. You'll have a thousand people in your fucking chat. Uh-huh. No, yep. Get that super but train like, chat. Choo choo. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They're not related to Squirrel Girl. <laughs> I think they support Squirrel Girl, but they're I, not related. They're different, but they're all squirrels. They all have squirrel names. That, and they're like, they have this channel and they like, they all go really hard on like sleuthing and getting like, like you said, doxing people. I think, I mean, I don't mm-hmm. on their channel, you know, because they go through everybody, like every little piece of yeah. information they could find true about crime it. community man you're teetering docs mm-hmm. and that's what i've always said about the true crime community everything you look up you are all over the docs and scales right now yeah. the only thing is hitting that inner button when you actually launch it back out to the world crime community <laughs> infiltrated <laughs> we have <laughs> like created. Yeah, somebody said uh right squirrel hasn't missed a day since this shit happened um yep. well, somebody said squirrel is gone though because someone who harassed her but she's squirrel she's girl is gone still here yeah right. Squirrel on fire is still here. Squirrel girl is gone. Like she got doxxed by that Jeff back YouTube guy because he, and then yep. she left YouTube. But Squirrels on Fire is like a discussion channel. And there, maybe that's not it. The one that did the interview is that Squirrel. Which one is that? The one that did the interview. Squirrel girl. Squirrel girl. Squirrel did girl. The interview with Nick. Yeah, oh, she's nice. on that last. So she's because, the one that left. Mm-hmm. And I think you like they were saying, oh, you must you must be paid by. Um, her and CCTV because she's also yep. local and she did a lot of like raw footage. She went up there like before the fire cam and was able to well, find herself. We're talking about Verna, D- different, but like Verna, you know, also went there like and got yeah. footage. But so did this other girl, CC, and they mm-hmm. got doxxed by that guy, right? Um, wow. Yeah, yes. they got talks and they yeah. left, and I think they both left YouTube. They were like, "Fuck this, I'm out of here." You know. Does yeah, anyone they took know down. how to confirm the fire cam is no longer available? It is not. It is not available. Yeah, they took it down I, I, like a couple <laughs> days after. I think. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Probably because they thought it was related Correct. to the case. Can, mm-hmm. can we also agree that the courts don't know how to wrangle this YouTube shit in between handing out no, public links to shit, Mm-mm. between giving admin status to fucking tree cams in the forest and shit? What the fuck are y'all doing? Yeah. I think that's you what they did a- on accident. It was like admin. <laughs> yeah, for everybody. You are, you are making it a little hard to trust your investigation, guys. You know, about your competent so shit. Nobody was ever supposed to be able to see it. Yeah. Go back. Yeah, it's like, yes, a, it's like a, I think it was like a new system, and they had like launched it, and like people got into it that day, and Oops. like went crazy on it, and probably busted oh the server God. with being overrun, and then they took it down, yeah, and, and then people the started to think, yep, they started thinking it was a conspiracy because people took it down, and then they found mm-hmm. another fire cam, and Gray found another fire. Yeah, cam. the opposite like, way that showed it. Yeah. So now, uh, as far as the AWP thing, do I think they're dropping videos right now to muddy the waters? Not really for the Cali case. I think that's self preservation, what you're watching right there. I think yeah, that's yeah, just they're the, just trying to distraction. make distraction. All your distraction, yeah. turn focus, make a relationship. Yeah, that's Christmas just cash. Lawyers are expensive. Yeah, his, cur- mm-hmm. yeah. his case got <laughs> lawyer cash. I think his case got was supposed to be yesterday, but they pushed it. The Jared case, they haven't done <laughs> their so I don't know what the date is. I think it's January or something. Like twentieth or something, January twentieth, yeah. I think. Yeah, I mean, I think they're playing some kind of game there by pushing it. I don't know. They've been doing that since the beginning. It seems like mm-hmm. that happens in a lot of cases, especially where the client yeah. is particularly guilty. Because the longer they push it, the better off it is. Yeah, and he hasn't been fingerprinted yet, or, or has he been booked? In no, he hasn't. Yet? He hasn't been fingerprinted. They're like trying to like negotiate. Maybe he doesn't have to leave the state. He can just to go to a local court. He doesn't have to leave. They give him a lot of very. They're being very nice to Jared, which is very yeah. it's raising a lot of eyebrows by a lot of people mm-hmm. who are watching. Yeah. I don't really mind the fingerprint thing, but I mean, let's face it with, with the whole COVID thing nowadays. You're seeing a lot of that kind of shit right now. I, I like. I, I, I've I've been in person, so it's not really a big well, almost every big case I've seen has been by Zoom rooms. 
he's got a good ass layer and they're going to push it off. I mean, he's not going to want to go do that because if these yeah. charges get dropped, he doesn't, he's not going to want his DNA and all that out. He's not a felon yet as of right now. So, you know, I know mm -hmm. they want his fingerprints and shit, but I mean, he, I think his lawyer is going to try to push it off from the holidays. Yeah. And stuff like I agree. Because they already lawyer, did like, or the judge said, I want your fingerprints and your photo done. I want you booked in before you come back to court. He went back to court and he was not booked in. Oh, well, that would be why they pushed it off then. Yeah. But then they pushed it off again. It was supposed to be yeah. like a few days ago again. And there was like another reason why they pushed it off. It was not in fairness. To have the charges dropped completely and thrown out. But they, well, always, in I think fairness, they always lawyers do that. Do that shit. Yeah. yeah, the lawyers do it too because I, I'm gonna tell you, it's nothing scarier than you got a big court case coming up and you get up, put your suit on, get ready to walk out the door, and your lawyer calls. This happens all the time. That that the judge says one thing, the docket says one thing, but your lawyer calls on the way to your car and says, "Hey, man, don't worry about today. We got this. Uh, they're gonna reschedule. I'll give you a call next week." It's like, are you sure about that? And, you, and your asshole is kind of clenched for a couple hours because you're still in the fence. Oh, like, do I go? Oh. Like, am I? <laughs> do I do I go or not? You're kind of terrified to not go, but. Yeah, and by the way, the fire camp thing is still there. I, I, went, I followed oh, the links. Let me to... hold on. Uh, hold on. I want to correct this. I mean, I mean if he's, um, if it's if you're telling me you have, when you're a felon, you have to get DNA. Um, I don't know who's got this shit on their mic, but they need to turn it off. Does that, does that, is that all states, Queen, that they're doing that now? I unmuted to ask you that. Sorry. I'm I don't know. I was going to say, I'm starting to mute everybody myself because that shit's fucking terrible. Is that the, uh, is that required? Is the DNA required in every state for felons? When you're a felon, so. yeah. You got to go. Because they were saying that. something about Idaho, about like, it, it's only if you are like, if it's like a sexual abuse or, or worse or something it's not for every kind of felon in in like idaho they were talking about that because of the idaho four murders they were talking about dna why there might not be like a, a big enough dna database there and or, tim you know, said he did get in tim did you say you did get into the fire cams just now so they are yeah i'm looking people. i'm looking for the date of the thing but there, it's still alert for california it's still up you, you just have to look for. i the think date. you just can't go back you could like, okay they have but them, it didn't uh, like disappear completely no it didn't disappear you can watch other i watched okay. i looked at though it's not like the whole thing's disappeared it's still there yeah. it's just I, I think like the video footage that you're looking for i have to look for but i don't think it's there it's on yeah, see, i find that weird that if indeed too being able to rewind this camera enabled somebody to solve a crime and now all of a sudden they won't let you rewind it anymore that that's a little strange I mean, to me well, they can't do it willow did you hear but them that, though that's they, what i was going to say it means that you can't do access. it they said it was yeah. accidental access though that wasn't ever supposed to be able to be accessed did you hear them say that okay well i didn't hear that but that's what i was getting at anyway was to say yeah. that you probably can't make it do that but i bet they can <laughs> yeah, exactly. so, yeah that's cool and they yeah, still can, but they took it off of the that you can't go back anymore, you know, because it probably yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, uh, I'm cool sense. with that. As long yeah, as they can still do it, that's all that matters. I mean, it's like a good thing people watch them and like look for fires, even people that you know aren't working for the like, state of California. People yeah, like and, to go on there and look for fires during fire. Well, season. and to, to just, believe that there's cameras in the trees, I mean, it's California, dude. About twice a year, that place engulfs in flames. I mean, so I'm not shocked there's that they the got cameras. The cell towers issues. out there. The cell yeah. towers look like a tree out there. Uh, by the way, Kate does crime says you can go back. You need to find the archive site. There's two same exact sites, but one you can search. So Kate does uh, uh, crime says that. Kate's oh, pretty smart. That right makes there. more sense. That that makes more sense. I knew there had to be some kind of logical explanation for that. Uh, my thought was is that it probably only went back like 90 days publicly. Mm -hmm. Or I figured uh, I, I could see that or something. Or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, what, what actually happened was, Kim, and I don't know if you're in there, but I believe the Alder Hill camera, which is the one everybody was looking at, Yeah. you cannot find it anymore. I'm looking, I mean, like it's not showing the actual footage on Alder Hill. So mm -hmm. they might have, who knows what they would have done, Which, but uh, Kate probably is saying there's like another site. Like there's, a yeah, there are, site. there's two yeah, of them. There's like an archive site. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, makes that sense. would make sense too, though, because if it's like an active fire cam, 
there's not much use of outside of what we've seen for that footage because it wouldn't do any good to scope out a fire that happened three days ago unless you're trying to figure out how it started. So mm -hmm. I could see they yeah. wouldn't want it or need it all on the same site. Yeah, yeah. It's just and then they were study. up. They updated their system too. Yeah, and it was new. I think it was like a mistake, maybe yep. or something that you could go back like a certain amount of time. I remember, but it does make sense that it's still like your archive is still there. But I know like somebody like took it all off of there when it was available, and it's all on YouTube. Like the whole day of Kylie. Yeah, I have. The, I yeah. downloaded it from the. Well, come to think version. about it. I'm not a website guy, but I bet having a site that allows just the average viewer to come in and, and rewind some shit from three, four months, like that's got to be taxing on servers and websites. <laughs> it's got to oh, be yeah. tough, man, to allow that. That's got to be rough, dude. Got to be rough. Yeah. yeah, I mean, well, I especially the most. a system like this, a system like this is not built for major traffic. Yeah, yeah. it's not YouTube. <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. It's not very user friendly. I remember like people trying to figure it out at when they were in different time zones, and people were having problems with that when like it was going live. The whole, yeah. when they found it, like at the beginning. I am saying. so glad you were up here so that you could help explain this, Ellie. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I'm obsessed with all this. I just saw it all go down with all the squirrels too, like Squirrel Girl. And then everybody thought that it was like people were thinking that their computer got hacked because they went into this archive. Like people got crazy conspiracy with it. Like I saw it <laughs> happening and I just was like, you do. Yeah. I just like people were like this one girl, Michelle girl, she thought that somebody like hacked into her, her computer and like stole information and stuff. I mean, which it could have, I don't know. I mean, maybe it was two separate incidents or something, but people got really crazy with this fire cam footage like they thought it was like fake they thought maybe people they put it up as like a you know some kind of smoking gun yeah all right i guess we call it fake hues it. it's fake hues there you go fake hues <laughs> yeah gray hues is fake hues fake hues what do you mean fake hues <laughs> the time of the fire can everybody was doubting it <laughs> yeah it's fake hues <laughs> not fake news it's fake hues well um, i think Gray did a great video but... no nah, i think he did too and hey, gray's a smart dude man uh, that video he did with the Idaho deal, man, with the breakdown side of that house, that that's some next level shit. That's uh, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. Yeah. Well, Queen, and, I'm gonna and, I'm gonna pop down. I just wanted to pop up and you know just kind of put my two cents out there about the whole thing with the Kylie Rodney case. And Tim, I Tim, I just wanted to let you know I thank you for bringing up the whole um, the um. What am I looking for now? Where they're suing? Yeah, TikTok. Oh, the TikTok. 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 Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, I couldn't think of it. Yes, TikTok. You know, for saying you know these people's names out there. Yeah. The professor. Yeah. And yeah. that's it. Just it's just, it's very disturbing. Very and very. Kurt, disturbing. I mean, if if like you guys, that's why I'm like, you guys want to say a name, you're being mm -hmm. prepared to go into court because so right. you might you know you might get someone who's willing to do a lawsuit. There's yeah. people that like 80 percent of people might not, but there's 20 percent that will sit there and say, yeah, you know what? You fucked with me too much. I'm taking mm -hmm. you to court. And right. it's the ones that don't talk shit about it either. Let me just go ahead yeah. and give that as a precursor. Nine times out of ten, when a YouTuber tells you they're fixing to sue you, you're never going to get that letter or that phone call. Don't worry. Yeah. But when, when no. you get the one that, that didn't have a warning shot, that one means business. Or you two know, cease and assist. And, you got two cease and assist. And, uh -huh. and you have to show proof of your allegation, some sort of fact where you can, some reasonable people can say, well, I can come to that conclusion. And if the only conclusion you have is, well, Presser County, the Chucky Way, it, I, I, that's not enough. I'm yeah, sorry. the Chucky Way mm -hmm. isn't going to fly in court, man. Not at all. Uh, They're going to uh, look you know. like you're fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and that, that, that family will have victims' rights. Yeah, and then the, you I, say uh, the case is not is not closed. That's not enough. I, you know, what I mean, like, let's say we discount the video and we say, oh, we don't really care about the video. What's this say? I would think I, I trust the coroner. I trust the police putting down drowning. I am not a coroner, mm -hmm. nor am I a police officer. I go by the facts of the document, and unless there's some sort of heavy corruption, which no reasonable person would see because there's no facts showing that until like you see that, then I'm just going to go with the documents. And, and that's where I'm at. I mean, I agree 100%. 16 year old drunk water. It says everything right there. It says to me until you can show me that there's some other reason besides a stretched out seat. Yeah. Hatchback, I don't give a shit. <laughs> and dear uncle will, I love you, brother. You, my boy, 
I cannot believe that a bunch of good old boys are having a mm-hmm. conversation about a wallered out seatbelt because as somebody who's had a couple of Jeep Wranglers, every <laughs> seatbelt in my hatch has been wallered out because it's holding my Yeti. Oh, that's right. a good that's point. Why it's, yeah. It's just what we all point. do with them. It's holding my cooler, so I'll spill my beer. Yeah. Yeah, no, right. I paid three hundred dollars right. for that cooler not to have melted ice. Now I'm gonna have it all over my damn hatchback. I think not. We buckle this bitch in for safety. I do it all the time. <laughs> here too much. I do. <laughs> Funny. My seatbelt okay. looks like bullhorn Betty. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Oh, go really. Don't say it. I was gonna take it to a whole nother level. I was gonna turn this shit sideways for Christmas. <laughs> Well, on that note, I'm going to head out. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Merry Christmas, sweetheart. Be Merry safe. Christmas. All right, Merry baby. Christmas. But, uh, okay. yeah, I mean, I thought everybody Driving did that. If you got a Jeep or any kind of hatchback, everybody does that around here. I mean, when you're going down some dirt road in the middle of nowhere, like, you know, where they were partying, you buckle your cooler down, man. So don't well, too far. You just don't. Well, that wasn't a brand new car either, was it? Wasn't that an older model? Yeah, yeah, it was a CRV, yeah, which like 2013. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, yeah. I mean, man. she could have easily, like, seeing Verner's, like, Vern, Verna, her, like, being there at night on your, on Queen Bee's channel, like, when it was going down, is what made yeah. me first, like, go from foul play to accident. Yeah, I, I think- really thought there was foul play. And then I saw that and I was like, oh my God, you can't see anything. That nope. is so scary. You could just make a wrong turn and boom, you're in the water. Very and, rough like, rain. Yep. I guess yeah, at the end of the day for me, there's a whole mm-hmm. lot more evidence pointing to exactly what it looks like than oh, evidence yeah. pointing to a gaggle of rich kids covering yeah. up some shit for 60 grand in a 12-year-old damn Honda. And why would wow. they just leave her I there agree. and like and, and leave leave her there in the car? Why would well, they I push think, her in the water as well? Uh, like I'm not, an extra step yeah. that I feel like would be too much. I'm not I mean? defend I'm not defending. I'm saying this is I think Kurt's idea is, is that somehow this Ky, Kylie got some sort of drugs and somehow she got into something and they covered it up or something like that. Something has yeah, to do with that. I yeah. could get if she got into some bad drugs and that's what part of what got her discombobulated wrecking out but yeah. not the, not the other or the it transporting just, from party to party there's no evidence that supports that theory so i can't get on board with that probably equally as unpopular but you know people say oh with drugs that were laced with something i'm gonna be real with you man you know i've toured all over this country i party with some great artists i've i have lived the life man and uh every time we you know pre-game we understand the fact of what we about to do and we accept the responsibility. We yeah, know men, what kind of world we live in right now. Men don't get roofied as often as women do. Oh, yeah, I ain't saying that. I'm just saying, yeah. like, if, if, like, if you voluntarily took some drugs and you it realize it's just, just yes, ain't regular it's cocaine awesome. that's got a little extra kick well, to it, normally I just buy more. But that's different strokes for different folks. I mean, you <laughs> don't know. And <laughs> I, I'm like, man, thankful. I, I found me one of them fentanyl guys. Good deal. I'm, I'm kidding. But the, but the point I'm saying is, is you have to kind of assume the risk, man. Even at 16, 17, you old enough to know this is a possibility, man, that this can go wrong. Um, and I just think people have to be aware of that. Well, uh, if somebody was, spiked a drink, that's different. There were, there were, was it one or two overdoses of young people in that area? Like one before and one after. Yeah, I remember uh, that. Fentanyl. And it was around the time. Yeah, it was yeah. Right around the same time. And there was a guy so, arrested. Remember that? Like, there was a right. guy arrested, like, a few days before, or right around that yep. time. Yeah. And the, and so they were like that. He maybe was arrested because he supplied her. I with mean, that, I can understand know? it. But again, it's just a conspiracy theory. Yeah. And given that the family has asked to let the, let the investigators take it, we're not professionals in any way, form, or capacity, right? Um, it's yeah. AWP, too. They messed everybody up with thinking oh. that she was alive the next day. Like that's When he came up, out of the water, that, yeah. that did it for me. The way he came out, I think there's foul play. Says yeah. everybody when they first come out of the water after being 30 minutes on the bottom of a lake. That's exactly the first thing that comes out of my mouth. First is get me out of this shit and in this boat and wait till you hear this. <laughs> that, that, that's going to be what I say. What's so, it's not, what's- What's so egregious is that it's like they like if most experienced divers know people go in the back of the car when it flips over. It's just like it's a known situation. And like obviously a layman like me or anyone else would probably not know that. But you have a trained you have a diver who's who's got a lot of certifications for sure. 
says that to me. It's like, it's just crazy that he did not know that. Like he didn't say that. Well, it didn't Hold up. Say how that. do we know he has certifications? Jared's he showed it. I ones. mean, well, he showed it, I think on that, um, I think, uh, crazy he train Doug or something or did he? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he trained Doug. I think Nick he trained Doug. Cause he was like a scuba. I think he like, that's what I remember. I feel like yeah. he kind of got him. He was but like, that was, I don't know. Okay. But, thank you for the clarification. Yeah. That's what just crazy. Like, something like that. Yeah. That he didn't know that. Like he doesn't know that that's typically what happens. You go to the back because. But they were doing it for a, like dramatic effect, right? Weren't they yeah. doing it for dramatic effect? Uh, I mean, we've kind of figured that out about Well, them. so many people keep trying to bring that seatbelt shit up. Okay. Let's go with that for a minute. I know that seatbelt thing then, screwed then, me up. If, if you are trying to uh, somewhat suggest that, you know, she was in the back with a seat. Then why was she not still in there? Then, then we still have a, a a a movement issue. We still have kind of an unexplainable issue. So I don't see why people are clinging to the seatbelt thing anyway. Like why would they strap work. her down in the trunk? Like why would? Yeah, she that that doesn't help trunk? sell. That doesn't help sell the accident, now does it? How the hell did I strap no. myself back here? That doesn't help if sell anything, the accident they at all. Strapped her into the into the passenger in the front. Absolutely. Yeah. So that whole argument to me was just batshit crazy. It's like, what does that prove? That proves that they're horrible People criminals who probably should have got so... caught before now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're horrible at this. Can you imagine yeah. actually committing a crime of that magnitude, leaving the crime scene, getting away with it, That's and then insane. decide, you know what? We should probably go back and clean this up a little bit. Hey, uh, don't does that forget. seatbelt work? I got a plan. Don't well, forget Fisher it's said hard no 18 water. drunk ever. Well, don't forget it's Saturday yeah. while she's on top of a uh, canoe with some sort of diving thing that wouldn't flip while she has a dog. So she's balancing the dog with one hand and that thing, that di that, th that machine that allows her to dive underwater or whatever while on a canoe. So, you know, to I, clean I up the, the crime scene. Is, you need to show me a hell of a lot more than 60 grand to make me believe that this many people are involved in this. Yeah, I like, mean, I mean, like what I would need if I if there's if you were to show a conspiracy, you would have to have like some sort of text, some sort of communications or that occur that that would show some sort of situation like get that. me just yeah. a text of the sheriff's son saying, "Dad, I fucked up. I need you to come here. Just give me that yeah. text. That's that all I need. Yeah, give well, me that. that. But the and, thing and is, I'll at least I'll, hear this out. And then it's like, oh well, you just you're just like you just believe what you're told. And it's like, no, I I believe what I see with my own eyes and. I don't just speculate just blindly I, about things. I think it's a views thing, man. Like, no disrespect. I mean, like, I'm not trying to bag on anybody, but I can go to your channels when you were talking about, you know, it, it, what T-Rev. Here, fuck it. I'm just going to go and gas me a dumpster fire real quick. Let's go and kick the lid off this shit and start this little tea party, shall we? T-Rev's another one of them. That when he's talking about anything but spirit boxes and Ouija boards, yeah, he's got fucking yeah, 12 people in the chat. Lives. <laughs> but when he starts talking about, you know, fucking spirit boxes and conjuring up the dead by way of Parker Brothers, <laughs> somehow there's 4,000 <laughs> fucking people in the chat slinging money like that's it's a titty so, bar. That's amazing what you just that's said. A, I mean, yes, amazing. I always contact spirits by way of, of Milton Bradley. I'm sure they can get it. Can you well, hear me now? You need a comedy channel, bro. Dude, I thought he was using the Merlin phone the other night. Oh my god! And like, I ain't go. All right, fuck it, fuck it. Let's just go ahead and gas the rest of this while we're here. Um, so I've seen all these people talk shit about it, and then I see our neighbor across the street go live last night, and she's got one after talking mondo shit about it. I mean, it's like she was in there getting. She got a shout out from him the other day. I mean, it's not like someone's being sued for doing the exact same thing and falsely accusing some random lady. I mean, it's not like that yeah. just happened. In some degree, it comes down to integrity, man. Like, I promise you, I'll be lonely with my eight viewers in my chat while I'm yeah. going, yep, looks like an accident to me. You or, never had integrity. If you think that, I, like I said, if you think I ain't creative enough to drum up conspiracy theories and Ouija boards on my channel and put 5,000 in the chat, you out your rabbit ass mind. Give me the end of the month. <laughs> I'd give you the end of the week, probably. Oh, I, I absolutely think I could. But to some degree, man, I'm not going to kick shit on, on kids' graves. I'm not going to soapbox coffins of missing and dead children to platform Zero. my channel. Thank you, Wing Zero. Thank you very much for those um, five memberships. That was really sweet. I just seen it pop up. Wing Girl, boss, I think Wing Zero yeah, got it. You're so showing out for Christmas Eve and shit. Go ahead, she girl. Boss. She handing out Christmas gifts for Christmas Eve. Well, I will say this. At least that was a very eventful situation that occurred. Yeah, that got the cardio in. You know, exactly. Got... 
Got that blood pumping, didn't it, Tim? <laughs> yeah, I don't do cardio. I run my mouth. That's about as much as I'm running, girl. As it, as, that's the, I link to cardio right there. No, I meant uh, the, the heart rate spike from anger. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah just, okay, yeah, we go with that. I, I just get so – because I think about, like, when I – the reason why I get mad is I think about all the kids that get falsely accused, and I think about the victim. Like, when I hear him says, well, my kid, and I just think to myself, how like, how dare you – say that about this woman like that like victim well, you know, blame it reminds me of cases like the west memphis three yeah you know, they people he just villain justice. people for no reason yeah. and you know i get that but it's it's, it's that's just not how our system works that's not you know, how though, the world works. Yeah. i at least say with the west memphis three there was a lot of weird fingers to point there there was some bizarre evidence on both sides it just looked was. so bad that was yeah. a messy really, messy case man other messy. than uh miss kelly's bullshit confession there was no real evidence in that well case. like okay you know maybe it's not great evidence but like the hair and the shoestring right now the kid lives there hangs out with this other kid okay i see it's possible uh, I am to this day, my old lady been gone for six months. I can't do a load of laundry without pulling her. Somehow I don't know how a hair weaves in a sock. I don't even know how the fuck that it happens. Does. It does. But it happens all the time. <laughs> like how? It's like driving a needle through know, a fucking car. How, how, did, how does that happen? I've got real um, long hair that so, ends up everywhere too. I, I mean, look, I can at least somewhat reason with that one. You know, to me, it's just, it, it boils down to, look, be a conspiracy channel. That's totally fine. I have no problem with even crazy-ass accusations to a degree, as long as you word it carefully. However, look, man, you just, it doesn't take long in the true crime community before you just kind of become a conspiracy channel. And that's just where it is. I mean, I would rather be factually well, correct admit it. than... You know, don't act like you're really looking for justice when what you're doing is spinning conspiracies. You know, there's yeah. a big ass difference. Just, just own that, you know, yeah. say that we're a discussion channel and this is what we do because I hate to say it and I've bagged on the community a whole bunch of times. It's sad to me that there's so many people in this community that are that damn intelligent, but there's so many in this community that are that damn intelligent and that damn dumb at the same fucking time. Like, mm -hmm, there's true. a whole lot, there's a whole lot of bachelor degrees walking around that are fucking idiots when it comes to common sense. And there's a whole lot of people who are uneducated that are smart as shit. Um, and that's just, I mean, it's sad to me it's that true. I... That I have to explain to you what parts of this are conspiratorial and what parts are fact. But now I don't think most of the people in these chats know the difference. Um, and, and that's that's messy. That's messy and that can create some problems. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Everything's um, getting messy. TikTok. I mm -hmm. mean, look at everything that's happening and there should be some kind of, you know. You YouTube's going to crack the whip, I do believe. I They're going to. There has to be some kind of thing in terms of service. Like, you can't, like, because if you could get sue somebody, I feel like TikTok should, I, there should be some kind of accountability that they hold first with, like, giving her a strike before they get sued. You know Yeah, I mean? she still hasn't gotten the, that TikTok lady, still hasn't gotten. She made six other videos just. I yeah, can't I just, believe she's still making videos yeah. about the same woman. That's, like, what's crazy, right? Still yeah. about the professor. That just seems like like being a little bitch about things. You know, you know what and I mean? it's like her whole thing is just based on a feeling. It's like, okay, that's not facts. That's your feelings. Like and she just I, looked it up, right? She just looked up the history yeah. department because yeah. she one of the cards led her there to the yeah, history. One of the cards said it, she had the feeling of history, the thought. <laughs> You see, I'm one of those anti-strikers, man. Like, I don't even like striking channels. I think if I put something out for the world to see, it's fair play for everybody. If you want to clip it, snip it, you know, even mangle it to some degree. I'm not a fan of it, but I, I think all is fair in, in social media when you put something out. However, uh, I do think now that we are seeing cases being manipulated, that we are now seeing YouTubers be arrested for interfering with cases, we are now seeing news agencies go after you know, YouTube and internet personalities from disinformation. They it's a matter of time. Up. YouTube will have to do something. They're gonna have to. I mean, well, you can't yeah. let you can't let this happen. Well, it's just there's like a news report. There's literally, on, I think Pekin talked about like there's like a literally a oh, no, not Pekin. Someone else actually did a, a video, showed a video that it's actually that TikTok ladies on the mainstream news. Yeah. And they said yeah. like, do you think criminal charges will be brought against her? Just like how the the Moscow police said, like A criminal. Well, they they uh, said that they were uh, gonna they were gonna charge yeah. people for fucking up with the investigation. Man, if you're interfering with an investigation, I think that they need to start charging people and charging them good so that they'll stop. I agree with that. I agree. Mm -hmm. If that was my child's murder and you were digging into that investigation, punching holes in it, 
I would have a hard time not hunting you down in real life, and that's all there is to it. That's actually why I came up, and that was the one serious question I wanted to ask her. Not like not even being a dick, but like I didn't want to ask him this. And I totally forgot about it. Now, as he said, if it was my girl, my child, I would do to the absolute depth. And I'm paraphrasing, but you know, I would I would dig and dig and dig until I'm beyond fucking convinced that this is what it is. And while I respect that and totally agree with my child, I feel the same way. But now let's flip it the other way. If it was your child and you were content with the findings and you asked everybody to back down. How would you feel if they gave one? That was kind of my point. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that's kind of where you were heading with that. And that's actually what made me think about it. It's like, shit, let me, let me hop up in on this for a second. <laughs> Get up in on this. Again, I love her, man. Well, Kurt's a super good dude. My computer's about to die, and I'm still out at the farm. So I'm going to wish you Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, voices. I'll be home tomorrow. Merry Christmas. I'll, do, I'll do a live right. tomorrow. So I hope you Get, I hope your stockings are filled with all your needs. So, well, I think I'm going to get cold for this, uh, for this yeah. live. Uh, never, never. Never. You, you, you tried really hard, you did really well. Just, and you have valid ar arguments, Tim, but like yeah. sometimes it'll keep it going like to a ridiculous point because you do have good rebuttals, which are going to make people want to argue more. And it's like, oh, god, yeah, look at that. yeah. What? Sa Santa doesn't show He's up for making cookies. What are you trying to say? To <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a vicious cycle. Because it's a vicious believe cycle. What they believe, you know. It really yeah. is. Yeah, and you can't like change. Like they, like people said it. Even if it's an accident, there's no way I'm gonna oh. ever believe it. People were yeah, saying that. Throw me under the bus, way Tim. Before. Was, well, that, I mean, the, the that girl said no, it. No, I, I didn't like. I was not. You, well, listen, I wasn't being nice to him. You know, I mean, I you know, I was. You can't say I was. I was not. Being, I was basically saying, don't no. misquote me. If I called you an idiot, I would say I called you an idiot. I took responsibility, but before I could even yeah, get out of like, that girl. It's that <laughs> girl. She's to blame. But I didn't like, I, didn't, I was like, oh, why are you yelling at me? Like, oh, fuck off. Like, uh, well, and I didn't mean him specifically. I was speaking more generally, but yeah. I can see where people would take that as a specific type attack, maybe. So that's my bad. But that's why I've been on break, just trying to. Get some sweetness for Jesus uh, back I mean, in my system. Oh, oh, great. Oh, well, oh. great. Welcome back. Hey, let's just get to a sweetness for Jesus. Yeah. Welcome back. You're all fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 let me think oh. about this for a second. Hold on. Oh, shit. It just is what it is, man. I'm not going to get upset. But I, I have to say, I mean, I have to Kurt's say. very well, passionate. I have know? to say, this yeah. was probably a better debate than the, the Glare and uh, Ryan. That Ryan. Ryan. That I was mean, a this mess. Was way, yeah. This was way better. It's I mean, really not hard to out debate Will, man. Oh my God. That I was mean, just tough at the to very, watch that. At the very least, it was entertaining. You know, right? people Indeed. could just watch Indeed. this. So. I think people, people can't accept that it's an accident too. I think it's like a cognitive dissonance thing that people are like, oh my God, you could just make a, a wrong turn and you can have like this terrible. And I think even for a father, like, you know, maybe he just, I, I couldn't accept it. It's like, like it's too, too hard to swallow. Too hard too to easy. swallow. It's easier maybe yeah. for people to blame somebody and for it to be this conspiracy than to be like, oh yeah. my God, she just took a wrong friggin' turn and boom, yeah. like your, your life ended. Like it's like a, it's when people die of like crazy accidents like that that's I've known of. Oh, that that's it is harder to accept something like that. And some people don't like to admit when they're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. That's I also mean, it. I, yeah. I have, per, I have personal experience in that. <laughs> Admitting when you're wrong or like yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> Thank God we're not wrong, my time Tim. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I swear. Oh my goodness. But yeah. So has everybody got all their presents wrapped and good to go? Well, I don't really celebrate. Yeah. I just put up a tree because it was uh, the last request of my uh, stepfather before he died. So I just put up a tree every year. But I don't really Aww. celebrate. I don't really celebrate the holidays. I don't really care too much for it. I don't like that's, Christmas. That's an interesting request. Was Christmas just like his favorite, or Christmas was his favorite, not mine? Yeah, I didn't like Christmas. I'm more of a Halloween person because I got free Me candy. Too. Hell yeah. I'm a Thanksgiving guy. I just like to fall. I like hanging out, watching football, and just eating a whole bunch of shit that mm -hmm. Tim would probably hate. But which brings my question up. But just real quick, why like are you one of the like the vegan people like because of like the animal thing or like a health? Yeah, thing? yeah, I, that was my question uh, too. I was thinking about that the other day. <laughs> it's, a it's a combination of the two. I mean, I oh. just don't. I mean, like, I just think like 
I, I just don't like killing things that are not necessary to kill. Like, don't yeah. get me wrong. I love chicken. I like, mean, if there's only if one he, food, I could eat KFC every day. But after I, mean, I saw I'm not the way gonna, they did them chickens, it was bad. I, I mean, lie. like, if it was, like, necessary for my health, I would eat an animal. But it's mostly like my just, cousin. Like, yeah, like my cousin that tried to be vegan and they told her she didn't start eating some meat, she was going to die. Yeah, pretty much. If someone told me if I was going to die and I couldn't... She's a literal yeah. nutritionist. Yeah. It's just not in our DNA. She had to have... Yeah, I think... I, yeah, and I but think... But you like, eat plants, I, um, Tim, and you love plants. And like, and isn't there a secret... Have you heard that? Well, like, I don't want to die. I, I, I don't want to die, so yeah. I have to eat something. I mean, yeah, like, you do have to eat something. Uh, and I course. think most plants, you eat the fruit and it's meant to be eaten. True. Oh, man, yeah. are you about the plants that scream when they die the secret whatever. life of plants have you heard the that secret book? life of plants yeah, yeah, yeah you're trying to kill me you're trying to starve me at that. no it's no weird. but some people <laughs> would think that like people don't want to eat plants because they think that they're you know you know well, like, I always wonder what people's reason behind it is because I always thought it was funny that you call yourself a vegan, yeah. but yet everything you eat looks like what I eat, like fake ha hot dogs and fake tofu hamburgers and seaweed. Like, everything like, you eat looks like my food. I mean, like, <laughs> I if, 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 if it was like, the thing is, is that I think everyone has different nutrition, but I think like, honestly, I just don't like what, you know, if I don't need to and I don't, I'm not going to contribute to it. Just simple as that. Because I don't like killing things that are not necessary to kill. Um, criminals like Sweet Bob says you like to like uh, toss out. criminals think it's necessary to get rid of like people who are pedos and uh, murderers. I think it's pop it's for the good of greater good of society. But I don't know if it's like necessary to kill you know if you don't have to animals. But if I have to, I would. I have no issues with it. If I had to survive, it would not be an issue. But what about you, Willow? Having a pig, I would think I love pigs so much. I oh, if it's me or him. He is fucked. Yeah. 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm but do I you mean, go like out of your way to not eat pig because you like kind of live with one? Oh right? no, absolutely not. I'm actually eating a loaded barbecue baked potato right now with bacon and barbecue. Oh, okay. Pork. I mean, do you feed yeah. the pig? That yeah. theory. Do you feed? Yeah. No, I mean, no. this is going to be a little dark of a question. He's do just cute. The, do you feed the pig pork? No, but I have dropped some bacon bits in front of him before, and he didn't give two shits. He was oh. totally cool. Oh, no, Hannibal! He's not yeah. a carnivore. Or yeah, he didn't care at all. <laughs> like you drop Damn, anything, you could probably drop a bag a of nickels. Egg. He'd probably eat it. They like like veggies, if he sees right? grains. Well, if, if you if he sees you holding anything and it hits the ground, he is gonna eat first, ask questions later. I'm telling you, he'd eat a battery <laughs> if you dropped it. Like <laughs> that, it, it could be anything. Like I am terrified that like. Okay, I dropped a bag around him one time, and he almost ate that. And he probably would have been fine, but anything green or – oh, yeah, he don't ask any questions about that. If it hits anything. the ground, he's – absolutely. He, he's all over it. But I mean, he's yeah. actually pretty good about not eating shit he's not supposed to. Like, he'll find a penny, and he just walks around crunching on it. You'll hear it just oh, grinding no. his teeth on it. It's like, oh, God, it drives me insane. Yeah. Um, and I just think so. – I just don't like the factory farming thing. Like, if it was just like they were on a farm and they lived fulfilling lives, it's fine, but – like <laughs> when I watch like actual factory farming Ugh, and I see this, yeah, I see, like, these, and I see these animals, like they don't even have a, the ability to have a couple of years of life. And it's like, it's just terrible existence. Yeah, And it's, it's like, you, really think to yourself, you think to yourself, okay, what's say an advanced civilization came and saw what you were doing. They'd be like, Oh, you were like fucking monsters. Yeah, I will say that that's kind of why I steer clear of eating veal. First of all, oh, I saw really how that works. Thing yeah, ever. that's awful. Oh. That one bothered me a little bit. And like I'll I said, seeing the way deal. they mass yeah. farm chickens, like before they send them off to yeah. the KFCs of the world. I ain't gonna lie, that was pretty brutal, man. And but eight cheese faux and... biscuits for nine ninety nine is hard to beat that, bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not, it yeah. is. Their parents <laughs> raised their own chickens and we went out there. I was like, Well, I guess I should know how to process the chicken just in case I'm like, you know outside of civilization and have to feed myself one day and i will say killing them was a little bit brutal um yeah. i killed six or seven of them and i was like okay i know how to do it i'm done like yeah and it's like I uh, process it i was like okay i know how fuck this yeah like and if they're, cook meat even yeah and it's... if they're like on a farm it's like I, I think like that's like farm animals have evolved naturally to be on farms like obviously you can't really let chickens out into the because they would all just starve to death. And obviously you couldn't let cows start running around or pigs. You might, because pigs can be feral. Like they, they, yeah, they, they'll eat like, anything. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they take it over Texas. They, they really pay people. To Switzerland has like cows that just graze the, yeah. the farmland. Yeah. 
And it's yeah. like the number My domesticated ass pig out. He'll be back in 30 minutes wanting food. Yeah. He ain't I mean, out of my <laughs> shit. But I, I just I, I just think like <laughs> He'll be the way, I just think the way factory farming is now is completely unnatural and I don't like it's people. terrible. It's really gross. It's, you know? It smells yeah. bad. It smells Ugh, yucky. so sad. I mean yeah, it yeah. smells yucky. Yeah, and then at the end of the day, I think like, you know, I mean like I get why people eat it and it's fine, but it's just like I just don't like contributing. I don't condemn people in doing it because obviously we'd all starve to death if we didn't eat it. It's a necessary yeah. evil. But yeah. you know, it's just it's just like if I don't have to, I won't contribute. But well that's like me with recycling, like nobody nobody where I live recycles. I recycle everything. Yeah. You know, it, yeah, I just buy shit that says it was recycled. That's my way of offsetting my carbon footprint. I just buy oh, everything that says up. it was once recycled, except yeah. like toilet paper. Because I always wonder, it's like recycled from plastic and other shit, or like was it recycled from other toilet paper? It's recycled from other toilet paper. I'm just gonna buy some no, fresh shit. No, it because, wouldn't be recycled from other toilet paper. Like, I don't want any part of that. Uh, no secondhand ass wiping over here. We ain't doing yeah. that. I don't get animal mm -hmm. planet my ass. Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Absolutely, yeah. and I and I think also like I grew up watching it. Like I remember when I was young, my uh, we used to go bird watching, and I grew up like watching animals, and I got like kind of I that's why I like animals, and that's why I don't really. That's another reason I usually don't keep like besides I don't like taking care of animals. I just don't think certain animals should be in captivity. Yeah, like that's just how I think. I think so they live I'm being cruel because I keep my schnauzer. Yeah, is that is that one that shouldn't be in captivity, or are you okay with dogs? You're okay with dogs. I think dogs are fine, well, especially like spouses. Evolved, right? yeah. yeah, but I'm just saying, like, I see these people with exotic pets, and I'm like, what the hell? Oh is yeah, wrong yeah, no, people? that's ridiculous. I don't agree with that either. Like, I've seen someone with like so many exotic pets, and I'm like, guys, that's terrible. That you, like, I've seen like the whole capybara thing, and I was like, man, they're social animals. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, See, people yeah. do that to guinea pigs too, though. Guinea pigs yeah. are very social and they put them in cages all by themselves and they don't even care for them properly yeah, because like, they don't even know what they're doing. And it's so cruel. It, it irritates me. Yeah, like for instance, like rats, even rats. I just want, like some people just don't yep. realize, like, you can't have just one rat. You have to have like three or four because they're social animals. So, yep. you know, I mean, it's just I like, wish they would stop selling guinea pigs, honestly, because so many people don't care for them properly. And they end up baking in the sun of a window seal or dying of malnutrition. They're so anxious. Or, yeah. Yeah. They're so yeah. sweet, sweet, great. You got to see hedgehogs. You can yeah. train them and shit. Yeah. And uh, Kate, it's not it's nothing against you. No, I mean, I think you take care of your animals very well. But there's some people that don't give two shits about their exotic animals. They see them as like actual like. like uh, Prizes. Oh, my yeah. Like a fanny or, bag. Uh, yeah, like a fanny bag. No, you actually care about it. I have no issues with that. I mean, I don't have an issue with someone having a pet tortoise. But it's like they just don't like they don't. You see like people who actually care for them. And you see people that just see them as objects. And I don't yeah, think animals like are objects. Possessions. Yeah, they're not possessions. They have feelings and shit. Yeah. Like, you care about your animals. You treat them like you actually have an emotional bond to them. I, I, I can see that. So I don't think it's an issue. But, you know, it's an imperfect world. You know, you just have to deal with the things, you know, that you can control. What do you think about horses? Do you think people should keep horses? Well, I mean, I don't think the horses mind. They're good. Yeah, because things. they're not really pent up. Most people have horses. We have a couple, and yeah, they're like, like ten acres rich... of land. They can pretty much roam around, do whatever they want. They just yeah, yeah. You're not bringing a horse to your own, house. Yeah, you're not bringing a horse to your house. You know, like probably, and he's running around. The problem is, I actually watch a lot of like um, a lot of hoof like uh, treatment ch uh, channels. Like the. I've seen some of those. Yes. Blech. I watch them all the time. I had to stop watching the uh, turtle scr scrubbing with the particles. The guys got Have you been about watching that? About the gluing yeah, shit? Everybody making it? Yeah, yes. I was like, oh my God, they're gluing. It's like the same damn turtles. And it's owned oh, by the same two or three me? people. They're gluing them on? They're, they're yeah. getting busted because you're finding out it's the same channels that's uploading the same shit so you can't stop them. And it's literally the same 10, 15 turtles that they're gluing shit that on so they chapter. can save the day and then they release it back into salt water even though it's a freshwater turtle but it's because they're not really releasing it they're just taking the turtle throwing it in there so it looks good on camera then they'll wash it off and reuse the same damn turtle yeah, yeah there's a lot of people getting busted for that shit right now a lot that's of people getting busted that. for that that's also why i don't watch like uh re animal a lot of rescue animal shows because a lot of times they will like like you know they will put the animal the in harm's way yeah absolutely I don't watch to, just the to save monkey it ones. you know those people who keep the little monkeys and they like constantly bathe them 
because that's what, I mean, and I know you're supposed to bathe them, but like they do weird things with them that seems like torture. I have they one guilty you. watch. The snake guy. There's a snake guy that I'm not big into this crossbreeding shit with really any animal, but he keeps like breeding these bizarre snakes. So he ends up with these cotton candy looking, you know, just bizarre ass colored snakes. snakes and shit. Yes. That channel. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's hard not to watch. It's intriguing, but the whole time I'm sitting there thinking, that's kind of a jackass thing to do, man. I mean, because that like my hedgehog. That's why it died. Uh, you know, certain things have become breeding tools for cute shit reasons and, and accessory reasons like like tim was talking about it's more about having a handbag than a fucking cute little dog it's to say that you own a tiger just to say you have that's one that's why my uh frenchie died because people were overbreeding thinking they know what they're doing and practicing eugenics and stuff and his spine collapsed on itself yeah from I mean, that's a general what, birth defect that's what happened in the 1800s with all those show dogs like all those dogs were just like uh -huh. for, for fun you know just so oh, what we can make us uh like a side thing and now you've got all these small like these dogs with these deformities and it's like yep you're... like hip problems and stuff well, yeah. all these little dogs these little you know uh shit zoos and all these little peekapoos and this is all just cross-breeding <laughs> shit for that, that's what they are they're all just designer breed dogs yeah. man and you're seeing headshots right now with elton um with his skin you know that schnauzers are just prone to skin problems and throat collapses and all kinds of stuff when when the African pygmy hedgehog first showed up here, they were saying it'll last, you know, 10, 12, 13 years. Bullshit. I haven't seen it, and my vet buddy told me he's yet to see one make it past four years yet because of the it. absolute overbreeding. There's, with hedgehogs, you can only breed them in like a six-month window in their entire life, period. That's it. And then it's done. And right now, I've, I've, I've yet to see a female hedgehog that hasn't had some sort of, you know, girl problem cancers and it, it's really bad if you buy a hedgehog for your kid get a male i'll tell you that much get get a boy um, just don't buy them if people would stop buying them yeah oh it's yeah. such a rage right now you can't walk into walmart and i see hedgehog onesies and pillows and it's they're really cute i mean i don't know they're cool i mean i don't know why people just don't get a dog like a mutt like a, you know like how long do they live the hedgehogs Mine, like, how many years yeah, do they live? like rabbits both i've or? seen them at about three and a half four years yeah, it's basically a super you know. expensive hamster because now you can get them a little cheaper. When I got my, well, mine was a rescue. Uh, a kid bought oh. it, and the problem with hedgehogs are is if you don't take care of them, they are so germaphobe, kind of weird about shit. They will literally eat their feet off, like from stepping in nasty cages and shit. Oh, and when I that. got mine, it didn't have back feet. It didn't have back feet. It had little nubs and little calluses. It haul ass. Don't let them nubs fool you. Oh. That little girl could scoot. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so I just took her in because they were going to get rid of her. I didn't know what to do with her. He oh. wasn't taking care of her. So she wouldn't come near anybody for like about two weeks. And I had one, for whatever reason, she liked this hoodie. Anytime I was wearing this hoodie, she'd crawl in the pocket. That's the only time she'd come to anybody to get in this pocket of this hoodie. Of course, she'd piss all down my stomach or shit in my pocket or some weird, but you know, we got past that. And uh, after about two or three weeks, man, I was the only one she'd come to for a long time, for about a year. And then finally, she was like really social. The other thing with hedgehogs is, is if you get them out of their cycle, like it can kill them. Like they are nocturnal animals. If you're going to own a hedgehog, you need to be like a server at Cracker Barrel or Applebee's or something where you get off at <laughs> two o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Because that hedgehog ain't coming out until about nine o'clock. About nine o'clock, you'll hear it over there kicking ass and eating mealworms and doing all that. They used to buy the uh, sugar gliders like they are the hedgehogs. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, sugar gliders were the thing 10 years I ago. I never had whatever. one, man. I always wanted one, and though. I got a buddy about to breathe them. And chinchillas. There's a lot of little weird animals like that. Um, I'm pretty much done. I think the pig will be my last, you know, really bizarre-ass animal. I like them enough that would I buy another one? Yeah, I would. But knowing what I know now, I would I would have raised it a lot different. I mean, it, it's kind of like the hedgehog thing. It's still so new right now, kind of this in-home pig craze that people don't know they are so personable they all have their own little hiccups and traits and some shit works for your pig that ain't gonna work for this one yeah they're smarter than dogs they're just yeah smart. they are yeah, very, very smart. smart right yeah I um, but like i mean and they're grudgy like i don't care if he did fuck something up if you get on his ass dude that pig won't come near you for three or four days yeah are you uh, serious? oh grudgy? absolutely like for oh days? bad Bad. That is so funny. Like, like he will literally jack your shit up. Like he knows. Like oh he's pissed God. off at you right now, and he will go. I have this thing about my recliner, right? And he sticks his nose under everything and just flicks. That's what he does with his nose all day. 
Uh, he knows how to throw about that shitty wipes his nasty ass nose all over my foot of my recliner and tries to pull the damn leg thing out. He does it all the time. When he's really good and pissed off, he can flip that whole damn recliner. That that hundred pound lazy. Well, that's your right fault for it. being a prick. <laughs> he will too. He'll walk right. It's almost like going to find a knee. Emo, don't you touch it. Touching it. He's touching the butt. He's going to touch the butt. He's touching the butt. It's like, don't you touch that chair. Boom. He just flips it right. He'll steer right at you like, yeah, now what? And just flip it. Like, yeah, he's a, he's a grudgy ass little animal. Big time. Big time. Any, any. And uh, he's, you know, if anything yeah, ever he, happens to me, that pig will eat me. Like, I'm going to tell you all right now. Like, <laughs> oh, he will. No, he will. He will eat you if you're there long enough. Well, no, somebody in the chat said something move. about well, somebody in the chat said something about bleeding around him a minute ago. I'm like, shit. If, if I were to die tomorrow, dude, you better send somebody in five or six days. He would eat me, absolutely. Fucking yeah, pig. Well, he's gonna eat me. Five or six days, two days, dude. He would yeah, eat probably two days. Well, that's anyone that they're hungry enough. I mean, like, no matter how much someone talks about how Tim, I would they eat are, you too, motherfucker. Yeah, like, if you had to decide whether to live or die or eat someone or something. It's basically like a bacon wrapped salad, ain't it? <laughs> Eating Tim would be like a bacon wrapped salad. <laughs> 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 it's I mean, healthy shit. Yeah, uh, I mean, you'll definitely be healthy afterwards. I'm from yeah. Alabama, dude. If it ain't deep fried or covered in gravy, bro, we ain't eating that shit. We fry fucking Oreos down here. What the fuck are you talking about? They do that yeah. here, too. <laughs> we fry Oreos. Oreos, bro. They did deep fried ice cream. I've the heard that. I was like, how the fuck do you deep fry ice cream? Oh, oh first know. time I heard about, oh, well, see, we had a Chinese place that used to do that. And they did it. And I don't mean this shit like you see a lot of Mexican restaurants the where they basically cream. sit a scoop of ice cream on a, on a fried tortilla. No, no, nope, nope, nope. At the uh, Great Wall, um, great Chinese place we used to. I guess everybody has a Great Wall, really. But uh, a Great yeah. Wall Chinese place here has a. I say everything's New China and Great Wall. Um, but we had one that literally fries it. I mean, they take it like dry ice level frozen yes. ass ice cream, like Dippin' yes. Dots, where it's so like fucking cold it would shit. burn you. It would burn yes. your ass if you touched it. And then they fucking like tempura batter that shit, like sweet and sour yeah. chicken, flash fry. Yeah. So Drop it's like it a, it's almost like a milkshake inside with a thin candy shell on the outside. It's fantastic if it's done the right way. Great. I didn't need shit ever. That that's what they were doing at the fair. Oh, I love it, man. Super duper duper cool. Which means I'm you could probably eat calories at once. I want something that I know is going to be super good. It kind of makes me wonder if you couldn't do it with it. Dippin' Dots. I mean, because it's probably. a dry ass type ice cream, so it'd know, be like almost like Dippin' Dots are so tiny though. That's what I was thinking. It would be almost like a funnel cake fucked up. I don't know. I don't know if you could do it with a Dippin' Dot. It might melt too damn quick. Ooh, now a small... funnel cake. Covered in dipping dots would be really good. <laughs> no shit, we're going places. <laughs> you sure like you don't want us, Tim? <laughs> we are creative over here, buddy. Good. It does, doesn't it? That's the only time I'll eat like dipping dots, man. I like the cookies and cream, and I like the mint chocolate. I like the mint chocolate dipping dots, man. It's my jam. Um, and I like the rainbow ones. I like I them all. actually have the rainbow. I like one. the rainbow ones. It's good. It's I like, like the banana strawberry ones. Oh, yeah, those are good, too. The yeah. banana split was good. Dude, um, we just named, like, every fucking flavor there is. We yeah, almost like, every flavor they got, really. Yeah, We uh, In Gatlinburg, Tennessee, uh, last time I was there, they've actually got vending machines now that just walking down the road, and here's a $3.75, $4.50, whatever it is, vending machine yep. that literally sells Dippin' Dots. It's like a little mechanical yep. thing that just pushes a pack of Dippin' Dots too. out to you. It's cool oh, as shit. Do you, do you uh, uh, this will like this. I just watched a CoffeeZilla community post, and guess who joined uh, CoffeeZilla's Patreon? Oh, <laughs> no. Logan Paul. <laughs> $5 member. Oh, you cheap son of a bitch right there at Christmas. You're worth $200 million, you jackass. <laughs> he, uh, he put down, like, we have an imposter among us, and he's laughing. Yeah, they've been infiltrated over at Steven's place. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, and one person says he's trying to bribe you. I want to tell you, d dude, there's not many YouTubers I'm truly terrified of that if I ever fucked up, you know, what are you going to do about it? Kiss my ass kind of thing. I'm going to tell you right now. If Mudahar or oh, yeah. Coffeezilla, either one, ever decide to dig off in your ass, God help you. I would if be fine because there's nothing that can dig on me because I don't have shit. Well, see, I'm the same way, too. Yeah, I've never be been smart man. enough. Well, I've just never been in a position to scam people for $100 million. Because I'm going to be real with you. If I had the power to do it, that's a lot of money, don't bro. I, I can't sit there. Don't say you would. We can't be friends <laughs> if you would scam people. We can't do I that. Don't, but see, here's where me and Tim are going to hugely differ on this. I don't find some – it's kind of like I said, a true crime community. Sometimes you have to be smarter than the conversation being had. 
And at this point in time, if you want to say, <laughs> you know, some of the YouTubers in the past, fine. But this is literally like an annual, biannual thing now. We're about every six months, a giant YouTuber gets caught up in some pump and dump bullshit about fake imaginary micro tech money that doesn't really fucking exist anyway. And you've convinced a bunch of idiot asses, and I hate to say it, but we're not talking four-year-old, 12-year-old little girls anymore like you used to follow Logan Paul. Everybody in that interview with CoffeeZilla were grown-ass fucking men. Yeah, and if you was... fucking ain't figured this out yet, then quit giving your money to idiots. If you're uncertain that your money's going to go to St. Jude's, don't give them the money. If you're uncertain yeah, that I... she's not going to get out of that recliner and go fight crime, don't give her your money. If you Shut are, up. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> Merry Christmas. No, you did not say that. Oh, she's the best of all. If you can get that kind of money, they even got to go. Hell, at least Dolly has to go stand in the snow dressed like a fucking ninja. She turtle. didn't do good this year. Last year, she netted about 30K in a month oh, and a half. Oh, that's my New Year's year, resolution. She didn't get shit. I'm so. swinging on all of them. I, I, mean, I, I, I yeah, I agree with you. Like, But the thing is, is that, like, um, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to put it. The problem is, is that like a lot of people have misinformation when it comes to financial tools. Like with crypto, oh, I agree. Like, with 100%. crypto, it's like people look at that as a commodity. It's not a commodity. It's looked at as a commodity, and that's wrong, the wrong way people should look at it. The real, I, the real thing about crypto is that it's really the the is is basically the program, like what it does. The crypto is just to pay people to prop, like basically become like you know miner stuff or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. And it's become completely corrupted by greedy multi billionaires that found a way to trick a bunch of uh, poor people to buy in to the greater yeah. fool theory. Yeah. Well, when all this started, I remember everybody trying to Willow get in on this Willow get it's blockchain, bro. They can't fuck you over. It's not like banks. And I swear, I I said it the same way about Snapchat. I said, you really think them photos disappear, huh? You don't think anybody can get one? You don't think anybody can put you out your mind? I said yeah. the same shit about crypto. If you really think that a system created by, well, some of the lackluster characters that help create this, if you think that they aren't capable of pulling the rug out from under this anytime they want to, yeah. you out your tree. Of course I they mean, can, which I, I always mean, thought was weird that the federal government has let it grow to this point, basically starting a secondary currency system underneath our currency system. It's just weird, man. Yeah, I, I mean – they do it because the fact is that most of the billionaires, like most of the people who are really rich, put their money in there. And also it allows them to like basically just kind of, you know, grow their money very easily. That's like all you need to do is like a bunch of confident men like uh, fucking Mr. Wonderful does buy before he went broke because he went with FTX. Just go on TV and say, oh, crypto is the future. Buy Bitcoin. To a hundred thousand, and then basically everyone just thinks that to throw their retirement because the real thing is they want everyone's retirements to be in there so they could be screwed. And it's like, no, that's not it. The whole point of crypto is that you can use it as a payment process. Like, for instance, if I wanted to send five thousand dollars to China, it would I would have to pay so many transfer fees, like so many stupid amounts of transfer fees because it would have to go from one bank to another to another. What about a hundred grand to AWP? Could you do well, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm well, kidding. I mean, the point would be like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picking fights right and left. Somebody's gonna fight with me, damn it. That is I'm my new year's resolution. Stay muted so I don't make <laughs> maybe maybe Ryan. You keep saying dumb shit, man. <laughs> maybe Ryan like maybe Ryan had crypto. He just like barcode scanned his uh, Bitcoin. And it was like, okay, here's a hundred thousand dollars. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm just uh, but but, but to the chat, uh, and that's my fault. I veered this conversation. That's on me. But uh, to the chat, people are asking. I don't know who these people are. Long story short, uh, basically, it's it's all the rage right now. Cryptocurrency. Everybody at least knows what that is. Really, you know how it works or not? Right. I don't really know how it works. But a bunch of famous YouTubers, your Logan Pauls, your Ice Poseidons, your big dogs that have hundreds of millions of subscribers, it's become the way now that they create a cryptocurrency. They go to their young ass, dumb ass audience and tell them how great and wonderful it's the next big get rich thing. And they get a bunch of people who follow their channel to buy into this shit and then they snatch the rug and they pocket a whole bunch of money. Yeah, because what they usually do, this is, this is just the – Logan this, Paul is who we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, Logan Paul. This is a – it's called a pump and dump scheme basically, but it's crypto now. Yeah. So if you did it with the stock market, you would go to jail. But since it's crypto, <laughs> you don't. So basically they buy up all the crypto secretly. 
So no, not to tell anyone. And then they advertise it to all their fans and all their fans, they, they buy it and then they sell immediately and dump it as soon as. Now, now there's a good point you made right there, though, that while I kind of believe the same way, even with stock trading, if you know for a fact a company, Martha Stewart, is going under and you're still peddling that shit like it's the great, you know, uh, end all be all whatever, knowing you know, some Enron type shit, then, then, then fine. I, I think there should be some repercussions for that. Uh, yeah. With the crypto world, I do think it's a little ahead of the game. Um, I think that's why you're not seeing it. However, it's like insider trading to me. If you do know that this thing has no expectation to ever see light at the end of the tunnel, it's never going to see light of the day. It's never going to be, you know, in this case, hatched, so to speak. Um, and you did it anyway, and you knew this shit was going south, and you still peddled it to your people at the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, you should probably go to jail. Yeah, I mean, like what Mark, what, I, I Logan, agree. what Logan I was basically. Completely. Yeah. I'm what gonna Logan, jump down, guys. My okay. phone is done, and y'all have a merry Christmas. You have a good merry one. Christmas, there, girl. Be safe, sweetheart. Uh, yeah. Well, what, merry Christmas, baby. Right. I'm over here wrapping presents. Sorry, you guys. Yes, to say it's ten minutes. It's oh, Christmas I'm down here. Down over here, trying to hurry up and get shit finished. So I'm listening, but I'm I'm not. I'm just not participating right now. No, I, no. I, 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 that's kind of why I did that too. I thought, well, Queen's not here. I'll take a couple yeah. of jazz real quick. Yeah. That way, don't I mean, fall on her. <laughs> Logan, like, basically <laughs> going off of my own shit. <laughs> but Logan Paul basically, just what happens this is what he did was he wanted to basically control the trade volume so he could so he can artificially push the price up to 140 million. But then he didn't realize that he brought a bunch of scammers into his secret scamming plot that scammed him before he could scam his, his manager couldn't have answered that any worse than he did i'm telling you what? that you have to print facts well right now the only facts i have is you look guilty as shit bro <laughs> yeah I'm like, he's like that's what I'm you doing. sure you want me to print that part <laughs> that's how it looks yeah. wow so he did he end up like losing a bunch of money then or no uh no, a bunch no, of other people not. did they're fine other people did. no, no what logan was what, what happened was logan was supposed to like he got a guy, one of the team members he got was some guy who said he worked for the CIA or some shit as some sort of whatever. I don't know. He, had, he was just like, he knew a bunch of people. It turned out that all of that was bullshit lies. And he was, and, and then another guy who's called the Crypto King, who used to be like the Pokemon guy. who used to like when Pokemons were big. And he sold uh, a Paul, the uh, fucking Charizard and shit like that. He was in the scam. And what he did was he secretly bought up the crypto and sold it without telling anyone. So he scammed the scammers to oh. scam his Paul's audience. So I think Paul didn't make any money, and he also didn't pay the developers to actually make the crypto. Because like, the whole idea was that it was supposed to be that I would buy an egg, right? And then I, I would, it would hatch. And then I would get an animal, whatever. And then I can combine animals to get a new animal. And I uh -huh. would, I, I think you, you're supposed to earn cryptocurrency based on the animal, and then you. It's can a pay and play game. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a yeah. pay and play game. Meets like, um, I don't know, uh, any of these other typical little online fucking whatevers. Um, and so it's supposed to be fun, kind of NFT ish, kind of crypto ish, and all of this shit was supposed to be uh, an in play, an in game play that actually you could make money off of. And now a bunch of people have a, basically an unfinished application that you can't do anything with. You spend all this money buying little eggs that are never going to hatch because they didn't yeah. finish developing it. And the guy who holds the code and the passwords to launch all of this shit basically took all the shit he worked to actually make this a live active game and took off and left the country. And, of course, Logan Paul and all of them are saying, well, what are we supposed to do? We left the country. Well, yeah, yeah he left the country because you owe him over a million dollars for his work and you ain't paid him. Yeah, they didn't so, want to pay him. They didn't want to pay the developers, which is fucking crazy to me that you wouldn't pay the one people that actually a million bucks. Like, and you're you're about to make a hundred and forty. You're like they're hoping to make a hundred and forty million, and they or like at least twenty something. And you're million. already worth fifty. You can't pay this guy a million dollars. Like, holy. I mean, that what was my mean? thing. Is I mean, a million bucks to to somebody like Logan or Jake Paul. I can't imagine. I mean. Look, dude, they have to get a million dollars cash. A hundred grand, all shit aside, is hard to just do electronically without some questions being asked. Sure. I, I imagine a million dollars is probably even worse. It's something you're yeah. not just going to walk up to an ATM and just grab it. This is going to take a couple of hours. Easy. Yeah. I mean, like, honestly, um, honestly, I, I despise Logan Paul. I mean, like, I, I think, like, Ryan Upchurch is way better than fucking Logan Paul. I like, actually got to where I liked him when he shook the young Disney shit off and got to doing the impulsive thing. I enjoyed his podcast. I, despise, I really I've seen him as a fake motherfucker all the time. At least Ryan. Oh, I definitely real. agree with that. 
But okay. Ryan, I, I would say he's real a little bit more. I mean, I just completely disagree with his opinion on the kind of Roddick. But like, I would rather. I mean, like, I despise fucking fake ass people like fucking Logan Paul. I, Ryan Upchurch, man, in my opinion, is is look. He's an artist. There's no doubt about that. And you can look at that in a couple of ways. You know, life imitation art kind of thing. You know, the Joaquin Phoenix, you know, deal that we saw a couple of years back when. I think Church kind of falls in that realm. He's a typical artist. He's eccentric. He's over the top. He's quick to voice his opinion, right or wrong. He pretty much toes the line. He knows he has enough power and reach to kind of do and say what he wants to, and that allows him to shake the system a little bit. I guess that's something that you kind of earn with that power. Your devices are not connected. It says B10 device is not connected. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he said it was weird. And thank you, Nessie B. I appreciate that. Merry Christmas, love. Um... Yeah, I was going to say it just, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, there you are. And then I got Shade Darker back here, too. I didn't even realize he was up here. <laughs> what you get for talking like, shit about Logan Paul and Upchurch? You got yeeted, homie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. what happened. Boom. That's that's the divine retribution. Kurt, that, Kurt, that Kurt got off that ass. Kurt, Kurt Yay, Darker, are you up here? Yeah, I'm up here. Okay, man. Talk. I just wanted I to make so. sure you could hear. Okay. No, what happened was I thought, I thought my external hard drive was plugged in, but I pulled out my mic my, my accidentally. So. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, man. Merry Christmas, oh, man. Yeah. Merry Christmas to all you guys. Merry Can Christmas. you hear me properly? Yeah. No, you sound oh, great. Okay. Actually, I'm kind of a little pissy every time he comes up. Every time he comes up, I think, dude, this dude's got such a good radio voice. I sound like a yippy little pissed off chihuahua. You know, here's this dude oh, that sounds all, uh, you know, he sounds like super suave and cool. Like, dude, I'd just be walking around like whispering Goo Goo Doll songs in girls' ears and shit if I sounded Listen, like him. I, think I would. The, I'd just be like, I, I, I think that I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the pig actually gives you more points than him because if you just walk around with a pig in a leash, yeah. you probably get a lot more. Yeah, weight. no. If you had a oh pig, yeah, bro, pig on a like, gold leash, man. Like this, this voice ain't gonna never shower be royal. A pig, but like, come on now. <laughs> pig on a gold <laughs> leash, bro. As you can't get this fast of a bitch to wear a harness, which is why moving him is gonna be such a problematic event. Which is why, despite I want to. It doesn't matter. Despite whatever I want to do, me and the ex-wife have to at least civilly be somewhat cool at 1.30 on mm. Wednesday when the police arrive here for all hell to break loose. To help me load this pig is I've had to hire a bigger or excuse me, a smaller trailer than our horse trailer to come and get this pig and take him to the new residence because he doesn't do harnesses and leashes. He hates that shit. He's already no, going to they're super flighty ass animals. He, you're he's going to totally dealing, freak hey, out when you no. take him to a new place. You're seriously dealing with that right now? Like that's actual. Thing oh that yeah, you're like absolutely. Cops will be here at one thirty to yeah. set the remainder of my shit out and take my house that I've lived in for seventeen years and paid the mortgage on. So I've lost about sixty percent of my income. I lost three and a half acres of three thousand square foot house. Only thing I got to show for is a handful of Les Paul guitars and a fucking pig. Oh, I. So many bit out of the equity of the house. So uh, while it sounds like a lot of money. When you're talking about totally, I don't know, uh, pots, pans, fucking appliances, a house, yeah. uh, 25 sure. grand don't go very far. Yeah, the shit that you actually pay for in the home. Yeah, yeah I mean, sure. like, right now, and I'm a musician, so I mean, it's not like I have a whole bunch of showable income. I mean, I guess yeah. that's somewhat self-inflicted, but, uh, you know, we're, we're in the middle of it now, and there's no way I can fix it, so... Uh, hey, I'm sorry you're dealing with that, man. In the nah, middle of cool, uh, the holidays and shit. Oh, like, dude, my birthday, she cut the power off. <laughs> I woke up on my birthday to silence. I was like, why is it so fucking quiet in here? Why am I freezing my ass off? Why is it? Oh, huh. My phone's about dead. I guess I ain't going to be charged with no fucking lights over this son of a bitch. And so I called and asked the power company what the hell is going on. And uh, basically, you know, because it's a joint account, she removed me from the account. Yeah, from so, the account and shit. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, been, mm-hmm. Which, seeing how this is now tied up in litigation, uh, most, you know, apparently, I didn't know this, but most, uh, uh, I guess, you know, what I'm looking for, utility companies, want some proof of ownership, a deed, yeah. a, a mortgage. I said, yeah, well, she's in possession of all that right now, so. Yeah. Oh, um, man, I'm sorry. It took an act of Congress to get power situation. back on. And, mind you, it's nine degrees in Alabama right now, which is Un fucking hey, absolutely y'all lucky that it's nine degrees. <laughs> Shit. Goddamn, where I live at, it's been negative 12 for the past week. 
problem. Well, she couldn't stop me from getting gas, so I at least uh, <laughs> was able to get my. I got one of those faux gas fireplaces. It's not a cool floating fireplace like that. Uh, hash brown has in florida which you know how cold it gets in florida everybody needs one of those um man well what, like what how can we help you like bro this oh this bro there's no like help a shitty me. situation during the holidays, <laughs> no help me, bro. like, like i ain't gonna lie to you uh I, I i would have to join the griff team to fix this and i don't see it being fixed in the next three days four days i could literally go sit on the recliner next to Nika- uh, natasha and i don't think it's gonna make a flying fucking difference um, we're talking about big money. <laughs> we're talking fucking next level shit. Um, so yeah, it is what it is, Erica. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I basically, literally, uh, yeah, fuck it, I'll put it all out here. I literally bought a uh, glorified shed. I mean, it's a nice ass shed. Let me be clear about that. Um, but that's basically where I want to put the fucking pig. So for the next 48 hours straight, including Christmas Day, I will be over on some family's property, uh, insulating and putting up some sort of OSB and backer board just to cover the insulation because I'm afraid the pig will eat it. And uh, I've at least got power ran to it to have him some heat in there. And, uh, you know, it's shock, man. It is what it is for a couple of weeks <laughs> until uh, I can get in this new place. So, um, it's a hell of a note for the first time in my life. I actually got a little bit of money and it's still not enough. Like, uh, <laughs> I never thought of me in this situation. I'm used to being broke, but this is this is kind of this is messy. It's messy. Been with the same chick for 17 years, man. Got a lot of shit tied up in this house. Uh, Jeez. Mm-hmm. Yeah, real messy, but it's cool, man. Well, I mean, how the fuck would you get that shit if it was your goddamn house? Would you fucking marry the bitch or something? Damn. Because when I got hit for my big, big, big hit, goddamn house. Uh, how shit. Like, you know, uh, the one thing that say me and Donald Trump both have in common is we both had our house raided by the FBI. <laughs> and uh you know, right uh, by the well, what? that's kinda how it went down. That's why it was in her name. Was after the last fucking they started seizing the shit. So I just voluntarily did it and oh, never 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 put myself back on. I mean, this is the kind of chick that would hold the gun when the cops got here. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't too sweating that shit. You know what I'm saying? She was in on all the bad shit with me. So uh, right. I figure, oh, she wasn't you know. stuck holding the fucking gun when the shit uh, Oh, yeah. And she was right there complicit as a back. motherfucker. Like, yeah, she wasn't an occupant. She was, you know, uh, a conspirator on, on the war. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, she was all in, too. Um, but ultimately, you know, being the chivalrous son of a bitch that I am, of course, I did what any reasonable man of the house would do. I fucking took it like a champ. Um, all hundred and fucking forty five pounds of my ass up in the fucking. <laughs> I took, you know, do what you gotta do, man. And here I am, ten years later, and it fucked me. Boy, did it fuck me. Um, big time, big time. If you think I ain't just half of me want to walk around the house right now with a sledgehammer just breaking shit, and I can't say it ain't gonna happen Tuesday night. It's possible. <laughs> it's fucking possible. While I still own this for the next 12 hours, here, we can both go do some remodeling. I'll go do mine in the shed in the snow. Sure. And you can start. It's me. It's What's me. Up, babe? Hey. Christmas oh, love. Don't, hey, I'm, I'm going to keep a rule with you. Like, Merry some of Christmas. that shit might be frustrating. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mm. Merry Christmas. But yeah, some some Merry of all this Christmas. shit might be frustrating, bro. But I'm gonna tell you that no matter what, you're gonna get through it. You're gonna Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean it it's come on now, let's let's keep it real. You've been you've been through worse shit than this. Come on now. I may sound way different now. Am I all fucked up? My damn earbud just fell. And now it's uh, doing some weird I, shit. I, I just gotta keep a rule with you. You've been through worse shit than this. Come on now. Oh yeah. Well, this is this is a long process, but yeah, I've definitely been through some worse. Um just bad timing. But uh, you know, maybe uh hell, I don't know. 
Maybe I'll. I mean, nah, shit that you don't want to deal with during the time. But you've been through worse shit. I can tell by your voice that you uh, oh, yeah. have been through yeah, worse shit. Some of it was self-inflicted, but this one actually wasn't. Um, this one was kind of incidental. Uh, didn't see it coming. And that was the other thing. You know, it's easy to prepare for a, a battle when ain't but one of you know there's a war going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah. It was just like a surprise. Uh, I think we should see other people. I was like, okay, well, I'm good with that. I mean, to be honest with you, that part didn't bother me. Uh, after, you know, almost 20 years, you kind of run out of shit to talk about. So that's fine. I can roll with that. Losing all my shit and moving out in the cold and fucking house is 47 degrees in the son of a bitch the other night when I found out come home, no power and shit. <laughs> I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding. Well, actually, I woke up to no power, but uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, it's not, I, I'm good. I've accepted it. It's, uh, this has been ongoing, man, for a couple of months. So it's not like a huge surprise. I didn't think it would come to resolve like, you know, two days after Christmas or three days after Christmas. But, uh, That's fun. is what it is. Um, I would have liked to made it through the first of the year. <sighs> it happens, man. Mm-hmm. I'll be cool. I'll be cool. You, hey, you you got your pig doll. Yeah, me and the pig, man. We're gonna ride this out, yeah. bro. Yeah, ride uh, that bitch out. You good, bro. Willow? Like what the hell's going on? I just jumped in. What's going on, bud? Fucking my crazy ass up so lady. <laughs> Fucking having the sheriff's department set my shit out at 1 30 on the 28th. Oh no. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, like sometimes like you go through life and, and sometimes it's an inspiration for you to actually succeed in other things. Like, for instance, that uh, I think that Harry Potter woman was like, I think I was like homeless. I think like she was living in her car and that gave her inspiration yeah. to write a book. You know, sometimes like trials and tribulations can give, give us. The problem is, though, is I ain't getting any younger. I'm an old man at this point. You know, when well, if, you're not that no, old. you are not Willow, you're my age. Stop. I, I'm old enough that you know, I am past the age of Blink 182 days, like you know, Green Day kind of shit. They ain't they ain't kind of bad like that. Stop you're playing old, like you're old, bro. I'm stop old with singer songwriter shit right. now. Don't age me. <laughs> you better calm down. Listen, men men age like like fine wine, so it's just like that's how you gotta look at it. Shit. I'm old as fuck. Like, My shit aged like Mad Dog 2020, bro. It's like <laughs> I had Mad Dog 2020 <laughs> days. Calm down now. Why I'm you gotta age me, bro? I'm old. I'm washed. This dude's young. He's got a pig. <laughs> <laughs> we grilling and chilling, baby. Now. I'm um, old. I'm old. Shit. I just had a damn birthday on the 20th too. That, that's what I'm hey. Y'all, y'all will see one way or another. This shit will work itself out. I'm gonna do a a post birthday Christmas something. Who's got thing feedback? Cool. Somebody's got feedback. It's like really scratchy, and I don't know who it is. Yeah, someone's it, got is it like me? scratching. It, yeah, it's probably me. I, I don't know, man. I can hear. I can't. Up. I can't see who's up on the yeah. panel. Hold right on. Now, so. I'll swap your buzz real quick. Wing zero is this you up here? Yeah, I I don't have. Oh, it is. Uh, okay. I see you, babe. I don't have problems. Is it me, Queen? Yeah, I, I hear know. someone echoing. I can hear myself through somebody else. Can you? I would say it's gone now. I can't hear it anymore. Yeah, I can't hear it. Mm. Oh. Let me know if it's me. What's up, Wing? What you doing? I just want to come up and wish everybody up here a happy or a Merry Christmas. And Willow, boy. You know damn well you're worth a lot. So yeah, he's worth. You're gonna be off the market real quick. Uh Yeah. So don't 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 be down. I'm cool with the with the market. I'm cool with being by myself. It's the homeless and poor part that bothers. I paused my video game to come up here and talk to you. Aww. 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 What game was it? I'm joking. I was joking. (laughs) I'm playing the jet. I'm playing Star Wars. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I, I was playing outward. I was playing outward actually. Before. Hold on, give me two seconds. I gotta let the pig out. Hold on. <laughs> see, see, gotta let the pig out. That's the good thing about you. You think about the pig before yourself. Mm-hmm. I'm just telling you, make a YouTube. Just have the pig as like I, I say like this should be your inspiration. You should just get a blonde wig, put it on the pig, and just have like a sound clip of Betty. And that, that, like, just doing mm-hmm. like Betty, just talking, and that would be that. Or Molly, who knows? Just get different types of wigs for different people you don't like. 
I don't know. I've kind of like let the beef go on the YouTube stuff and just kind of hanging out. Oh, to okay. be honest with you, it's it's too cold to like keep up drama with people. I've been removing snow, and uh, see that's the I'll thing. For, I, I don't have snow, so I, I could I could keep it be. up. I leave for Ukraine in uh, January 15th. Queen B, how you doing tonight, baby? Wait a minute, you're going to Ukraine? Yeah. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Yeah. Are you like fighting or what? Uh, well, or, or you can't comment wanna... it's on a live stream. Yeah. Oh. Damn it, B Tim. <laughs> Okay. So my my initial uh my initial uh go through was to save some animals and I'm gonna leave that as that and we won't talk about that anymore. But I leave uh, Jan yeah, January fifteenth, I leave. Oh, that's that's tough. That's tough. Yeah, that um, really is. My wife hates me right now. Um oh, well that's kinda oh, that's, you know what, though, that's to be expected though. She almost leave, you know. She don't want you to go, you know. But it is a thing. She she understands, I think. So yeah. she's been in like a manic type state, kind of weird. Like uh I don't know. So things have been a little strange around the house. Yeah, but, man, I'm I'm sorry. I mean, I know I don't. Oh no 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 no! Nothing to be sorry about. Nah nah. No pity no, out here. It's it's the holidays, and I just want everybody to be happy. No, I'm choo I'm choosing what I want to do. Like, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, regardless. She already knows that. She, I mean, she married a fucking. <laughs> so I mean, obviously, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. So, hey, it is what it is. But yeah, no, uh, my uh, my schedule leave time is January fifteenth. I don't know if that's going to actually come into effect or not um depending because i'm actually trying to leave with a bunch of stuff for um yeah i i can't really explain so yeah so i have to i've been working on a lot of things that's why i probably haven't posted so many videos whoever follows my channel i don't know if you do but yeah so that's why i've been really don't shit lately so, i ain't even been on here things. all week matter of fact uh, well it's been like three yeah. four days but i mean i had to take i had to take a break too and we had a lot of traveling and all kinds of shit going on so i'm trying to hurry up and finish wrapping these presents how many presents do you got like yeah like well, 1500 uh, I already Sounds like a lot. She's like, yeah. she's like, she's raveling up a whole truck. Like, God damn. Like, you should just, just give them money. Like, here's like, uh, like whatever dollars. Like, you gotta wait until they're older to do that. Yeah. 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 It's, it's weird around my house. Like, uh, my wife doesn't really like to talk to me that much during Oh, uh, Shay, you're getting uh, the closest yeah. owner right now. It's one of those, like, go, ghosts living in two houses together because I chose to, I'm leaking. She ain't even but, fucking speaking to you right now, huh? Yeah. Uh, That's yeah. A thing. She'll come around. She'll come around. Hey, she, she will. will. She will. Up, she, she's going to miss you. No, I'm only going. For, I'm only going for like two months, so it's not like a. Still, that's a long ass time when you're leaving. You know what I'm saying? That's shit to her. That's like two fucking years. Shit. Yeah. So basically, I'm trying to move the doggos and the cats out west and not from the front. So like, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do out there. I think for right now. Well, God um, bless you and thank you for your service. No, it's not a service. It's more of a. Uh, he can't really explain. Yeah, he's That's he's okay. going. He's gonna have to do. He's like doing. He's like a secret agent. He's gonna deal with Putin right now. He's going across there. CIA. Austin yeah, Powers. Yeah, Austin Power. That's why he's like getting. He's being very secretive about it. He's yeah, still, it's, not, it's nothing like that. Exactly yeah. what a secret agent would say. Totally. Plaus agent. Plausible <laughs> deniability. <laughs> a secret well, agent. Your no, fam, your, your YouTube family will still be here when you come back. How about that? 
Yeah. Oh well, I I mean I I think that's the least I of hope. his concern. I know, <laughs> so I know, I know. I'm just trying. That's to, cool. Uh, I mean, I hope I come know. back. That that's my. I mean, <laughs> you have a note on this. What is happening? Yeah, I think he's like uh, uh, maybe if I I gotta avoid uh, certain soldiers. I think that's more concerned than you two beef. That's probably why he doesn't really give a shit about Dolly. He's like he's gonna have to deal with possible soldiers and shit like that. No, I mean I'll. Well, that's yeah. why I think I'm yeah. for a service. I'm, I'm just like, gonna keep my mouth shut. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's cool, man. No, I was just pr trying to put a positive spin. Uh, but don't worry, I don't think uh, Putin's watching. If he is, uh, you know, welcome to the stream. Uh, please stop the invasion. That'd be nice of you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they could stop the whole fucking war, it would be cool. Like, yeah, it'd be, it'd be great. You're kind of suffering a demographic collapse in Russia because of this, and you actually your population is dropping because of this, and you're down to 1.5 average kids, and that's not really good. And uh, that might be a problem in the future generation when it comes to the economy. But, but you know, yeah, and it's cool, whatever. And, yeah, so might might be a good idea to focus more on the child cash credits that you were doing before to increase mm -hmm. population in Russia than. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure Ukraine's got this in the bag anyway. So yeah, I mean, like the thing is, is that I think like they've they've been doing very well. I was actually shocked they survived that long. To be like, they actually did that because I was like, man, because like you know everyone was hyping up the Russians. It was like, oh my god, no. and, you, and you thought it was like you thought maybe it would take them like two weeks or something or a month at most, but they definitely uh did mm. not maintain that like they never maintained their equipment at all they never maintained mm. their tanks it was just fucking ridiculous well and plus ukrainians have been fighting for what 14 years yeah um already so i mean they're already seasoned and plus like adding us on top of that and plus uh, well unofficially uh, unofficially well, wink, wink. i mean come on now Wink, wink. We're not, we're not, we're not doing anything. We're just giving certain monies and weapons. It's nothing. It's well, not no, like we've a... been training these fuckers for fucking years. Come on, yeah. man, let's keep it real. Yeah, ever since the Crimea thing, when that was, that was yeah. basically the signal for them to get ready. They weren't prepared yeah. with the Crimea one, but when after that happened, they started preparing like crazy. Yeah. So, so let's just keep it a hundred and just say like they're they're seasoned. They're they're ready. Yeah. Is it still mud season there? yeah oh okay yeah that's what uh, napoleon i'm gonna i'm gonna be there while it's frozen like oh, okay frozen so all right that should work maybe we shall see and which i'm used to i'm negative 12 degrees right now where i'm oh, at, oh so. i'm i'm like in a sunny day it's only 15 degrees here it's like a summer day comparison to I you guys. it's fucking crazy it's every i can literally walk man i was just over at a buddy of mine's house walking around in a yard and I felt like I was walking on like a fucking box of marbles or some shit. It was just frozen acorns. <laughs> it was so fucking hard, man. It was like the weirdest shit ever. It's like a, oh, such a, a no, cold Ru breeze. Russia, hey, I, I, I got to keep it. Whoever said that, I got to keep it 100%. Russia is not winning this war. No, I think they already lost, um, to be honest with you, because the whole concept of the war was just, just an easy victory, and they've completely fucking destroyed every all their progress they were making their connections with other countries. China oh. is backstabbing them completely. Of course poor they Ukraine, lost. They no, had to give Russia. up Brittany Grainer. That's the hey, end no, of this. Poor, <laughs> poor Russian citizens that had to go in and fight this war and lose their life for no reason. Yeah. That's what I think is poor. Yeah. Well, you said Grainer. <laughs> then I how you pronounce Ukraine, it. Ukraine's no, Griner, been ready for this. I believe Come it's Grainer. I got to keep it, I gotta keep it 200%. Um, Ukraine has been ready for this war for a very long time, and they will win this war, and they will not stop this war until it is completely. Uh, either they invade Russia, which is probably a good possible at this point. Like, let's keep it honest. Uh, that could be a possibility that ukraine would actually invade russia at this point no nah, so, i don't think they're going to try the rest uh, of no they just want their territory back they yeah. don't want to fight that's the whole point they didn't want to fight in the first place yeah i don't even think russia wanted to fight it was just the leadership that's just being assholes i think a lot of russian but people were probably they're going to get crimea back 
I'm going to tell you that 100%. Ukraine is going to get Crimea back. I'm going to tell you that uh, right now. Yeah, I don't know. Probably. I mean, like, right I now, think, I mean, like, the thing four is, months, yeah, I don't know. They're getting it back. I mean, the thing is, is that they always have nukes and, you know, Putin's kind of psychotic. Like the nuke thing, I don't think is going to happen because as soon as he launches nukes. Mm. Listen, did you ever think that we'd be all locked in our houses for a couple of months due to a pandemic from. Shit, for a long damn way from 15 days to flatten the curve my ass. <laughs> yeah. Like, about three hey, years ago hey, in the fucking no, review. No, I'm going to I'm going to keep it a buck. And that's exactly why I say that is. Uh. Drop nukes. See what fucking happens. Go ahead. See what happens. See what happens to your country. See what happens. Drop them nukes. Please. That would be on the scale of fuck around and find out. That's, that's where we need that little meme. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No Russian will be living anymore. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, but the thing is is that most of Europe gets its fucking oil. They're still tapped on the oil. There Doesn't from matter. Russia, yeah. so. Once you take Russia's the country, quarterback in a lot of country. power right now. They are. Yeah, and that's the so, thing. Like, a lot countries are selfish, like people. Like, Germany is like only cares about itself. They don't give a shit about anyone else. Just like the United States really just cares about itself, not everyone else. It's like, so if they have to decide the survival of the Ukraine or themselves because they don't, their people are going to starve to death because they don't have enough actual gasoline to actually make, like, to heat up their homes or to get food, they might make that hard decision to make the deal oh, with the devil. Right. Okay, Monica, you're scared of Russia and China? Really? You scared of the outcome of what happened against a small ass country that they tried to invade and they're winning a war? Are you, really? I, I'm scared of them oh, for uh, two reasons, and I'll tell you why. If 9 11 showed Americans nothing, now we've since seen it again with the whole lockdown thing, but I think in, 20, uh, in 2001, I think if nothing was learned from that war, was look, man. Nobody's ever going to fly over here. There's never going to be another Pearl Harbor. That's not going to happen. We are far too sophisticated. We have too much shit. You ain't coming over here doing a motherfucking thing. We will launch you out the sky a thousand miles for you. I mean, I mean, look the at the, I mean, like, uh, I would disagree. Like, that's some guy that literally flew over at the White House. I mean, it, it I would, would take him with that. It, it, it could happen, but it's going to take a lot of preparation. You're not just going to, ain't nobody going toe to toe in the parking lot with the U S not face to face. You might team up with a couple of your buddies and do it, but you ain't doing it. Mono with mono. That ain't happening. And if nothing else, I think everybody should take heed to this, that to take America out, you hit them where it hurts in the wallet. And right and now I America doesn't know how to behave with only 20 days of diesel fuel in this country. We no, don't know how to act with no baby formula on the shelves. We ain't ready for I'm this. I'm back. Sorry, y'all. All right, we've been we've been pretty pampered in this country. We have all the the uh, amenities that you could ever ask for, and we have just seen what just a couple of months of kinks in the armor can cause. And God forbid China decide to pull the same shit with Taiwan that you're seeing right now with Russia and Ukraine, and, and we continue to sit back and let that shit happen and don't play some sense of interventionist. Uh, America's day of being the, the beacon of hope, the shining light on the hill, the superpower that we've all grown to, to know this country to be is coming to an end. Um, that's what I'm worried about. And I don't think anybody's going to attack us. I don't think any kind of shit like that's going to happen on American soil, at least not in my fucking lifetime. Oh, but yeah, do I think it's going to get harder and harder to buy baby formula? Probably. Do I think you're going to probably all of a sudden Tatino's pizzas are gone? Yep, that's that's possible. Um, do I think that you're going to continue to go to Arby's and not find Red Ranch and then it's going to turn into not be able to get cheese and then Fine. roast beef's I'm gone? And I, I think I think you're going to see more and more of that. Uh, it's been a long time since I remember it, it really in my life ever going to so many restaurants and can't get a packet of something or can't buy a certain brand of paper towels well, or can't find a certain. I mean, dude, it's fucking everywhere right now. This country's that's, taking a that's hit. The shit, and that's going to get worse. I'm least worried about. What mm. I'm worried about is filling my gas tank to get to well, and, and, that, and that's what I'm saying. That's where it all starts. And the more normal, everyday amenities that the general population grows accustomed to, when you start mm -hmm. taking that shit away, it causes pandemonium. It causes freak out. You end up with that one guy in front of you about 400 rolls of toilet paper um, because people start to just totally lose their shit. And I think that's kind of what you saw during the lockdowns where people start to oh. kind of lose their shit. 
that's that's so, what caused the problem during the lockdown was people losing their shit. People. I guess that's what I'm trying to say is I don't think anybody's going to blow yeah. us up. Let me say that. I think it's going to be more no. of a cultural and economic meltdown is what you're going to continue to see. And that's how you take this country out. You ain't going to fight us in the parking lot. That ain't happening. But you can sure as hell milk our wallet to the point we can't afford. I mean, right now, there, you got well, your wish. That, fight for minimum wage. Fight for 15. Up. We're paying kids yeah, $18 an hour eight. at McDonald's and they still won't go to work. They're so already milking. Hey, ourselves. they're already milking the wallet, homie. Like we're already paying oh, for the fucking war. That ain't our war. We're already paying for it. We've already dumped absolutely. billions of dollars. That's why shit's okay, costing so, so much. Okay, so so this is gonna be. We're gonna be sponsored by silver and gold. This is gonna be the new sponsorship <laughs> of the channel. Make sure you buy your silver and gold and uh, prepare yeah. for the and possibly yeah. other amenities. Guys. And check out Logan Paul's new crypto. <laughs> Doing really well. Yeah, Logan Paul's new crypto. <laughs> Buy now, buy low, so high, baby. You're gonna laugh, but I do have, I do have coins from like, like junk silver. I, 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 I wouldn't no, be shocked no. if you did. Yes, I do. I, I have like a vault oh, full. You Just would, a, wouldn't you? I, I, because all coins from pre 1964 are 90 percent silver, so I, I grabbed those just in case. So. You are that dude. You are that dude. That's what I appreciate. <laughs> because like someone brought up when I was watch, I was watching a lot of silver channels a while ago. And someone brought up like a very interesting point. It's like, okay, let's say like the apocalypse happened and you need it and you bought a giant bar of silver. How do you cut that damn silver to actually give the people for currency? So I the just idea, bought a, a Salzal with a diamond tip blade. It's supposed to be pretty gnarly. I don't know if it was quite yeah, ready for that. But yeah, but that's the thing. It's like, how do you chop up pieces to get for currency of something yeah, like, you know, silver? So that was the whole five part. So yeah. you could just buy them silver from, I bought a bunch of silver from eBay and stuff like that and stored it for years in the, the whole thing. So uh, not a lot of money, though. Not tons. Because I figured, like, I wouldn't want, like, like yeah. But probably we'll get robbed in the apocalypse because I don't have a gun. So that's going to be probably oh, what's going to happen. Oh, you live in New York. You can't. Yeah. I didn't know that. You're in New York, really? Yeah, I am. Oh, no fucking clue. I don't know why I didn't know that. But I sure as hell didn't think New York. Uh, well, when I say the word New York, usually people yeah, know I mean, New York. You can pretty. <laughs> I don't know. I just ain't where I thought he was from. Standing right down the mountain, I guess. Um, yeah, New York has a thing. Like, you even get caught with like a bullet without a gun and you're like going to your like five and see that's prison. another thing that should tell you how bad it's getting like i've watched some of the day get declined from buying bullets like you can't already find bullets for certain shit i watched somebody get declined at walmart a few minutes ago i don't really know the reason really? but that, it, it about caused a major ruckus because they were telling they couldn't buy this or this because of something i can hear the whole conversation i said oh dude i'm in alabama you're gonna tell somebody here they can't buy it. <laughs> okay well, i, mean, I almost like... got my phone out to record it just for merit <laughs> I mean, when I was a kid, I, I might not have a gun, but I did archery. So I basically, I was doing, um, I was doing compound bows from the age of nine to Me too. fourteen. Then I did recurves, Olympic bows. So I basically trained in bows. I could probably shoot someone with a bow pretty easily, about like twenty-five yards, pretty easily, while they're oh. moving. Yeah, no, I I agree a hundred percent. I'd rather deal with a bow than a gun right now, to be honest. So with you. I mean, I'm maybe way more comfortable with it. Maybe you'll hear like if the apocalypse comes, I'm like with a bow in the middle of New York, like with some sort of like some sort of like weird apocalyptic version. Like right, Hunger that. Games. Like yeah. Hunger Games, it'll be like Hunger Games. Like somebody <laughs> asked, somebody <laughs> asked me that yesterday because like my everyday is like a, a kind of an awkward size. Um, and so 380 rounds, 380 rounds have always been expensive and they're a little harder to come by. Not quite as common. And uh, he asked the other guys, man, and he's like a super prepper. He's like, bro, see how bad this just getting, man. Uh, are you, you good on ammo? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Like, how much you got? I, I, I'm good, bro. Like, I mean, I said, dude, I got enough bullets to get more bullets if shit goes south. How about yeah, that? I, mean, I got also, enough bullets to go get some more. Also, <laughs> Trust I was a me. I was a Boy Scout, so I went camping, so I know how to camp and survive in the woods. Of course, you were a Boy Scout. That makes so, sense. Yeah. Good old Boy Scout. It kind of does, doesn't it? He is such an yeah. honorable. Yeah. It, 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 it kind of I'm not a Girl oh, Scout, yeah, but good. I grew up in the trailer park, and I got enough bullets to get me through for about three weeks through the first 
three weeks of the pop I mean, and then yeah. I, got I have a trailer feeling park, trailer park might be the equivalent of boy scout uh, yeah. uh, i have a feeling awesome. like <laughs> i have a feeling if the apocalypse does ever happen like the south will just take over the entire like i'm, be like I'm, oh, dude, I'm hey. california I'm <laughs> that's a not scout, a joke i got a rottweiler and i got a gun so i'm good well, true, yeah true no, story. i don't know there's tons of polls hey. you can look at 85 percent of this country's ammunition is in the southeast that's yeah, like, I, I, I agree with that, but the people from the north, I feel Man, like, my pig got a gun, bro. Longer because <laughs> they're used to the cold. No, I'm saying like if the apocalypse happened, like all the guns are in the south, so like they'll be like Alabama will be the new state capital or something right. like that. Or something Dude, like that. there's a Vice episode right now, and my buddy's done mm-hmm. done it. We done done it. We done proved it to be true. It's like right, right now there's about one and a half guns for every heartbeat in this country, and so to think that you're gonna do away with them now, dude. Uh, well, Go watch Vice. They are printing you know Glock I, 19s right now on 3D printers, bro. Yeah. You know what an interesting I mean, little <laughs> historical note is that the, Jap- the reason why the Japanese never really invaded was because they realized how much guns we had. So they were like, oh, shit, we can't invade this country. Everyone has a fucking gun. Yeah, that's why. That's what I'm saying. That, that's why nobody's coming here. Like, you might fly by and do some shit, but that Red Dawn shit, if you think a bunch of damn crazy-ass terrorists are going to paratroop in the middle of damn Crenshaw or South Central Los Angeles, they're going to get turned into Swiss cheese before the shoot even hits the pavement, dude. Straight ain't the no, fuck up. Ain't nobody coming here. Try to, try to parachute yeah. out in my trailer hood. Just like, just just like The Walking Dead, like, does it make sense? Because everyone had to gut, like, imagine if that actually happened. Like, my that, pig yeah. will be so happy. He'll think it's raining fucking filet mignon, dude. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you hit the pavement, he'll be done ate up to your fucking kneecap, bro. <laughs> like a fucking Stop piguana it. he's oh a piguana <laughs> yeah, um, no, i said if the the apocalypse like, is gonna happen i'm hitting up a, a walmart and an academy i don't know if y'all know what academy is but basically oh yeah we got academy sports about every 12 feet around here right okay, okay. oh yeah so, yeah I'm hitting we got tons of them up because they have food um antibiotics Fish. That's what I was going to say. I done made my stake on that. If, if the apocalypse goes down, I am the first guy throwing up my flag on the fucking roof of CVS, and then I'm going to team up with whoever takes Walgreens. Because the way I look at it is, with enough what? Oxys and Roxys, exactly. not to mention I'm holding all the antibiotics and all the medication, uh, go work for me, little worker bees, because I'm kind of the new president. Yeah, I'm, saying, I'm the new president. I'm the new president. I'm the new president. Hashtag Willow for president 2020. <laughs> That would be such a kind of event. Imagine the apocalypse happen and suddenly like shit happens and you become the president. Like they literally build a monument to you and your pig as a new president of the country. Oh, dude, bow and kiss the bacon, dude. Like absolutely. I mean, you're great again. And then your ex-wife is like looking at you like at your stud. She's like, fucking son of a. Oh, dude. Oh, and and she's day one firing squad. And (laughs) the VP, please. Who's going to be the VP? The pig. But as we say, we call him PP, a PP or LP. We call him a bunch of shit. So yeah, I just call him the P anyway. A P that's money. PPG. Yeah, so he'll be like, you know, he'll be he'll be quarterback in that all, shit. All I'm gonna have... fucking hire. I'm gonna hire Elon Musk to manage all of my social media. No, no, <laughs> no. you can't say that word around no. here. I'm gonna rebel. I'm gonna rebel against you. <laughs> Beat him comes in with the fucking rebellion. <laughs> and then, yeah, as far as uh, the treasure, I think we'll just hand that over to Logan and his brother. <laughs> to be the treasure. The rebellion <laughs> is, is going to start like against you. It so. can't be any worse than this fucking administration. Hell, it's basically like Cartoon Network at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue right now. Yeah. Um, I, I'm cool with it. <laughs> I mean, fuck it. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I'm I'm all in with it. If, uh, I didn't even oh, know I was on camera. Then. Hello, uh, sorry, I had to I had to swap out my. Uh, oh hell, the, Kurt, still here tonight, brother. Hey, I'm a fan, by the way, Kurt. We love you, buddy. Have a merry swap Christmas. Are we still in the chat? Hey, what's up, Kurt? Hi, Kurt. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know he was listening. Well, he says he's there listening a lot of times. He wasn't bullshitting. <laughs> he ain't said nothing in a while, but he was obviously still here. So. Is that Captain uh, Kurt? Like, yeah, yeah, skirt. Oh, what's up, Kate? Do not go smashing skirt, your damn skirt, house. Skirt. And if you do. Oh, I want to burn this. I ain't going to lie. Understand. The only reason why I have it is because oh, I'm the no. one who made the policy for this house, and I know what kind of money she gets from that. This but house burning to the ground would be the greatest shit ever happened to her. You're a better guy, man. Who's oh, no, I'm really not. Like, 
Oh my god. My, not even my gonna, arrest record like, strongly no, suggests otherwise. <laughs> um I, see, and look, I'll even take some credit for that. Really you know, she, she's been she's been married to me for 17 years. She sees the side. It's easy to be a nice guy on the internet because I know you're watching. I know oh. you can see what I'm saying. Oh, okay, uh, you, man. Look, Sorry. I mean, I get it. I can I be a handful, a, a little problematic to deal with at times. But the way I look at it, it's real simple. Uh, I don't fuck around. I don't beat you. I pay the bills. I do the shit I'm supposed to do. I ain't got no side shit. Hence, I ain't got no baby's mamas. I ain't got good guy. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, this just became an uneventful, monotonous relationship, and she wanted to do something else, and that's cool, man. I'm good with that. That's fine. I'll be honest with you. I was kind of burnt, too. Um, no hard feelings. But Why when it turned a into- serious situation? What the fuck? That's the thing. That's what got weird about it, man. Like, there's a 17-page letter right here. I still got it. I write around in my book. I don't every know, time. Willow. Willow, that's your personal business. Babe. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if there's uh, like yeah, don't, put it, don't put it on yeah. the internet. That's your yeah, personal come on. Business. Oh, I done yeah. put it all over the place. I don't hey, 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 um, hey. Nah, you ain't got to throw it all like that. Besides no. that, all of my shit's easy to find. I think I'm the only dude in this community that with one swipe of one key, you can see all my shit. All my social medias are linked. All my no, real names on every video. No, bro, no, but it ain't even like that. It ain't like, even like just... that, brother. No, nah, uh, like I, I ain't too sweating none of that shit. I mean, right. as far as the, the legalities of this, sweating. it's all over. <laughs> yeah, the, the legalities of the situation's done. I mean, there's no, uh, there, there's really no, you know, th- there's no stopping what's happened. Uh, now okay. it's about having enough money to, to get somewhere else well, quickly. Um, that's pretty much what it boils down just to. Better left than personalized. <laughs> Like, you know, I said this, I said this last night to, uh, I don't even know, Queen got my message. I sent a message that said this. I just want to make this real clear right now. If I fuck around and your boy ends up on an episode of Snapped, uh, <laughs> gag order be damned. I'm going to talk to whoever I want to, but I'm only going to do an exclusive interview with Queen. Shut That's up. the only person I'm talking to from jail. <laughs> and, uh, Shut up. So I that way. Sh- same shit to Queen every day. <laughs> I oh, fuck it, Shogun will have something to talk about. Snapped, bitch. And then you're going to have to fucking do my exclusive interview. <laughs> I, I'm serious. Like, uh, yeah, I, I, hey, 100%. I've been around the true crime community long enough now that I end up in some serious, serious We're lockup. Gonna, We're all going to end up on Snapped one of these days, you know? Oh, so, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna end kidding. up somewhere somewhere some i'm just yeah. kidding i'm just right now i'm just hanging out waiting for my kids to go to bed so i can do my santa thing you know do the yeah do the, the, santa's the coming! yeah santa's coming i, I really wanted to yell in the mic and be like <laughs> y'all seen those trends right now on tiktok where everybody's dressing up as a grinch coming in and stealing the yeah, presents from the kids that's, and shit. that's oh hilarious I that one little kid beat his ass Shocks me up I, uh, that I, I would end up. Hey, I would end up shooting somebody. That kid's gonna grow up and send those. <laughs> that thinking. kid's gonna grow. Up, that kid's gonna grow up and send those parents to the nursing home. For yeah. Them. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. When he, when he swings, uh, when he swung at the Grinch and ends up on the ground, I'm like, dude, Daddy Five shit started just like this. Oh boy, watch it. <laughs> yeah. Watch it. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, they, them, they them parents going. They, they going up north when they get old. For sure, that kid ain't. You know, all it takes yeah, is for moist critical. What's up? What's wrong with the north? Well, I, I live up north. Uh, what we call up north is meaning like they sending them somewhere. Listen, listen. Everyone knows the good the good retirees go to Florida. The bad retirees go north. <laughs> <laughs> they go north. They go, they go north. north. Yeah, that was New York. <laughs> See, I don't recognize New York. I recognize New York accents, like if it's Queens, Brooklyn, you know, something really over the top. Yeah. But like Massachusetts accents, like when Nick comes on, there is no mistaking that he is from Boston. Oh, like the no. Boston accent, it gets me. Yeah. yeah. No Minnesota there, gets me. Yeah. No, me. I'm Minnesota. from Minnesota. Yeah. Are I'm, you? That yeah. tells you what I was saying. He has some Minnesota traits, man. But I yeah. wasn't totally sure. Y'all are yeah. super well pronounced. No, like I'm it's actually, a good thing, really. I'm actually from Hawaii, but I live in Minnesota. I got a buddy of mine, man, outside of uh, Minneapolis, and, and he is just Minnesota. And, and a, it's like it's like solid. the American version of Canadian. Yeah. Everything has an A. Sol- in. A solid as fuck, though. That dude. The only, will drive the only for Minnesota. You the okay, I can do up. accents. Okay, hold on. Hey, Bobby. Okay, well I can I can tell that B Tim is from New York. I can I can hear it. 
Mm-hmm. Every impersonation yeah. accent I do all sounds like a drunken Jamaican. Like it doesn't like they all. Sound yeah, the same. no, I'm broken know. because like I'm from Hawaii, so I like I I can actually speak like pigeon and shit. But I live in Minnesota, so it's like it kind of works out well together because it's almost the same broken Minnesota. accent, maybe Minnesota. You know? It is. That's what they said. Minnesota. It's like <laughs> this long, long, long so. <laughs> like almost like get all my so, Minnesota friends to say Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? We say it Mississippi. Like, but like, like a, I can I can go instantly into like pigeon mode. Me like, oh, me like Kaliki Maka, hola Maka Yikio. You know, like I just want to go to Hawaii before I die, smoke a fat ass joint, some of the best yeah. weed I can get, and I want to yeah. listen to Jack Johnson all fucking yeah. day long. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, like that just sounds like the life to me. Me and my pig sit like next to a volcano. Yeah. Get, smoking get, the yeah. best get, weed. get yourself some Jack Kona Johnson, gold right next to a volcano. A volcano some Jack Johnson. Yeah. Um, I shit. mean, like you, you, you ain't getting much better than that. <laughs> oh, dude, like that's my shit, man. Some Jack Johnson, some, some weed, Jack a volcano. Johnson, dude, you can't listen to Jack Johnson and not want to throw on some flip flops, some camo cut off, and just hang and, out. Yeah. And just yeah. hang out, man. Hang out. Fuck hey, a banana no, pancakes, I, man. <laughs> I I actually fuck with some rappers that are out from there that are actually like on just vibe and shit that just be on like some hippie shit, I, which I, is cool. Yeah, buddy, man, we've been through Hawaii once, right? And I, I'll never forget that at the time, you know, everybody was smokers and whatnot. And the only thing I really, really recall about about his trip in that situation was just the cost of everything. Like he was talking about weed. He said, "Man, get good weed over there." He said, "You paying for it, bro?" Because he said nothing. We said nothing grows out of a fucking a volcano, bro. He said so. All the weed is like imported from island to island. Yeah. I mean, seafood was another thing that blew my mind. We was at this uh, buffet, nice seafood buffet. And uh, we got up there. I mean, you know, we understand it's this tourist place and shit, but fuck, man, it's like $50. It was like 40 something bucks for this buffet. And I was thinking, fuck, man, there's like a whole ocean right here, you know, yeah, but that's yeah, what they explain. No, They're like no. the water temperatures, though, they said are so warm that all the seafood comes from my house in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, oh okay. okay. So that, that makes a little more sense. And uh, uh, a pack of cigarettes, I remember this was like eight, nine years ago, and a pack of cigarettes yeah. is almost fucking $15. All right, so I can Ooh. explain. I can explain some things here. All right, so uh, tobacco does not grow on Hawaii at all. Like, does not grow. Uh, Dole owns ninety percent of uh, the like agriculture, like as far as like growing. Uh, as far like as like Dole is in like the the fruit people. Yeah, oh, uh, okay. as far as Ooh, like shit. bananas, strawberries. Uh, um guava is a huge like thing so like dull owns like a whole bunch of shit on the island where i'm from at least the island that i grew up on uh so basically dull owns a bunch of shit they grow a bunch of shit there but the islanders also grow a bunch of shit there so like the actual best way for you to get your buck per living there is actually go to the farmers markets get the big ass avocados they have av- avocados the size of your fucking head in hawaii that actually grow there so i would love to be able to go there and actually hang out man it's like a solid week just roam the islands and maybe a couple weeks but mm. no nah, you gotta, gotta go there longer than like uh you gotta be there for a month to, or, or two to do i would in, love to go there and just be able to hang to out take man. in like the whole experience of being like in hawaii you need to you need to spend some time there because there's a difference. Uh, a lot of people will see when they go to Hawaii, they're only going to see the tourist life and they're not going to see like uh, what it is to be like an Islander yeah. or uh, I'm an Island boy. I'm no, shut, please <laughs> shut the fuck up. I'm an island. This, dude, this is like <laughs> fucking Fraggle. Y'all remember Fraggle Rock? That's what that dude looked like. He's like Uncle Tra- uh, Wembley. Oh. The one with the little yellow shit. He's like Wembley from Fraggles. Yeah. By the way, guys, I'm gonna skedaddle. I gotta go to bed. You guys have a good one, dude. Hey, All beat right, him. Tim, I always love good, talking brother. to you, bro. Nice talking to you guys. You have a good one, guys. You Bye. Man, Merry Christmas, Tim. Be safe, brother. I'm instantly back here, been the backstage. What's up, girl? Shit, I didn't even see you back here. I was over here. Merry Christmas, yeah. Christmas. See you guys. Bye. Bye.
Yeah, hey, you too. Sorry, I was over here so, First, I, w- I want y'all to know I'm actually clothed, okay? I'm just comfy on the blanket. <laughs> That's cool. It's optional. We, okay, we, anytime yeah, my yeah, mother yeah, plays, yeah, we don't care. <laughs> oh my God. I nice don't have clothes on. And I'm like, oh my God, y'all couldn't be that fucking lucky. The fuck? <laughs> Anywho, it. Shit. hello, hello. I just came by to stop by wish all the beautiful people, especially Queen, a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, a happy rest of the year. Fuck the rest of a good fucking night. Whatever it is you want, Amen. sweetheart, I hope you have the best of it and it goes to the rest of you guys in the panel as well as in the chat. Thank you, sweetheart. Merry Love Christmas to you. Happy Merry holidays. Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Oh, it's a very happy holiday to me. My kids are finally fucking asleep. Fuck this shit. My shit is perfect. Now, mind you, I don't know how long they're going to stay asleep, so I have to enjoy every minute. But yeah, I'm yeah. good right at the moment. Yeah, yeah. All right, bad. God damn. All right. <laughs> how many He's you got God. at your house? So have any of y'all ever got kids? Have y'all ever waited for the kids go to sleep so you can rest oh, and shit, yeah, and then no. you fell asleep, and then you fell asleep and fucked up? Yeah, oh, no, I fucked up. I had my nieces and nephews one year, like, stay at my house. I'm the tourist like, that for shit. the Christmas because oh, no, 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 no. I fucked up. Luckily, all their shit was already wrapped like weeks right. ahead of time. Okay. Thank God. So <laughs> literally, it's just a matter of getting that shit down here. Honestly, right now, I'm feeling so fucking comfortable. When they wake up, I'm just telling them to go in the attic. <laughs> Fuck. It's, it's in the back of the car and in the attic. You know, get your damn self. Right, Santa, exactly. Uh, yeah, right I'm, now, pretty, I'm pretty sure I done went up there, opened up that shit anyway. So just go have at it the rest I mean, of it. Hey, care. right now, everybody's shorthand. I mean, I figure if Arby's can't stay open past eight and Taco Bell closes at nine, surely and fucking Santa's down a few else, you know what I'm saying? At 12 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> you know, Santa, I, Santa this calls year, thousand employees. He know who he is. I know. This year, I, one of the things I don't do is I don't lie to my kids, right? Now, mind you, I tell them the truth, but I don't always give 100% detail, okay? So usually whenever it's something that's consisting of sex being that my youngest are six and seven and my other ones, I got to stop them from doing it because they're old enough. You know, I, I try not to... Over educate, yeah, but I do I, try. I get it one hundred percent. Yes, ma'am. So, with that being said, um, I gave my kids a hundred percent rundown on fucking Santa Claus, Saint Nicholas, Krampus, where the fuck the shit originated, how the fuck it, it twisted. Oh, I mean, even whenever we were sitting there and doing um lights, now you know what. Some parents gonna hate me. I'm gonna let y'all know right now. My disclaimer: I really don't give a fuck. So. With that being said, when as we're doing, as we're getting ready for Christmas, I explained where everything came from, what it's supposed to represent. So my kids being as gangster as they are, they sit there and I say, OK, thank you, paganism. We really appreciate the holiday. And I, I'm not going to lie. When I heard that, I was just like, you know what? I said, you know what? I should have had these kids fucking 10 years ago, bro. They are some, man, I, I love my fucking kids, bro. They made me so proud. They did. I loved that, it. It was a moment. Actually, that actually made me proud that you just said that. I, I had a, it wasn't even me. It was them because I sat there and I explained to them, okay, you know what? You know, the reason we celebrate Christmas is not because no fucking white dude is going to break into your mama house nope, and then sure sit there not. and try to give us shit because that's not exactly how uh, other white people other than your daddy work, okay? So <laughs> daddy, <laughs> daddy do that because I love your daddy, your daddy loves me, and we have a lot of adult relations. We all know what that's going oh, right? That's so great. with that being said, I have to sit there and make it clear Ain't no other white person gonna come in here and give you shit. Now they'll take some shit. That I don't know none that's gonna give yeah. you some shit. Okay, at least oh, not some no. shit you want. So and yeah, then, usually when people come to the chimney, they ain't here to bring you shit. <laughs> well, when they come to the chimney, you light that bitch. Okay, no <laughs> shit. Nah, <laughs> any a, any motherfucker comes to the chimney, you shoot at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to shoot. I'm going to light my motherfucking <laughs> chimney, bro. I got, man, look. The That's another good, story man. for another day. But I explained, you know, oh, I explained the winter mm. solstice, Yule, Yule Tide, you know, the, oh, the piece of wood that you're actually supposed to burn under the fireplace because it's, you know, embers are actually, oh, you know, there it's, it's almost like a, uh, what do they call those? It's scented. Damn, what is it? Fuck. It's almost like one of the sacred woods that you burn, kind of like uh, Palo Santo and, and stuff like that. Yeah. 
So whenever you're doing it, what it's actually supposed to represent is it's supposed to have a scent that supposedly, you know, evil spirits, I'm, I'm, usually the ones that children do not like. Hence the Yule time in the Yule log. And then, you know, I explained to them about Krampus. In other words, if y'all fuck up, okay, then this is how... Let me tell Krampus you something. I learned about that motherfucker on here, and I'll tell you what. I ain't never heard... I ain't never seen some scary shit like that. I'm fucking lying. Oh, honey. I learned See, about it from that fucking movie. I'd never heard. I of learned it. about it on Central. here from a uh, a girl we call her we call her Penguin. But anyway, she's fucking. I guess she's German. Oh, Anyhow, she, she would she tells her kids she scares her kids with that shit. I'd never uh, heard of it. Look, I didn't have to scare my kids. This is what I told them. I sat there. I, I was hundred percent honest with them. Look here. This is how it works. If you been a little fucktard, yes, I said fucktard. Okay. Yeah, hell yeah. If you've been Use a that word. All year long, and you're mm-hmm. expecting to get presents. That's not exactly how that works. What he's going to do is going to come by. It does not matter whether you're asleep or awake. He really doesn't give a fuck, and I'm not going to stop him. He's going to come sit there and throw you in a fucking sack. And what he does is that whenever he throws you in a sack, he takes you in a cave, and then he either hangs you up above a fire to sit there and cook you right, right. then and well, there because he's hungry, damn. or he uh-huh. will sit there and hang you from the tallest branches of a tree, and he will sit there and leave you there mm-hmm. until... He's either ready to eat you or you die, whichever one happens first, right? And so then what he would do is leave mommy and daddy a nice lump of coal. Now, the reason coal is so important is because, honestly, that's one of the things that keeps the fire going. And the fire going is so mommy and daddy can go back to having adult relations and maybe, hopefully, by the grace of whatever, get it right this time. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, so my kids hell? look at me and they like, mama, you ain't even got to worry, mom. We got you. Okay, cool. Y'all got me cool because I like y'all. I don't, you know, I don't want y'all to come up missing, bro. I like y'all. You know? Well, I, I like I like you one of them. Anywho, one huh? of them. She said, I like one of them. Hey, now I, I respect that even more. <laughs> I, man, dude, <laughs> hey, my parents were always honest as shit. I never understood <laughs> when people say that. Oh, I love you both man. equally. You may love your kids equally, but you guarantee fucking tell you like one of them more than the other one. Guarantee. I, yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, my girl is my girl is my mini me. Yeah. So, you know, she she's my heart and my soul. My son is attached at my hip. So as uh, much as I, he's a little annoying, and so yeah, just clingy. I, yeah, I, I I got a cousin. Uh-huh. So oh, just, I, boys are just mommy, mommy, mommy. Exactly. Mom, yeah. mama, mama, mama. And, and mom, I have to make mom. sure that I go ahead and I, I teach him how to sit there and give himself that love. So one, he doesn't always have to depend on me. And then two, can't nobody take it when he gets older. But I sat there and explained the tree, how now we have pine trees, but initially they were not pine trees. They were different kind of trees because they had different kind of things. All the little balls on the trees that actually represented certain berries that would fall, which were the last, uh, you know, of the harvest season, or which were the last things that you could actually get to sit there and be able to flavor your drinks and stuff like that, you know, hence the Christmas dinner. Oh, yeah, I explained it all to him. And I cannot but, with this shit. I would never the, show this to fucking the, kids. The one on the far right. right. The one on the far right and the one over one was this vicious looking no, boy. I mean, it's, oh, supposedly it's, like, it's supposed no. to be. It's supposedly that's supposed to be yeah. Santa Claus' brother. I don't think that yeah. was no damn Santa Claus's twin brother. I think Santa Claus no. is like fucking Mr. Jack, you know, Dr. Jack or Mr. Hyde, like the rest of us. Whenever he get tired of them badass kids, aka yep. elves, he, he flipped the fuck out and be like, up. "Look, let In me." In other go words, my- uh, he looks different depending on what house he's at. There you go. No, I, I I just gotta keep it real. Like she's she's right. Like Krumpus is only busted out for the kids that are bad. Like that's the only. Uh... Like I truly never heard of this shit to that fucking movie. Like are you, are you movie, serious? Like, no, I'm serious. Like six seven years shit. ago, never heard. Of it. No, no, no. I learned about fucking Krump. Now, mind you. Um, I was a bit of a demented kid, which is why I'm so proud that my kids are all so demented. Because that means you know they're actually gonna go far in life, but. I was a bit of a demented kid, so I read up. I actually found books that I was not supposed to read around uh, seven years old, and I went ahead and read the entire story of Crumpus. I was truly infatuated, so I went ahead and I did some digging, you know, back in other books because we didn't have Google at the time. So I sat there and found up a whole lot of books on a whole lot of what they considered fairy tale uh, stories. 
which honestly, I kind of think that's even eerie because I'm I've been always uh, I've always been one of the people that always thought that fairy tales are not fake; they're fucking real. It makes no sense how different fucking religions, different fucking areas, groups of fucking people can sit there and pass down all these fucking stories. They can sit if there you and say take them two more times. That's a two fucks and fucked up, Brian. Hey, hey. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I uh, I actually made a song about this a long time ago. Oh, did um, you? Yeah, about like uh, hmm, I don't know. I don't know how to explain. I, I'm not going to throw my shit out there. It's not my channel to say that. But I made a song about some uh, uh, views of December 25th mm. of what people's actual views are on uh, things. Would you take your kid to this parade? The parade with this shit? Would you take your kid to this parade? No, nope. I wouldn't. I wouldn't take my kid anywhere. Okay. I'm sitting here looking at it like, okay, so I'm probably about to ask a question that's probably going to piss some people off. So if you guys are emotionally immature, uh, y'all might want to... No, this is go a ahead. Disclaimer, trigger alert. Y'all might want to sit there and close your ears, but I'm going to ask it anyway. So go was ahead. it just me? I don't know if that little girl was more afraid of Krampus or the fucking Catholic priest that was supposed She's to... She's more that was afraid of the like, Catholic, uh, the Catholic priest. priest. She is. Let's just keep it real. Because honestly, I'm not going to lie. I couldn't tell which one they were afraid of more. Mm -hmm. And, no, you know, it's, so, so it's many different people. out here. This is in, uh, this is where, where are they at right now? I believe Germany. Yeah. yeah All so, I'm saying is I don't see no black folks. I need to see a few more. No, there ain't going to be no black folks in Germany. Well, damn. That took all the fun out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. No, I'm pretty I sure was thinking, you know what? That, that looked like kind of like a little dope here. place to go because they look like they, you know, they have werewolves. No, I'm, no, Ger so Germany, so Germany, hey, hey, Germany will fuck with black folks. <laughs> it's just, you, <laughs> you ain't gonna see what black folks. <laughs> the Krampus in Germany is no fucking joke. Yeah, no, it's it's their like, it's their shit. Yep. I'm not going to lie. This is exactly how I feel about this shit. If you got to bring your kids to Crumpets, that means you already know your kids is bad as fuck. Bad as fuck. Yep. Right. So all, all these you people... You saving your kid like, college money. You're saving bail money. That's what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> That's only if you're smart. Either that or you're drinking it away. One or two. Nah, what they doing <laughs> is scaring the fuck out of their children. Man, shit. I love scaring the fuck out of my kids. My kids love being scared. Shit. I ain't going to lie. Some of this costume work that was badass. <laughs> hey, shit, no, th this is why the kids get that's some high dollar though. shit. Like th these kids, this generation's kids. already full of basket case kids anyway, man. No, like, America's filled with basket case kids, and these not kids no are already country. fucked up. Here, here's it's the definitely thing. worse here. It, it's a West thing. It's a West uh, Western it, Hemisphere thing. Period, man. It's, it must be because the funniest hey. thing is every single time I go to the school to pick up my kids, the fucking teachers are always trying to convert me to be a fucking teacher and shit. I'm like, yeah. I be trying to tell them, you y'all do not want me teaching these kids. First of all, I'm gonna purposely not teach the fucking criteria. Y'all don't want me teaching these kids. Y'all really don't. They gonna well, end up going. Uh, uh, honor fucking, killings are still a thing, and, and they're still, you know, uh, disrespecting the family name kind of suicide. Sorry, um, just I mean, look, but there's clearly something different. It's different reasons here. It's somebody said something mean about you on Twitter or something. It's it's weird, man. This generation, uh, I, I've never seen so many people that got it so good. It's so fucking sad. All right. I guess so, I'll say it like hey, that. look at what I like you're that looking one. at right now. Would this would this happen in America? A woman with a pentagram upside down on uh, on her head. Actually, it head. has. It has. No, no. I'm no. saying like being open like this. Nah. No, happen. they they actually have had. Uh, granted, I think it's only a few years. It hasn't been like a whole lot, but they actually have had um, parades and shit for uh, Satanists. And um, oh, that's a new thing that's happening. Actually, is uh, yeah, they're again, opening, that's a Western they're thing I'm talking about. Schools. They're opening up schools for here. Satanism. You ain't doing that Western shit in, in Afghanistan. Way, I would never here. take my goddamn. There's no fucking way I'd ever take my kids to something like this. Ain't no fucking well, see, way. No, that ain't happening. Here's the thing for me. 
I I'm mean, the West, baby. I'm the West where, where the West is the best. No, I'm talking about like Western Hemisphere cultures of the world. Like, you're not pulling this in a hey, predominantly, the, you know, I'm, I'm a bit biased. Hey, you're I not have pulling. It's a great, but you're beautiful. <laughs> hey, let me, let me clarify some things here. But this is like pagan religion. This isn't like. Yes. A, and this I'm open-minded. I'm open-minded. Let's go. This isn't like uh, uh, we're Satanists and we're gonna kill a bunch of babies and do. Weird no, 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 shit. no, no. It's not like that. They, no. they just, they, they keep, they keep the original beliefs, and and that's kind of goes back to why I said, you know, I've always been one of them people that have always kind of believed, especially when you get a copy of like the old fucking folklore, mm -hmm. not the new age. I ain't talking about this Disney Channel shit. Yeah, I ain't yeah, talking no. about you know. Like I'm talking the actual about the, pagan shit. Yes. I always believe that shit, especially when it comes to the faith folk. Oh, mm -hmm. hell. I yeah. sit there and teach my kids about faith folks, fairy rings, everything else. Whenever you sit there and see something, don't touch it. Don't try to play with it. It's not your friend. Oh, yeah. I, 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 oh, I yeah. school my kids because at the end of the day, like, I would rather my kids be spiritually prepared for shit that a lot of people said was make believe and then they fuck around and see some shit. Yeah. Then me sitting there saying, oh, it doesn't exist. And all of a sudden, you know, my kid will sit there and be like, mommy, mommy, there's something there. We've all seen the fucking movies. Mommy, mommy, there's something there. Oh, that's nice, little Billy Bob. That's nice. And all of a sudden, oh, my God, I don't know. Billy Bob just came on missing. Bitch, did he just sit there and tell you there was something there? Yeah. All right. And yeah, your ass didn't listen? My mom put me on to shit like right away when I was a kid. She said, you better praise to the five points. That's that's because fact though. That's the only thing that's going to save you in life. I mean, I I, I would say more so like live by them because a lot of people really don't understand that either. They sit there and think, "Oh my God, that means the devil." Actually, no, it doesn't. No. It just means elements. But Be people, right. <laughs> Be so, better I'm better I'm rely on yourself than going. nobody else is what she right. says. Have a good night. I got to get going. Uh, it's one o'clock in the morning here, and I got to go do my right. Santa Claus thing. So y'all have a good night. <laughs> all right, all right. Christmas right. about five I'm hours. Leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> like, I like how you said like that. Like, that was funny. I, got I like my that. Shit wrapped. I'm ready to roll. Merry I got to go Christmas. in here. My shit. My baby's asleep. I got to get going. Get the shit laid out. I'm tired. I'm yes, man. Good do your shit, Miss Queen. Love y'all. Merry Christmas, everybody. My channel's birthday is tomorrow, so, or I Merry guess not the twenty sixth. Is it the twenty sixth? That's right. Yeah. All definitely. right. Well, then you know what? That, that that we're gonna have to do something special on the twenty sixth. We we'll have to have a party. Oh. All right, y'all. Merry Christmas, baby. You guys have a good night, and I appreciate y'all. Merry Christmas, y'all. Y'all be cool. Man. All right, Merry Christmas. Good night, y'all. Good night. I've been on my own for three weeks now. I've been drinking every single bottle of Jim Beam Bell. You say I'm crazy, but I think you're just mad. You say I'm wild. What's so bad about that? Baby, we were good, like white wine going down. But only the whiskey saved me now. Only the whiskey can save me. There's a love in that bottle that I'm drinking down, drowning a heartache since you walked out. Only the whiskey saved me now. Only the whiskey saved me now. You've been a preacher He says he can't help me I've been singing praise the Lord, hallelujah But it don't set me free 
You say I'm crazy, but I think you're just mad. You say I'm wild, but what's so bad about that? I've been seeing old lovers, but they can't keep the memories out. Oh, only the whiskey can save me now. Only the whiskey can save me now. Save me now. Only the whiskey. Save me now. 